Live What's live. up, everybody? Yeah. Welcome to Flagrant. And you know who we got in the motherfucking building. It's the champ. Mm. The champ is here. Let's go, baby. Izzy, the last go, baby. winner at Desanya. Um, okay, listen, I've been waiting months to ask you this. Mm. Months to ask you this. Let's go. You said... In the ring, when you got the mic from Rogan, which is rare, I don't know how you got that mic shout from to him. Joe. Shout out to Joe. But shout out to Joe for giving it to you. I think he understood what that moment was for you. But also, it could have gone slightly. Imagine if I was one of these dudes and I grabbed the mic and I was just like, F I don't know, bleep this. <laughs> 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 And then on the light in the truck, like, get him off, get him off. And Joe's like, You would have gotten so many new yeah. fans. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> but like, you know, it, it, it could have gone either way. So for him to give me the mic, and the thing is, so when how how it happens is like when I'm in the shower, this is I've always said the the, the the most honest place in the world. I was visualizing, I visualized so I'd be much. visualizing in the shower too. Yeah, and I have, Probably I have different to. things though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so do I. But you know, for <laughs> fighting, when I do, it's like I feel everything. And I remember being so happy while I was visualizing. I was just like feeling so happy after the fight. Like when I visualize the win, I visualize the knockout, I visualize the press conference, post fight, pre fight, fight week. It just goes, it's like Tourette's. I can't help it. I've just, I'm using that. It's, that's how I manifest. I use my imagination. So when I was visualizing, I just remember being so happy. I might have been on shrooms in that shower. But as I was visualizing, I was so happy. And I was like, man, I just want everyone to feel how happy I am right now, just once. You said that. That's all I wanted to say. And everything else just came from player one. And I just, like a vessel, and I just, and I, like, I feel like a rapper. I was literally just flowing. And when I'm in that flow states, it just happens, so Describe yeah. Describe the feeling. Because you said it, Yeah. and it, it, it felt like you meant it. It didn't feel like it was prepared. It felt like in that moment, yeah. I wish you could feel what I'm feeling. Have you ever felt that happy in your entire life, childhood included? Yeah, I have. What moments? Ooh. Great question. That's a good one. Okay. I want to see if I can say. Let me see. Um, okay, one recent one. Recent one. Let me think. Even getting, um, when I got Cinderu, my cat, rest in peace, when I, the day I got her, I was so happy. So happy. I used to have this little like front pack. I'll put her in it. we will go for work, walks, and things like that. I felt happy like that many times in my life. But for that moment, that's... Top five, top ten, one of the greatest moments under my career in my life. Izzy, I know you did not just Sunday. compare <laughs> knocking out Pereira to buying a new fucking cat. No, no, I get it. I, get it. I got a cat. Cat daddy. Cat daddy. Cat daddy. Cat daddy. Cat daddy. He, he didn't prepare for that answer. Shout out. You need more time in the yeah. shower. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. No, but like, it is like. I've been no, no, waiting months to ask this question. I'm not going to ask him online. I need to know in person. It's relative. It's relative. So for me, that moment was awesome. And I just want everyone to feel, I feel like those who don't so like- So either train for decades or buy a cat. Yeah, either one, <laughs> yeah. either one. Okay. Same, same. Oh, it's, it's, it's all, it's all yeah. perspective, it's relative. Yeah, pussy's pussy, bro. That's <laughs> what it is. <laughs> <laughs> <That's all laughs> but yeah, for me, it was like, I just, so when, um, uh, two seconds, when I, when I was in that moment, I just, those who don't like me, they'd be watching that fight and be like, Yes, I've seen so many reactions. I watched so many reaction videos, and I'm like, yes, finally, again, it's gonna happen again. And then, oh shit, hmm. example, so who? Oh, so it was. Oh, or people who love me, they're like, oh no, he's against the fence again. Oh no, oh, yeah. yes, yeah. The, the contrast of yeah. those two feelings, yeah. and I feel like those who really love me felt the happiness in that moment. Bro, yeah. let me tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me great. tell you. <laughs> the whole building woke up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was just insane. Yeah. It was just in fucking, I don't know why I went to the TV. Yeah. Oh no, it's a survive. You, yes. But yeah, I don't know why, like it's a weird reaction. Like you go closer Vol to Vol the thing. the same thing. And you go, yeah. why? Slave. Yeah. Slave. Yeah, it's passion. I was in someone else's house and I just started jumping up and down like <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and we got Got neighbors here. <laughs> you, know, like, you can't just jump up and down. Bro, it was just so unbelievable. And it was exactly what you described. I was scared. Yeah. And then when you when you flipped it, all that went to Boom. sheer joy. Yeah. I legit was screaming. My wife was like, dude, people, neighbors are gonna think you're like beating me the way you're yelling. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Yeah. My dog was shaking. It was like fucking crazy. Bro, and the arrows. Perfect. Oh my uh, God! Just yeah. from an improv perspective, I mean, yeah. you pulled out the whole, the whole. Oh, that quiver, was planned. And this then you shot. You've been waiting to shoot arrows in that motherfucker so for years. As a dancer, <laughs> as a dancer, like even with Crump, we have characters sometimes. We were just like we we bring on the dance floor. You try and like emulate. So that helps me be able to create moments like that. And I remember telling the referee, shout out to um, 
what's his name, uh, Dan Mergliata, because when you come give you the rules, I just remember, bro, if and when I sleep this dude, I just need you to let me have my moment. I won't touch him. You said that to him before the fight? Yeah. That's so amazing. Got, yeah, I told Dan. I was like, I was like, I was like, let me have my moment. I was just like. It gives me chills, dude. Yeah. We no, need that video. No, no, we need that video. He, I think he, he would have filmed it. Yeah, so I was like, just if, wow. I, if I went to sleep, him, just let me have my moment because I've been waiting how many years for that? I said the last time in New York as well, but it wasn't my moment then. It was his moment. Great story for him. But I was like, let me have my moment just because I won't touch him. I won't hurt him. He'll be there. But just let me have my moment because I've been waiting so long to soak this up. And Jeff's got a cool photo of me, like, yeah, hit, uh, yeah, just like in my head rehearsing it. How long? How long has Jeff been filming you? For life. Now nah, he's very cool. 20, 2016. So what is that yeah, now? It's like a year in his <laughs> MMA debut. <laughs> eight, eight years, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Following around. You no. know Jane Goodall. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get to a tripod one of these years, bro. It's been eight years. This guy's been holding a camera like this with his arms shaking for eight fucking years. Is he refuses to get him. Also, Ash won't get him. Hey, bring that camera back up. What the fuck you doing? Fun fact this nigga won $50,000 off a $25 bet. What? Wow. On yeah. what? Yesterday. Yeah, on uh, Oh, I thought on you. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. I thought you got some insider trading. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get knocked out of New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we Jeff, are Jeff, Jeff, I'm not gonna favor you, but I'm going down to the fifth. <laughs> Tripod money, let's go. Oh, that's what happened. We're going to get the gimbal. Nah, but um, oh yeah, but he's been following me around for a long time, and thing, even with the film and stuff, he got a lot of the raw footage, and I can be myself around him. Mm -hmm. And I say Jane Goodall, like he studies me because he's seen me with so many different situations so many different fans and he knows he knows my go-to line sometimes you know when i have to you know like npc these people because they give me the same energy back but um yeah i can be myself around him he knows when to film me he knows when not to film me he knows when to like be a fly on the wall the yeah. big ass fly on the wall he knows how to catch certain moments and that's why that's why the he, documentary is fire yeah i saw the documentary yeah. last night it was incredible and i want to talk about it later but I, there's still this moment in your life that yeah. is obviously pivotal to you but there's times where I don't know how big a deal it is for you, right? Like when you came here after the loss, you really taught me how to lose and deal with loss. You know, and I mean that sincere. I'm very grateful for that. So when you got the victory, I saw the joy, but there was also part of me that was like, well, he was fine after the loss. Is he fine after the victory? Is it sweet? Like, yeah. like, tell me. I remember texting. I remember texting you. I remember texting the boys. And I almost and I couldn't be there, but you know why? But I, I literally was almost like, I'm about to fly down to Miami. <laughs> I was crazy, bro. Bro, I'm about to 11, fly down to Miami Monday. We tried to line that up as a podcast. Yeah, bro, oh, I, no, I don't know. We tried, and also even like a lot of people tried. But then for me, I just wanted to. I, I told the boys, I go, fuck the podcast. Yeah. I want to go party. Uh, oh, no, <laughs> Miami. Because I'm living in Miami. Crazy. So I finished work around, say, 1.30 a.m. Got to the Sunday morning, 1.30 a.m. Got to the club around 2. 11. Tim, yeah, club 11. Shit was crazy. It was packed. Even OBJ pulled up, said what's up. Mm. Everyone else, um, you know, the Nelk boys, Mike, all these other different people as well. Chuck Liddell and Tito on fucking stage. Adekule Gold, uh, Michael Venom Page, Kamar Kamaru Usman. We're just hanging out. It was a vibe. And then I didn't sleep till about maybe 4 p.m. Because I was just up and I studied the fight a little bit with my coaches. And then Sunday night, Tootsies, upstairs, shoulder rubs, <laughs> had to. And there was even a point. <laughs> yeah. I bet there was a point. Yeah. 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 How many arrows you shoot that? <laughs> well, I mean, like, well, the thing is, like, put it this way. I told one of these. Um, a few Brazilians yeah. went down to Miami. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Hey. But, uh, well, they went down, but I, I couldn't go up, put it that way. Uh, but what was just it's because I was just so excited. Actually, I told. Uh, uh, um, uh, a dancer that I was like, I'm just so excited with my life like, a like right now. You're adorable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's a dancer too. He's right? an actual yeah. dancer. A dancer. Yeah. So was she crumping on you? Yeah. She <laughs> tried. She tried. She tried. She tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, so it was a point, you know, you get a lap dance or whatever, but at one yeah. point I was just like, you think you conquer the world, you want to do this, but I was just like, this is not even exciting to me right now. I was like, my life is so exciting. That's why I'm just, this, it's not you, it's me. I'm just life oh, is so, so you weren't bricky for her and she got upset? No, I, uh. <laughs> No, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hey. 
Ash. Ash, shut the fuck up, Ash. That's what he's doing. Bro, get a camera on Ash. Ash is the wildest human being on the planet, and he just went like this. But I think he's going, tell the story about when they both suck. Not but like, yeah, so for me, I was like, my life is so exciting right now that this is not, you think this is what you want to do, what you're supposed to do, but I was like, yeah, it's cool to be at Tootsie's. It's an iconic spot, but I was like, this ain't even it right now. Like, my life is so exciting that this is not doing it for me. Yeah. So that night, after Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I stayed in my room. I just chilled in my room. Yeah. On my phone a lot. I was I was farming. Because, again, if you don't understand the numbers game, you got you got to run the numbers up. What does you that do, mean? You do something crazy like that. I know what it's like. My, 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 my Instagram, socials, all that kind of stuff is going up. So when these new companies want to see the insights, Oh, you're calculating the reaction. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm also on my phone just farming, and I had so many memes, I had so many clips, I had so many things I wanted to say, I had receipts. Okay. So, you know, I'm farming, and then when they- And uh, you're was, posting a lot more. Can we see the insights the um, for the last two months? Boom, the numbers is up, the money's up. So people mm. think, oh, you're posting too much. Oh, get over it. It's only, I'm like, nigga, it was only like two days ago. I'm gonna yeah. post as much. There's no rules to this internet shit. Yeah, so yeah. I was posting, I was farming. Tell Eugene that shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, he, under he understands it, but he doesn't like it. You know, but you Great moment in the in the documentary yeah. about this that we'll touch on later. But, but yeah. um, so for me, I'm farming, I'm making money, and Wednesday, get back home, get home. First thing I do, go see my teammates, say thank you, because they put so much work into me. Even leaving the gym to go to that fight. Whenever I leave the gym, the last like day, when I turn around and I bow and I leave the gym, I just like there's a there's a thing of like. Like we're about to go to war, you yep. know what I mean? Yep. It's one of those Game ones. Time. So I go back to say thank you to my, my teammates, then I go grab my dog, Toothless, and I take my shoes off, go to the park with her, because she don't give a fuck who Stylebender is. Yeah. She's like, that's my boy, what's up? And anyone that try to say what's up, I say what's up, any photos, I'm like, I'm just chilling, man, thank you. I'm just hanging out with my dog. Yep. Hang out with her for two days. And then that's my way of trying to like come back down to my reality, just base, balance myself, you know, ground myself. Yeah. Before you get there, I need to know what's happening when you're alone in the hotel room reflecting. Just, <sighs> just take me through. No, 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 I got an Airbnb now because these photo hotels get crazy. Okay. Can we go back to two nights before that? You improv this. Oh, that, yeah. At what point do you look at Pereira's son? You're like, ah, this little motherfucker. Oh, oh yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was payback. This, yeah. I still feel, this, that's just iconic. Like, I didn't even hesitate. Illyria is just like visualization, man. Yeah. I've yeah. been here in, the, in my brain. And it just happened. I was like, right. <laughs> Ah. Was it three for a reason? Was it three for the three times he got you? Or? It just happened. Okay. Not, now it is. Yeah. When it happened, I was like, it is. But I find it, when you get to the cage, right, you can see everything. So hyper aware. I can see literally the nosebleeds. I can see where Trump was, Mike Tyson, Kid Rock, Dana White. And I knew where his family was. And then straight away, I was like, where's that little... <laughs> and then I remember his sister was trying to... Because they were crying. And his sister was trying to shield them. And I was like... And he looked at me, I just went, whoop. And he got it straight away. <laughs> he but, knew. Yeah, he knew, of course, he knew. Oh, they were <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's fire. I mean, that's bro, fire. If, if my son did that to someone I got, I knocked out, I'd just be like, what are, you, what, are you, what are you doing? Come on, man. Like, I'll make him apologize and I'll make him. He did it in the ring, too. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm white Why are you asleep? Yeah. 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 So I was like, what the fuck? So for me, I'm petty. I am petty. I took you that know. personally. Yeah. Very yeah. personally. So I had to let him know. I don't react, I respond, and I take my time when I respond. Yeah, the world knows. Mm. They knew. Mm. That was a wild situation. That was fire. How old is he now? Uh, 15 or Old something? enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's old enough. That's what I'm saying. That's the fight everyone wants to see. <laughs> you, I you, think we need to make that you happen. You versus Pereira's son, bro. I think the we arc. need to make bro, that happen. imagine. That'd be funny. <laughs> just for the anime. Just for the anime, bro. You got to let it happen. Uh, maybe I'll see. Uh, I can still fight. Maybe we're at 40. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. It's like Call of Duty good. or something. Yeah. You guys gotta, you gotta hash this shit out 100%. Nah, I okay. think it's cool. I haven't seen Alex at the airport. People think like it's gonna bro, be like... I actually love your guys' game, relationship, bro. man. It, it's like, it, there's this weird thing that happened. Respect. Yeah, there, there's, a, there's a fascinating thing that only you guys understand because you've only been in the ring with each other. But yeah. a real cool thing happened afterwards. He didn't seem to hold much of a grudge against you. I also feel like he probably feels full because he knows he's gotten you before. You get your revenge, you have this respect for one another, and then you did this interesting thing backstage. You started asking him about that leg kick that he throws. That's a tricky it. fucking leg kick too. Because do it he doesn't turn his hip at all. It's, and also he's so, just a massive human being. Yeah. His, like, we're both 
six four, I believe. But his hands he's a, are he's so a big, big six four. Yeah, he's a big like he's not he's yeah, a yeah. big head. I've got big hands. Yeah. Well, all right, bro. Come on, now, son. Come on. Come on, now, son. Why you gotta pick me? Nah, yeah, man. Come on, pick that motherfucker. That motherfucker. Pick me. Go, Arkans. Put your fucking little hand up. You know what time it is, right? Nah, but he's good. That makes your dick look smaller. You know that, right? Your dick looks smaller. Unless it's exactly, bro. I be trying to wrangle my shit. Nah, but um, he's he's just a massive human being. But the way he throws that leg, he doesn't turn his hip over. And when it hits, it hits. Like the first strike that landed in that fight was the leg kick. And I was like, in my history, I was like, again? Again, yup. I was like, again? And I, we were ready for it. Me and Twist, we knew the counter to it. But Which afterwards. Uh, All right, fine. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. But um, afterwards, when I watched that fight, I was like, every time he threw a body jab, that was a setup. Because a body jab, he'd be low and then just and boom, then, whip. Yeah, just yeah, whip. Yeah, I was yeah. like, fuck. But. When he hurt my leg, and he did hurt my leg, but I used it. I was like, fuck, well, that's blood in the water now. So when he, when I saw his confidence starting to grow, I was like, right, I'm just going to just move back a little bit and just show. I used that move Bro, twice. you did something early in the fight Which one? that had me fucking terrified. When I tried to brawl with him. Son, yeah. the first time he steps in. One of that. But I knew you I wanted, wanted it, and that's that. how I knew it was kind of different. But the, and, and I was actually, afterwards I got excited. But the first time he steps in, he threw something, you put your hands up, and then you swung, it was maybe two or three shots. Boom, boom. That's I don't know right. if either one of you guys actually landed, but nah. I remember going, what the fuck is yeah. going on here? After that, the next combo, he landed a hook, but it didn't even like, affect me or anything mm -hmm. like that. But in that moment, Eugene, this camp, he was like, I like that you guys didn't run. Yeah, oh no, he said, I want right to be more offensive minded. Yes. He said, I want to be, and I was like, thank you, finally. And I even told him, like, you're going to be stressed out in this fight. Good. <laughs> oh, no, I told him, I was like, you're going to be stressed out because I'm going to be in the fire. Son, I, I was so impressed. You watched the sparring, the last sparring, and I remember like my leg was hurt because injury in the camp, two weeks out from the fight, fucking bad. The meniscus? Me. Nah, like, oh, it was a MCL. Yeah, was meniscus. MCL. Yeah. yeah. Like, English, yeah. but uh, <laughs> but like for me, when I was sparring, I was with my sparring partner. I was just like they were trying to take easy, easy on me, and I was like, nah, give me the fucking like the give heat. me the work. I want to feel the fire. So when we're in there, I was like, finally, I want. I just wanted to feel like I was in a fight. It's been a while because everyone else is too scared. They all try to pretend they want to fight, but they want to survive. Mm. So I was like, someone he beat me. I was like, fine, he's not gonna run. Mm. Let's go. I want to be in the fire, and then I was in the fire, and I was thriving. So mm. when it happened. That whole sequence at the end, I blocked all the shots apart from, from the body shot. The knee even missed. I blocked Bro, it. it was, I got that. I got yep. the read, and I was like, <sighs> boom. Now, when you're in that corner, are you thinking, I'm going to get an opening? Did you have any of that planned, or are you just, just like, rhythm, keep your head up rhythm, and keep... Okay. Rhythm. I remember just like being there, like, like we're cool, we're cool, because I gave it to him. I was like, right. So you're thinking we're cool. You're not panicked in this, because yeah. I'm panicked it's more, it. it's, nah, it's more like just muscle memory, because you train so much, it's just, it's, rea it's, it's body, your body response, all your... When I say muscle memory, memory, that says it can retain information. So my body can retain the information from the work that we've done, all the things that we've done. It's a reaction. You're not even yeah. thinking about it's just it. Flow just state. We're just yeah. going. Mm -hmm. So when he, I, I, like, I was like, my legs hurt, and I know he's he's hungry for it right now. So I was like, right, I'm just gonna give him give him the look. I back up against the cage, and I made sure I took care of everything. You see, my eyes were on him the whole time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Locked on. I was on him the whole time. And then when I hit him, boom. That didn't even feel like nothing. But what the was cool? The second one was crazy. No, what was cool was when I sprang off the fence. Uh, I literally felt like I like I like a vortex. I was zoom, the speed. I was surprised. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Boom. Mm. And I killed him. No, it was the, it was the overhand made, right. That was what crazy. made you go yeah. on a defense? Because my leg was hurt. So it was a leg. Yeah, my okay. leg was hurt. Because immediately so. after the fight, you're like, nah, I was playing possum. No, I was like, playing possum. So what, I used it as a, as bait. You know what I mean? Like so the, it was, was hurt, but he leaned into it. He yeah, knows he I'm, landed yeah, a leg I'm, kick. So, yeah. so now he goes, oh, shit, I'm hurt. I'm going to I'm going to use it. So I know he's, gonna, uh, he's, okay. he's hungry for it. He wants to try and he knows I'm hurt. I know I'm hurt. So I know he thinks like, oh, it's going to be over soon. I'm but, about to knock him out. Mm, so he got, yeah. he got careless. He started to throw with no... No defense. He wasn't even like, he didn't knock on the door. You got to knock on the door. Like, you know, yeah, check, yeah. check. He thought you Look at a guy like um, Ian Gary. Shout out to him. He's fighting yeah. in Vegas as well. I think he's, yeah. he's fighting in Vegas. Oh, he just fought recently. Yeah. But you look at his last fight. He just, he, beautiful finishing sequence, but he yeah. knocked on the door. You got to see if someone's home. See what the reaction is coming back. Yeah. So he didn't knock on the door. He just got confident and thought, I'm just going to barge in. But you got to, nigga, wipe your feet before you come in my house. Yeah. <laughs> you know but you, it's interesting is it looked like you were looking for that right hand. Cause I was. There was a during sequence. The fight, yeah, I was, during the fight, I was. But the thing is, when and I was. You almost caught him early in the center of the him, ring. I, I kept on ca catching him, but I wasn't catching him at some points because he was just leaning. Yeah, so he leaned hard. back a little bit. Yeah. So that's why I was like, right, if I, if Moses can't go to the mountain, the mountain's going to come to Moses. So I was like, right, I'm just going to give it to him. So I gave it to him, and then I gave it to him. 
And there was a, uh, the last time when you almost dropped him yeah. in the first round. Same sequence. This time you, you made it a point to adjust yeah, and be like, no, I'm exactly. going to drop him this time. I, when I did as well, I fired back. So like I said, I came off the fence, boom. And then this, the hammer fist was awesome. It was just something that like, I, that was, I remember when it was happening as well. I had, it's crazy how much thought, like the brain just has all these like flashes of things in split seconds. Yeah. I remember just like, this is for everything. Mm. Boom! Bro, what's just happening? The yeah. hammer fist from the gods. Is yeah. What yeah. Yeah. yeah, from the gods. Oh, bro. It was, it was one of those moments, like I said, greatest uh, six, six, six weeks before the fight. I was doing a psilocybin uh, trip because I, I wanted to like get in touch with my primal self. Mm. So I had a trip, some mushroom chocolates, and then I had the shower. And after the shower, I wrote in my mirror, April 8th, Miami, 2023. The greatest comeback in sporting history. It was written by me. So every time I looked in the mirror, I'd see it and it would just affirm it to myself. And then in the car, I'll just recite it randomly. It was like Tourette's. So when it came down to it, the greatest comeback in sporting history, mm -hmm. written by me. Wow. Mm -hmm. Unreal. I'm curious about the mushrooms. How yeah. does that help you access that? Like, what was that experience like? So you can do micro doses and it just helps you, I feel like, tap into yourself. So I started to like grunt. I remember just like, I'll, I'll just sit there and just like listen to lo-fi music. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Really? Yeah, and it's just like breathing. I'll just lie down, you feel your breath and you just like, it's a personal experience. But for me, I just, I wanted to tap into my like primal self, like that, the dog in me, mm -hmm. like, that dog in him. I know I do and I know I can beat this guy. Look, you can fight me 10 more times and beat me all 10 more times. I don't give a fuck. I just wanted to prove to myself I can fuck this dude up because yeah. I know I can. First time I fucked him up, judges gave it to him. Second time I was beating him, fucking him up, then he got me. Third time, same thing, out here at MSG. I was fucking him up, then he got me. And I'm just like, fuck, I can beat this guy. Mm. I know I can. So this one I just, I was like, this is my eight mile moment. Yeah. I have to do it. Now, humans love these stories, right? Like, we love the underdog stories. And because so often we feel like underdogs in life and the story doesn't go that way for us. Yeah. So when it does go that way for someone, we exalt them, right? We like gravitate towards them. I'm sure everybody in the world in that moment was in your DMs and yeah. texting you, crazy, talking to you, FaceTiming you. I know that, and obviously from watching the documentary, but also just from knowing you for years that like, how do you start to like create a little bit of barrier, a little bit of separation for the, gr for the adulation? Like, do you, do you take it all in and you go, okay, they really love this achievement? Do you, do you go, oh, I'm that great and they should appreciate me like this? The homeboy said, you're never as good as they say you are. You're never yeah, as bad as they say yeah. you are. All that matters is how you see yourself. So I take it all in. I appreciate the love, even the hate. It's just fuel. It helps me. But I don't hold on to it. Even the love, I never hold on to it. I used to, back in the day when I was young, because I didn't understand. Same with the hate, I used to, because I didn't understand that, that that sits with you. So I appreciate it, I take it, but I let it go. I let it pass through me, but I appreciate it. And yeah, you just have to, it's about how you see yourself. Fuck what anyone else, it's, who's your flatmate up here? Yeah. What's he saying to you, you know? That voice in your head, so that's, that's, uh, that's, how, that's what I worked on this camp. I was isolated a lot. Um, I literally just like, anything that wasn't, in line with this fight, cut it out of my life. Mm. Anyone cut them out of my life, that was it. Yeah. Mm. Did people understand? They got it. Like my, my family already knows, but people, I mean, if, 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 yeah, if you're not on that level with me, you're not on that level with me. Yeah. You had an interesting uh, line in the documentary mm. that spoke to me where you talked about being a people pleaser. Ah, that's from, that still rears its ugly head. Once in a blue moon, and I, I I understand it now, so I'm able to like recognize it, like ah, I'm doing that shit again. Then I pull it back, and that's why I have like my big brother Paulie or Ike. They they shadow me because when I get drunk, I'm like a Labrador or Golden Retriever. I'm just yeah. like everyone's my friend, buying shots. But then I'm not. I think it came from when I moved to New Zealand. It was it was a coping mechanism for people to like want to be, be accepted. accepted. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Are we twins? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like it was something, you know, so it just, and even if people didn't like me, I'd still try to fit in, try and please. And then eventually I had to realize that, nah, I wasn't meant to but the, fit the, in. The I have to stand out. Yeah, but know? the tricky thing about being a people pleaser, the great thing about the documentary, and we just watched it, it was in the Tribeca Film Festival, and I don't know where people can see it. Not yet. Oh, there's but, still like a few screenings left, I think. Okay, two, so two go days. check it out. Stylebender, it's called. If you can, get tickets. But, um... It was this great observation 
of dealing with fame. Yeah. And that line was so interesting because being a people pleaser when not that many people want you to please them is easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being a people pleaser when the world is asking for you to please them becomes anxiety and stress and you can get resentment for all these people that are trying to take your attention from you, you know? And like, there's this moment in the fucking dock where like, you're walking that, maybe you should describe yeah. it, but like you're walking but down the street. Isn't, isn't it crazy how on that day they decided to come film what I was Bro, describing it's... a few minutes beforehand actually happened. And that's why I had to move from that house. I wasn't living there at the time when I was filming, but my dogs was, were there. Yes. But then people, like, people would just come knock on my door. And he was living in like a neighborhood neighborhood. Yeah, like, like a cul de sac. Everybody summer, around, yeah, birds, like, yeah. everybody knew and who that he was. That was my first house. Yeah. That was my first house. I'm not, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Close up. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm like Chinese in New Zealand now. I'm buying okay, everything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, ni hao ma. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I I just needed privacy. I didn't. I didn't, I'd tell people like, "What are you doing?" And like, "Oh, but can I get? A, I'm such a I'm like, bro. People would knock house. on the door and just be like, "Hey, can I get a picture?" And he's yeah. complaining about wow. about going through this, and it is like a little bit of an invasion of your privacy. But at the same time, you have this people pleaser part of you, right? So what did I do in the documentary when he knocked? Bro, immediately goes out, takes a picture with the whole family, et cetera, right? Yeah. But it happened right after saying that this is why I had to move out of the area. And it just so, happened right there. But here's the thing. Uh, yeah. if, 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 you, if you're not a people pleaser, you just go, oh, I'm just at home right now, I feel good. When you are, it actually creates a greater anxiety mm -hmm. because you feel like you've let those people down. Now you have this guilt you're carrying around, so now you resent the people yeah for giving you the guilt that you're carrying around. What I've done now is protect my energy. So even now, I'm okay with saying no, and I don't have to explain myself. So when I tell people no, I'm fine with it, and I don't care what they think or, because you know what, at the beach you feed one seagull, mm -hmm. and they might, 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 it's like that, and they think, oh, at the airport, oh, just one, bro. I'm like, bro, you're not the only one like this. I can case five people. I know what it's like to be a hot chick, bro. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in the bar and I know, okay, this guy's looking at me, that table's looking at me, that guy's approaching me, da 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 They come, oh, bro, I gotta buy you a shirt. I gotta buy the champion shirt. I'm, I'm good, bro. But imagine if I was a hot chick and it's like, I gotta buy you a shirt. No, I'm good. They still push, but when I'm like, yo, I'm good. I'm okay with it. Because yeah. there's been times I'll say yes and it'll sit with me. I'm like, why did I give that person my attention? Mm. And it'll sit with me, like literally eat at me for about three days, maybe a week. And then I'm just like, and it might be something so minuscule, but I was just like, fuck, I should have said no. <laughs> Was there a no. specific moment when that switch happened? Can I, I guess? Can I guess? Can I guess? Can I guess? This is, this is, this this is documentary <laughs> stuff. I don't know. I'm like looking at these things and I'm like, these are formative you know, moments of your life. Yeah. There's the footage of you, you're like an outcast, you're kind of bullied yep. in New Zealand, uh, maybe few friends or no friends. You do a talent show. Yeah, at high school. In high school, yeah. and like really kill it, and just by himself does like the break dancing, right? Yeah. And then you said afterwards, immediately after that, I had some street cred, I had some cloud, people wanna yeah. be friends. So now you know friendship and love is transactional. Mm. You can resent people for that. Oh, you like me because I'm nice at dancing. When I was nice to you before and just wanted to eat around people, you didn't want to fuck with me at all. Yeah. But now that I could break dance now, whatever. And I wonder if that, if you can like extrapolate that to also winning. Yeah. Oh, when I win, everybody wants to hang out. But when I'm when I'm I lose, there. now the DMs aren't flooded. Yeah. Or maybe you don't even realize it in high school, but when it happens as a pro, that's still there. And, and then it's true. Yeah, like, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, I think it's over time it happened. We're like but Oprah, it, bro. Yeah, oh, bro, it's like therapy. Deep, man. How much you paying for the session? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much you paid the Winnebago girl. Yeah. <laughs> nah, she, she's awesome. Shout she's to legit, Jenna. bro. Yeah. And that's the thing I like about the, the film as well. I like the, instead of just sitting down with a camera and doing like a one-on-one -on -one interview, it was I was able to practice what I preached. You know what I mean? But um, the moment, I feel like it's over time and it's experience, like trial and error, dealing with it, learning how to deal with um, like, no, because even now I still got chips on my shoulder, man. Like, I, I know me, and I'm like, even after the loss, I was fine. I was able to live my life. People still love me. They still call me champ in the streets. So I was like, you know how they say like, oh, when you lose the belt, it's like a pressure off your shoulders. I was like, I'm still Israel. I did something. Like, it was still, you know, people want to take that name. So they still, they were still coming after me. But um, for me. Like, like I said, it's about protecting my energy, looking after myself, but I, that people pleaser, that's where it raises its ugly head. Mm. And that chip on my shoulder, it's like, oh, like Mike Jones, 
you know, back then and they want me and now I'm hot hoes all on me, that kind of vibe. So I was just like, oh, it's like that now. But I'm, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of it. So when you're aware of the monster, you're able to nullify it. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. That's self-awareness. Yeah, I would almost like recommend people watch the documentary if they don't know who you are. Yeah, I agree. Like, it, it's, yeah. I feel like it's even more interesting because... You have no preconceived notion of who you think I am. Yeah. You know, I like even... People sometimes like say, we're a group of friends, right? And sometimes I'll go in a bar or something and then like a group of people know me and they're oh my God. And then there'll be one person like, I'm sorry. I, I just, I don't know who you are. I said, it's okay. I don't know who you are. I'm Israel. What's your name? And I, I prefer that. I actually prefer that because it's like, I get to meet someone. Who has no preconceived f- notions of you. Well, they have no expectations you know? of you. So I'm yeah. like, this is rare for me these days. So oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. And I can actually have a real conversation and like get to know someone for me mm. rather than like oh they think they know me or what they've seen on youtube or on tv or my fighting you know what i mean yeah for the people who have seen you yeah. i'm curious because we as entertainers very different field but yeah. you only see a slice of our personality yeah you see a slice of him who he is on stage you you see the promo is he the fighter is he yeah. you don't necessarily see being a nice guy is he who wants to get to know everybody not going to sell pay-per-views necessarily yeah. so are you relieved that even the people who might have preconceived notions of you yeah. Or like, oh, that's who he really is. This is a 360-degree view of who he is. Yes, I feel like people get to see a little bit more of my personal right. style. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. My, um, but... Bro, it's, 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 it's really, it's nerve-wracking. Nah, you, know you know what's fire seeing the shit yeah. about you that's not cool? What? Like, like in it, like, you just, there's vulnerable shit, like, things that you say and you know even you Eugene, fucked up. Eugene. Yeah, with like, the Eugene shit, and, like, you even catch yourself in the moment, like, the Eugene, shit? Eugene is the coach, and, like, coach there's a line where he's like, oh, dude, this shit, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, bro, you gotta let them, no, a little bit. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit, no, uh, just a uh, little uh, bit. Hey, whisper, 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 whisper. No, the, the. <laughs> No, but I even me. My point is like yeah. you're saying things you were like. I was really. You vulnerable. regret. Yeah. Or you're but I angry. Catch myself. Yeah, like, and then you catch yourself and you adjust. But like, if it's a it's a rare thing when you're being videotaped mm. that you will be emotionally reactive, knowing that someone's videotaping. The reason prank videos I didn't work know is because taping though. That's oh, that's why. Yeah, that's why. That's why. I, no, I was just you know. That's why. You know, it's funny thing. Uh, in the end of it, I was just like, I need to go home and calm down. Cause I recognize, like I'm up, I'm in this this uh, parasympathetic nervous system or whatever. So I was like, okay, I can recognize it again. Self awareness, I understand. Like, okay, I'm not myself right now. I need to go home and calm down. But I was really angry because of the thing that was happening, and I just just that was just me doing this. But that mm. that's that's yeah. what you're not going to see in a documentary. Yeah. And that's it's what human. You're, we all you, do that. You're also not going to see in a documentary about yourself. Everybody's yeah. going to put the best version of themselves out there. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Was it difficult to keep the vulnerable parts in the edit? Mm, no, because I am a vulnerable person. But there's the bits that he's talking about. When you guys see it, it's like uh, I, I like I cringe because I, I'm like good. That's real. That's real. The world's gonna see this. Even the dancing bits, because like I said, for me, dancing is so like the artistic bits in between, where it's like when they talked about the urinal in high school, and then I'm yeah, dancing yeah. In, like in a, in a bathroom, and it's just like this art. Like it was like Rise, you know, Dave LaChapelle, like a little bit. Those little bits and pieces, and it was just like for me. Some people might get it, some might not get it, but for me, when I watch it, I, it's literally I'm just like the world's like, seeing how I'm expressing myself in those moments, and I'm just like I don't mind because. Fuck them, but at the same time, this is me just being me, and I've always kept the same energy, so why would I ever stop now? Mm. So, on the big screen, my documentary debut, I stay true to who I am. Huge announcement for me. I'm so fucking excited about this. I am filming my first full-length stand-up comedy special in Houston on September 2nd. I had to do it in Texas. We found a beautiful space at White Oak Music Hall. September 2nd, hurry up and buy tickets at AkashSing.com. Again, everything that I have accomplished thus far, whatever growth I made is because of you guys, because of this podcast. I'm so grateful for all of it, and I cannot wait to take it to the next level. So go to AkashSing.com, buy your tickets September 2nd. Let's blow this shit out. Let's make it the greatest comedy special that has ever happened. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Now let's get back to the show. And we're back. Let me, let me re-up. Let me re-up. Yeah. No, we got some uh, Jack, too. Thank you. Thank you. Give me the real shit. Give me the real shit. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it was great. It was, it was, I, I uh, it was dope. I mean, you're so good at putting out your authentic self, but I don't know if that was always the case. Yeah. What's your advice to people that maybe just have like regular jobs yeah. or that want to be creatives that have difficulty putting out their authentic selves. Do it. That's my advice. Do it. It's 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 nerve wracking. It's uh, hmm. annoying. But I feel do it because 
Those who fuck with you will fuck with you. That's how I get. That's how I feel like. And you why. weed out the people who won't really don't. fuck with you. I yeah. do. So, sometimes I'll just post some random shit on my on my Instagram just to weed out the bullshit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, because I feel like those who understand me will know. Like, oh, that's Israel. We've been here since 2013. Mm. We know he's at like Valentine's Day. I used to <laughs> one time. The first time I did it, I fought on Valentine's Day in Adelaide, Niza Fury. And I think I, I was heartbroken at the time, and I was fighting on Valentine's Day. I even came out to Luther Vandross, never too much. Mm. <laughs> it's on YouTube. It was fucking. It was a cool entrance. But that day, while I was waiting for the fight at the hotel, thank you, brother. I just I went on the gram and I posted probably like 85 memes. The captions were the ones. Thank you. The captions were funny. But I literally just posted just memes, just roasting, just love. But it was just me fucking around. And I was just having fun with it, killing time while I was waiting for my fight because I'm just lying in bed. And, you know, people are, oh, I'm, I'm going to follow it. This is too much. Because, you know, you're only allowed to post on know, some weird unwritten rule like once a day or whatever. But I'm like, <laughs> who the fuck? It's the internet. There ain't no rules to this bitch. Mm. So this is me trying to weed out, like, the bullshit. So sometimes you'll see me post some weird shit and then it's just like, what the fuck? Like, then those who don't fuck with me, they can just... To the wayside. Yeah. Yeah. I have to. And even if you're still uncomfortable about whatever moments in the documentary, I would say I'm trying to form the sentence as I think of it. But like, yeah. that's very it's a very fucking cool thing you do that you you are open with your losses. You came on here the day after you got knocked out. Yeah. And then the day after you knocked him back out, you were like, no, nah, I need to be by myself. Yeah. And it's really, I think, cool for people to see a champion still be open and vulnerable and talk about the losses and the bad moments. And I think we all are like, yo, fuck, if this guy who I see as a superhuman, who literally knocks human beings out for a living, yeah. if he can be human, I can be human yeah. and fuck up. Yeah. And I think yeah. it's a you have a bad moment. show, you have a bad date, you talk to a girl and fuck it up, it's like, bro, that's it's whatever. Hey, it's, a numbers game. it's a numbers game, man, just yeah. run it up. Yeah. <laughs> Keep shooting. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is, but like, I mean, <laughs> No matter what, no matter what, I feel like you just have to stand up with your head tall, no yeah. matter what. Even one thing you said, I think you said it the best, was you seeing you okay. You even said Duval was like, man, I feel bad. But then you said seeing me okay made you feel okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt the same way recently with Kai. He fought, got robbed badly. Yeah. Badly, like horribly. Yeah. But then I was fucking angry. But then I sent him a message, I think a video while he was in the back. Um, and he sent me one back afterwards when he was um, going to the win or whatever. And seeing him chill made you feel out. Exactly. So he did that for me as well. So I was like, okay, he's fine. I can be fine. But I was still angry. And fuck, bro, fuck these guys, man. I feel like even in boxing, if, if a judge if a judge or judges fuck up and it's a controversial scorecard, they need to be on the post-fight press conference podium. Oh, that's a good one. No, have them do a yeah. post fight. Press no, like conference. you know, the fighters go, Dana's yeah. go, then the judges go. Okay, so, sir, why I, did you give him the fourth round? Mm. Hey, thank you. Yeah. The fourth round, where Kai won the fucking round. Yeah. How did you decide? You know what? Fuck this guy. And That's just actually go. a great idea. No, but they're never they, gonna do it because they. Like, but if you do it, it'll change the system, and they'll have to be held accountable and actually judge. Bro, you know what I mean? You know what the tricky thing about with with that specifically in UFC? I understand it in boxing when like the different promoters have their fighters and they want their fighters to win. Yeah. In UFC, they represent all the fighters. Yeah. It doesn't benefit them in any way to give a shitty decision. There's a conspiracy. Okay. That that, uh, <laughs> that chance, my my boy Chance, um, kind of put me on to because Volk, I was in Perth, mm -hmm. I was right there. Me and Ash, when it happened, fifth round, I, I lost my shit, bro. I was like, he's done it. This guy that people were like, oh, and he's a great fighter, you know, from that side of Dagestanis, they're fucking awesome at their wrestling and whatnot, but this guy has a myth, and then Alex fucked him up. It's Be like it. the scene in 300 when Bro, the, uh... Actually, you see the first there was one round when, when yeah. Alex told me, Alex told me when he was on his back, body trunk, Alex was like, I thought you were gonna finish me, come Yo, on. It was great, oh, it was great. Come on, come, great. come on, yeah. bah, bah. And in fifth round, Alex finishes on top, and then me and Ash, I see Ash, and both cancers, Cancer Leo, and like, I'm emotional, he's crying, I'm crying, I'm hugging them, and I'm just like, fuck it, you did it. And then Red Hot Chili Peppers are playing that night mm. in the fucking 60,000 sold out arena, so it would have been Alex, double champ, boom, oh. and then goes to Red Hot Chili Peppers that night. You, oh, bro, and I feel like they stole his moment away. But the conspiracy is Chance put me onto this set like, something about, 
Yeah. We're all flagrant, bitch. Yeah, so, <laughs> I didn't say it. Chance said this. Yes. I'm just paraphrasing. This is chance. This. Now we're in. This is all chance. This is all chance. This yeah, is you chance know. and tequila and yeah. Jack Daniels. So nah, bring but, that. Uh, but he said, like, you look at, um, you know, the, the, the movement right now in um, Far Island, Abu Dhabi, the stake they have in the UFC. You know, it, it pays them to have a champ that that that's from that side of the world. Oh, that's right. Because Saudi Arabia is going to pay crazy amounts of money for a fight. Qatar is going to pay crazy so, amounts and, and of money. I, I don't, I, I don't think that you, like you said, with boxing, it's different because each promoter has their own fighter mm. that they want to win, and it kind of like feels close. But the Islam, guy. listen, the Islam Volk fight was close at least. The it Kai was close. Flight fight, I think was it was four one. I think it was four one. It was it was competitive. You, whoa, 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 Islam uh, Volk. Or Kai. No, no, Kai. No, Kai. Yeah, Kai, Kai, yeah, Kai blew him yeah, out. Yeah, it was a horrible yeah. decision. It was competitive, but yeah. he won 4-1 in my eyes. 4-1. Sure, 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 sure. Islam, Volk, 3-2. I but thought still I, like, I had Volk winning, yeah. but I wasn't upset with a 3-2 yeah. Islam. I, I was like, okay, I could see how certain was, rounds. Trust me, I was Listen, upset. of course, well, of course. Biased. But listen, uh, listen, we love Volk here, but <laughs> yeah. uh, it, it was one of those things it's where it's like, uh, in the Nate Diaz street fight rules, yeah. we know who won the fight. Thank you. Exactly. Because one guy fight. could barely stand up at the at end, the end yeah. and the other one, guy was doing jumping jacks. Yeah, fucking Shiner, all that kind of stuff. So it's like... Put it this way. Islam yeah. don't want that fight again. Uh, he gonna get it again. Oh, he gonna get, he gonna it. get it again. Uh -huh. He don't want it. Like, he is glad that yeah. Volk is going to fight, uh, what is it, Pentoja or something? What's his name? Um, what's his name? Uh, yeah. What's his name? Pantera. Pantera? What's it? What's the guy's name Fucking that, that uh, Volk oh is going shit. to fight? No, no, hold on, wait. No disrespect. Name. I know his name. Uh, oh, my God. Pentoja, no? No. Rodriguez, Rodriguez. Yeah, Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Rodriguez. Really cool. nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, That's his nickname, <laughs> motherfucker. Pantera. Pantera. I said, I said Pantera. Yeah, I was like Pantera. Yeah. Pantera. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. That was close. Yo, why yeah. didn't they just run it back with this one, man? The UFC going to UFC, bro. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, hey, I am. I'm not the brass. They have their own plans. But um, like yeah, you said, that belt. That's why he has to go back. Yeah, he has to go back down to featherweight, defend the belt. Because does he have to? Himself. I mean, bro, like <laughs> you can't hold up the division. If it's we, hard to hold it up listen, as well. If we look at Volk in rematches, yeah. And keep in mind, Max coming through tomorrow. That's my yeah. motherfucking guy. I, I love, love Max. I met him. Is uh, I've met him before. He was there bro. last night. Yeah, bro, I love that dude. He's Yo, so Max is one cool of the coolest energy. guys on the planet. Cool energy. It's that aloha it, all day. Real talk, it yeah, is. Man. But I think Max will even say, "Wow, this guy improved from each fight." Yeah. Right. He did. So. I can't see that not happening yeah. it might, against if it happens. Islam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are, definitely. Oh, trust me, no. We evolve. That's an easy. We evolve. I think that's and an I, easy dub. It's, it's like the four-minute mile. Once it go broken. Once one person breaks it, it's over. So once Volk did what he did in real life. Now, now people are afraid of oh. Islam. It's like me. I knocked this guy out now. I'm like, bro, if we fought 10 times again, I'm knocking him out 10 times. Every single time. Yeah, because I know right now. I got his know number. Now. I got his uh, number now. People thought, people thought he had my number. But like, once I've done it now, it's I've actualized it. It's like, oh, I can do it now. Yeah. Well, you said you asked him something about the leg kick. Yeah. What did he tell you? Um, I just asked him, like, I don't know how he did that. But I just, I think it's just limited English, but pretty much I just gave him props. I was like, you with that leg kick is fucking dangerous. Oh, but because it's a hard leg kick, kick without turning over the hip yeah. at all. And he just, there's no tell. And he, he doesn't, he doesn't, like when you, when you leg kick, sometimes you have to step. You he have don't. to step. It's a quick step, quicker to step, quicker to kick. Mm -hmm. Even a head kick. Quicker to step, quicker to kick. That's, the, that's like the general rule. But he doesn't even step. He's just there, just like, boom. Mm. This fucking stone face. Some soccer I, shit, bro. But, <laughs> bro yeah, actually. It, it looks as if he doesn't, come across it looks as if he comes almost up but then his leg still does this and still hits you yeah it's just like yeah power did he tell no you how he did it did y'all yeah, like share no yeah we did it um at, at the airport so when we went through the scanner thing put our shoes on da, 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 and i see him on the other side i'm just like <laughs> ready to fight again <laughs> <laughs> so do the same ritual. put the vaseline on your forehead <laughs> like, I'm and I, I, ash, was, I, ash was the first one to see him it's like is that i was like nah I was like, oh shit it is so we kind of like we're behind them for about Two minutes or so, then I was gonna I was gonna be like, hoy. <laughs> <laughs> but then I didn't. Um, and we took that video, it was cool. But then I, we talked about the Jan fight, and then I kind of gave him some some tips, if you will. We kind of have the same idea. Cause then so I was just, I was saying like the way Jan fights, and he knows. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you're gonna catch him with this. But I was like, but be careful because we also thought he's gonna do this, but because we're great strikers, or because I'm a great striker, <clears throat> excuse me. He was patient. Mm. 
He took his time, so I said, "Just he's, he's probably going to be patient with you." And he's not a bad striker. That's, he's not. He's, he's, he's his wonky. striking is underrated. He's just weird. He's yeah. not a weird striker, but he takes his time. He takes yeah. his time when he does. Yeah. He's good. But with other guys who aren't great strikers, he rushes, mm. and he he can get clipped like that. So if, he, if he rushes against Poitain, I think. He'll but that's good. the thing with yeah. Poitain. Like, it's he's coming up in weight, and Jan has good control on the ground, right? Like yeah. he's got jujitsu background. He takes him down. I think he'll probably just hold him down or beat yeah. him up there, but. Up top, I feel like Alex got him. Yeah, but yeah, that does yeah. speak to what Andrew was saying earlier with you guys having this beautiful relationship where, yeah. like, it's after the fight, fight yeah. it's just... I wish you messed with him at TSA, though. I wish you put the yeah. brass knuckles in his back. <laughs> <laughs> Payback! That was him. <laughs> okay. is that common why, is, yeah, why is it, like, do you guys feel this way? Like, when fighters who have had these wars are actually friends... It makes me happy. I would say, yes. friends. I would say we're friends right now. No, no, not friends, respect. but like... Uh, There's mutual respect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get, I get, I don't know. I get with a 12 weird... belt, trust me. You'll see a, <laughs> see a fist But fight. I get a joy yeah. from it. Why is that? Like, I wonder as a consumer why I like seeing these guys who I, put it all out there. I think we like happy endings. I do. Yeah, it's like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not that nice. Shout out to Tootsie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? No, yeah. but, um, yeah, I think it's, we like happy endings, you know, like, uh went through a war, we've been through four fights across two different sports, and then it's like the mutual respect and adoration for each other's skills, you know? Regardless of everything, I'll go to Brazil, I'll see him, I'll say what's up, I'll hang out in his hood, you know? But um, yeah, it's uh, even he was in my neck of the woods. I, th I thought he was gonna come to New Zealand, he didn't. But um, he was meant to pull up to this fight where I saw Tyson Fury, but apparently, he didn't pull up because I was there, but I'm like, I don't care. I would have liked to say what's up, and just, oh, you're in my neck of the woods. What you you also know that? something about each other that very few people know. Yeah, we know. Exactly. Like, we know. That's Shared an experience. Is it, yeah. It, yeah. It, it's yeah. like when, pre sorry to cut you, but like, it's like when, uh, you know, past presidents are always friends. Uh, yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah, like George Bush is Who's hanging Trump out with, with Obama. Like I don't, Trump might be the only one. They don't fuck with. But like what they've experienced. Yeah, George is Bush and so Michelle are like they best friends. Yeah, yeah, they're, really? they're, yeah, they're like trading candies they and shit. Together. Michelle Obama. Yeah, Michelle Obama. And George yeah. Bush Jr. Yeah. yeah, it's adorable. Breaking Americans news. are hilarious. They did about the same while they were in office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's like, but it's just this one thing where it's like it's such a unique experience that they can't really share with anybody else. So once you've had that, with someone, at least I can be honest with you. Yeah. At least I can vent with you. About get it. Things. It's like you get it, yeah. I think it's why a lot of times like uh, country clubs even exist. It's like rich people want to be in a place where they can complain yeah. to other rich people, oh. where poor people aren't going. Oh, it must be so hard. <laughs> what are the poor no people doing? <laughs> so they don't want to know. <laughs> That's they don't want to know. <laughs> you just slipped in there. If he get, if Barrera gets a uh, that's good like catch championship, you're gonna. Did fight you just him. try to pronounce it? I tried. I tried. Whatever. Whatever. It don't matter. The, it we don't the, need to respect him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so but what? if he gets another championship, yeah. you said you'll fight if him. If he goes up to 12 five, he's going up to 12. If he gets a belt, yeah, he can catch a smoke. Oh, I thought you said it was Whoa. done. No, 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 no. It's always done, but like, there's always that like, little... Just yeah. in case, oh, okay. just in you case. said you're locking his favela when you're 55, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. I'm right here. That's what I said. I, so, like, but now I've beat him, so yeah, keep that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Beat him is done. What, what was your thoughts on the whole Tyson Fury, John Jones thing? I mean, I saw Tyson, and I said, look... You should, I, I think, just learn how to sprawl. You'll be right. Whoa. Really? Yeah, just so learn how to sprawl. So he could defend the takedown. But again, it's it's John Jones. Yeah, it's easier said than done. Yeah, exactly. And also, it's Tyson Fury. He doesn't know how to sprawl. He doesn't yeah. know how to jitsu. Yeah. And he was like, listen, mate, you ain't fucking getting me in a cage. <laughs> Whatever he's, you know, what he yeah, said. Yeah, he had a different energy with yeah, you. Yeah, than yeah. He did I mean, but it's, it's real life. It's real life shit. It's like, you have to understand the reality of what's, what's actually happening. This is, I love boxing. I was at... I uh, watching the Tio Fimo Lopez and the, the Taylor fight. It was yeah. fucking awesome fight. Bro, Tio went, I don't went know crazy. what he did, Super Saiyan. He was starting to like, hmm. pa, like yeah. literally in the flow state. I like when I see a, not just a fighter, even a dancer, um, anyone go in the zone. Hmm. I know when I see them, when someone is in a zone and you're like, ooh, and so they go in it, they come out of it, they go back in it, come back. Some people stay in it. But Tio was just going in the zone. He'll pop out for a little bit. I think he took round 10 off just to rest, but he'll be in the zone. There's one point, did some shit, touched his foot, caught him with the <laughs> offbeat. Oh my God. Yeah. That was magic. The whole place was going crazy. The Scottish people, the fucking Mexicans, there was yeah. nuts, yeah, bananas. Yeah, 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 and like a little yeah. intimate theater. But, um, yeah, I like see, I like seeing someone go into a zone. What were we talking about? Oh, fuck, I lost my train of thought. Tyson Fury, uh, John Jones. Yeah, nah, boxing is different from fighting. Yeah. I mean, from, like, actual fighting. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like, oh, the greatest fight in the world, you know. Yeah. If you want to be the greatest fighter in the world, you have to be able to fight other styles. Yeah. There's not just one style of fighting. This yeah. is why I'm, I'm a kickboxer. That's what I started in. 
and I love grappling because it was fun to watch. And watching the UFC, it was learned. Like Jorgen, we explained what's happening. I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. Da, da, da. But I had to learn. I put my ego aside, and I was like, if I really want to be the best fighter in the world, I could have been the best kickboxer in the world and just like done that, and made okay money, made live really nicely, very rich. I could just go into boxing because I was boxing for a little bit as well and done the same thing. But I was like, I really want to be the best. I, also, I just I want I never want a man to be able to handle me in any situation. I want to yeah. be in facts though. Facts though. Facts though. Facts though. But I just I feel like you I'm know, training for jail just in case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, if you're my cellmate. <laughs> nah, nah, but like, happy Pride Month. Anyway. Um, <laughs> For me, I feel like to be the best fighter in the world, you have to be able to beat any style, you know? And that's why I put my ego aside and I was like, I'm gonna learn how to grapple. It's like to be a good criminal, learn to be a good lawyer. Mm. You know what I mean? So I, nah, the first, how I many fights in the UFC now? Only one guy was able to take me down, keep me down, and he's a weight class above me. Everyone else Are you because, excited for uh, tapping somebody out? I'll tell you something after this. Okay. <laughs> okay, nah. so you got plans. Bro, I'm there was. Done. A, I'm, I was just hanging out with Craig Jones. Costa? You know Craig Jones? Of course. Yeah. Dude, we love Craig. We love had Craig, Craig on here. No way. B Team Jiu Jitsu, oh, oh, yeah, man. Come on with Vogue. Um, Alex, yeah, 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 that's my nigga, Craig. And Vogue's uh, trainer who fucks ladyboys in Thailand. Uh, uh, <laughs> shout out to the old Joe. man Joe. Old Joe. man Joe. <laughs> he like a girl with uh, hand strength. <laughs> broad shoulders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe been through some yeah. Thai boys, bro, for sure. We love Joe. Love you, Joe. Nah, we was on Puerto Rico hanging out, training. Yeah. But yeah, I'm upskilling. I'm upskilling, and I, I I love grappling. People haven't seen too much of it yet, like the casuals haven't seen. But I thought you, watch, you were going to tap uh, Costa out when you had him on yeah. the floor knocked out. Yeah. Oh, I tapped twice, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even those, I think yeah. I, I think that's I think that's the greatest celebration post fight celebration. Hundred <laughs> percent. Second best. Second best was all this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The first I was flipped Costa, the order. That's but, probably why yeah. they took your your tweet uh, seriously in the documentary. <laughs> 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 this motherfucker means business. Hey, man. <laughs> I, I ain't a ghostwriter. I, 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 I live my raps, put it that way. And, and Logan Paul fucked you up a little bit. I saw that. <laughs> that's right, quick mate. Does Logan have a chance? That's funny. Does Logan have a chance in MMA? I think he's going to find the He's UFC. an athlete. He's no, an I'll athlete. Tell, I'll tell you one thing. When I, when I grab him, because I think he's like... Cause he's he wrestled in high school. I saw him wrestle even Costa. He was able to do duck hunters and kind of stuff. He mm. was able to wrestle and he's really good. And um, when we were, like I was like, fuck, you're strong. I could feel him straight away. He's strong. Like he's a beefy dude. But so am I. Yeah, but then, boy. Also technique and also I have. Excited, bro. Got a little bricked up. Yeah, I was yeah, like, you're bricked up. He's on a carnivore diet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Response, I, I went expected. back to keto. Yeah. 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 No, but but he's, he's a strong dude, and I think I think he's just gonna he's gonna do it at some point, even just once. I think he's gonna do it just once, just for the spectacle. Does he can he can he can box? I taught him how to kick a little bit. He'll work. I think those guys, especially Jake, because when I was at the house after he knocked out Nate, and Jake was just such a nice dude, like a big fan. Wait, wait, you said you were at the house. You saw him knock out Nate. The, uh, Nate Robinson. Oh. Yeah. He's oh, fighting Nate. Nate. That's right. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, My bad. No, yeah, Nate yeah, Robinson. Yeah. We you almost out. broke <laughs> in <internet>. Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but like, so talking to him at the house, I realized that like that night, like, oh, this guy's crazy. He's he's going to do this shit. Like, mm. he really wants to box. And look at him now. Even that Puerto Rico guy's just locked in. He's just like, yeah. nah. He no, he takes it serious. Yeah, he wasn't like, you know, fucking around. Yeah. Nothing. He didn't come to dinners. He was at the house for a little bit. But, um. Yeah, uh, I think Logan will fight in the UFC at some point, just for fun. Who would be a good matchup for Logan? Right now, I, I, I can't even. Great question. I said CM Punk, but he's like, nah, I'm Yo, fight come CM on. Punk. <laughs> I think disrespect <laughs> Logan. Like, he's like, yeah. He's like, I'm gonna fight CM Punk. No. I was like, fair, fair. No, an active UFC dude. Uh, That'd be like a good wait, fight. Wait, hold on, hold on. You ready for some clickbait? I probably Can don't I, even know their name. Let me give honest. you clickbait. Let me oh, give you clickbait. Go, right? You ready? Ready? Hey, Drikus du Plessis. Is that a good uh, mass matchup for Logan? <laughs> nah. Oh, uh, nah. <laughs> I'm saving that one. I want that. Oh, guy. you want that one? That's okay, mine. fair enough. Fair enough. Bro, that was, that. That was a, beautiful. I'm a torture. That was a beautiful lob of clickbait right there. Wait, do you really want it? No, I want it. He cut one of the greatest promos I've ever seen in history. What do you? Say. When he said, "When he said, 
in full blonde hair, blue eyes, white face, said, I'm the African <laughs> so, 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 If he said this, if he said, I'm the captain now. Look at if he me. Said, Look at if, me. If he Fuck. did that shit, bro. Man. That, you have to, listen, on a troll level. Yeah. I appreciate it. You have it. to acknowledge 10 out of 10. Bro, like, I just, okay, look at this. You know what? He's asked? a white guy from South Africa. No, no, no. Yeah. Are, you, are you familiar with he the knows. thing? Alex, I think Alex is on the point. Oh, no, bro, we like, were dying on that shit. You know um, what ancestryandme.com is? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's for white people to be not racist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just, so, it's not this just is how white people find out they're yeah. Native American. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but this is what I'm saying. I could do mine, and it'll tell you 100% I'm Nigerian. Yeah. You're the bad boy, Ogun State from, from Africa, the greatest continent on the planet. Mm. Well, well, yeah. well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, well. Look at your phone, look at your phone. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring your iPhone down. <laughs> China, <laughs> fuck up. China, 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 Things. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, but you do his ancestry at me.com and it'll tell you where he's really from. Where is he from? I don't know. Where are all people from? Uh, oh! Try to do it. You try to do one of those ones. Oh, <laughs> nah, shit. Nah, White Conda nah, nah. forever. <laughs> 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 we're the captains now. <laughs> we are. We're back, baby. <laughs> no, but like, uh, I think it's French. Duplessis is a French name. I, I did yeah. my Googles. Who's left to fight? I mean, that honestly, like, I want to. I wanted to fight DPP. I will fight him. I'll pray on this. I will make this happen. I'll manifest this. He's gonna rock, like rock Rob or do something crazy in the first. Because he's fighting Rob. Rob, I'm gonna be there. Whoever wins, I'm gonna step in the cage with them. I'll let him. You will do a third one with Rob. I have to. If he wins, I, 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 respect but, to Rob. Love but Rob. But... I'll tell you, like, I'll tell you something after this. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I got to make it interesting for myself. How much longer you want to do this? Ooh. I said at the post-fight press conference, I was like, I, I think I got less than twenty fights left to me. They're like twenty. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? I'm that like, a crazy number now, even. I'm like, bro, that's light. In China, <laughs> when I when I lived in China for ten months, it's kickboxing. Granted, at a high level, yeah. I fought twenty four times. Twenty four times. Wow. Yeah, but that's uh, Chinese people. That's like twelve. I fought Ukrainians as well. I fought a lot of Eastern Europeans. So they brought. Okay. They brought because eventually, like I said, I was there to be a journeyman, and they couldn't beat me. So if you can't beat them, so they, you were a B side. You were there. To yeah, lose. I was there. Yeah, they brought me over to make their guys look good, but I kept wow. on whooping their guys, and they're like, ah. Uh, <laughs> Hey, hey, long, and then that's how I got the name of the Black Dragon, Hey Long, and then they had this they whole just fucking add dragon to whatever you look like, and then it makes you Asian. <laughs> Bro, shout out to China, man. Yeah, man. That's kind of fire. I want to go back. I miss. I do miss China. I miss my time there. I feel like it got me really ready for fame. Hmm. It got me really ready, like as a Why, like to, Chinese just being a, a black regular person, black guy in China. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Could be Berlanta. <laughs> 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 nah, legit, that's what it was. <laughs> it was. That's what it was. I don't know. But I know. I was like, no, that it's like. It's the last race of a black yeah, people nah, did. Nah, <laughs> I'm just saying what happened. I lived in China. They would call you Kobe Bryant. No, no, like they think, oh, Kobe Bryant, the basketball. No, 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 no. That bizarre, that bizarre. What does that mean? Kickboxing? Fight, like Fight. boxing, yeah. Well, where's your idiot in jungle? Oh, you God speak damn, God damn, bro. Yeah, they, they awesome. really appreciate my pronunciation because my language, Yoruba, is very tonal as well. Mm. So I was passable. Like, if I got a Chinese girlfriend, I would have fucking, I would have aced that shit. But, <laughs> you know, I was just, yeah, I was outside. You say ace that shit? What are the happy endings shit. like in, <laughs> <laughs> wait, what are the happy endings like in, in China? Have you, did you experience that? <laughs> Are they happiest? Are they happiest? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Ashna's all about it. I used to turn him away. Uh, him and my darling. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know what's happening. Tell us what's happening. Uh, Ash, tell us what's happening. <laughs> Get some alcohol on Ash so he can get loose. <laughs> yes. No. Tequila. Nah, me and Diamond went to... Ah, uh, fuck it. Never mind. Shout out to Diamond, bro. Hold on. I got to piss really bad. Anybody have to piss really bad? Well, no. I can whenever you let's want. Piss, let's <laughs> piss. Let's piss. Let's piss. Let's <laughs> I'll keep sipping. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break real quick because while we have Israel Adesanya, the motherfucking UFC champion of the world, you guys should know about the official sponsor of the UFC, at least when it comes to law, and that is Morgan & Morgan. Guys, if you are in an accident and you get fucked up by somebody, like say you're Izzy's next opponent and you want to sue, you could call Morgan & Morgan and they could get you money. You're not going to get money out of Izzy because you signed up a fucking release, but... 
If you're just some guy walking down the street and something foul happens to you, if you're chifty getting hit by a car while you're on your bicycle, you could call Morgan & Morgan and you could save a lot of money. They are America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 800 lawyers. That's insane. They have recovered over $15 billion for their clients and they have a proven track record of fighting like Izzy to get you your full and fair compensation. Submitting an injury claim is also as easy as Izzy submitting his next opponent. That was pretty good, right? So all you do is do it online. It's more like, you know, doing something on an app than it is calling a law firm, looking through phone books or whatever antiquated shit you got to do. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without ever having to leave your couch. So if you are ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless you win. Think about that. You don't pay nothing if you lose. So for more information, go to forthepeople.com slash flagrant or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. Again, that is F-O-R, thepeople.com slash flagrant or pound law, which is pound 529 from your cell. Now let's get back to the show. Okay, yeah. so uh, when is uh, when is our boy Diamond fighting again? Blood so, Diamond. Yeah, we're, we're like... This is your boy. You were in China with yeah. him. And the tours, man. We've been around the world, fought in different countries, being... Be many places. Yeah, had fun. Yeah, different hot pots. Had some hot pots. Yes, cold pots. Vibes. Mm. But you know um, I mean? <laughs> <laughs> kicked out of hotels together. You know what I mean? Allegedly, it's been, allegedly, these allegedly, are all allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah, yeah. It's all satire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, uh, but then, they call um, them Big Dick Diamond yeah. in China. You know what I mean? Hey, we're all brothers. <laughs> 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 you gotta go into a fight sometimes, you know what I'm saying? That's all. No, but uh, that's an inside joke between me and him. Like, me, him, Chance. It's a long story. Wait, go. So, How long? Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, I, Sydney, we're trying to put him on Sydney, and I feel like the world needs to see what he can do. You know, not just yeah. him. Like, there's a few of our guys that's like, he's a two time King of the Ring champion. Yeah, he's a kickboxing background Bro, guy, beast. I spar with the guy, I know how good he is. Yeah. That's the thing. He just, sometimes in this life, you get a deck of cards that's not in your favor, but you then get what that one hand. I feel like September, he just needs that hand to showcase his skills in the, in the cage. First fight in the UFC didn't go his way because shit happens. That guy got him. Second fight, he was doing well, but then the third round, the guy just held him. Besides, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win the round. Mm. And they held him. I just feel like it's his time to get someone who can showcase. Put him against a striker. If you really want some crazy shit, yeah. he'll, bro, he'll, he does this thing called a scorpion kick. I've <laughs> he calls it a drive-by. I, I call it. A, he calls it a drive-by. Like he'll be sparring you, and then you'll be right here. Like uh, if we're orthodox, orthodox. So yeah. left foot in front, left foot. Then he'll just step off to his right, and then he'll kick back. No way. Oh. oh wow! And he caught me the first time when he caught me with. I was like, what the, what the fuck, fuck was, was that? that? Yeah. It felt like. Which one of y'all hit me, Chris Tucker? Yeah. <laughs> like that moment. You know, I thought you got dick slapped, bro. Yeah. I was like, dude, you punch me with your dick diamond? That nigga God just damn dick it. me in the face. How dare you? No, honestly, like, he's, he's that guy. He's that guy. So that's, that's the weird thing. Like, why wouldn't the UFC... Why would the UFC build him up against other strikers while he's learning how to grapple, and then by the time he no, gets there... No, they, 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 they will. No, bro, they, 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 tried, they fed you to the that's fucking... Some, exactly, straight away. Straight Brunson, that's what they do. Son... I feel like you didn't even get enough credit for being Brunson because yeah. after that, Brunson went on a win streak for yeah. like, what is it? Ages, yeah. Five fights or something, yeah. something crazy. Yeah. Blonde Brunson, apparently, because it was blonde. Yeah, that was the issue. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't blonde when he fought but, me. And he goes Super Saiyan when he fought me. Exactly. So <laughs> the, the tricky thing, I guess, right there is like, I like that the UFC feeds people, right? Because they're yeah. like, okay, only the strongest survive, mm -hmm. so you get the best. But at the same time, there's certain people where I'm like, I'd build like to. Yeah, build them up. And they've done that with certain people. Example, Alex <laughs> Pereira. They did with Alex Pereira. With me, they built him up, gave mm, him guys that could easily like. They weren't you know, putting him against total no, no. grapplers. Did they put any grapp any none? Zero. The only guy was uh this Bruno guy they, they put him against, but he's Bruno a striker. Silva. He's a striker. And they struck that motherfucker yeah. got a chin. That bro, motherfucker got a chin. He got bro. hit. Big time. Boom. And it was in the apex. So the thing I like about the apex. You can hear it. Bro. Mm. Same with Fire Island. You yeah, when I, when I fought, yeah, yeah. When, I, when I was fighting Costa and Fire Island, I remember just like you could when you watch a bat, you can hear the the, the impact, the thuds, the mm. boom, and then you can hear his corner screaming when I fucked him up, mm. like <laughs> badly, <laughs> like the guy was like, ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was bad, that was bad, <laughs> bro. But yeah, do you like him a little bit, Costa? He's funny. He's kind of funny, right? On Twitter, I don't follow him on Instagram. On Twitter, he's funny. He's, he's kind of funny. Twitter's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he just says the most random. He called me. 
time. I was like, no. what? yeah. Believe. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, no, I'm just no. He Maybe said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> he said it. We're not believing me. it no matter what. Hey, we have it, to protect you now. I'm protected. Maybe it's because you <laughs> knocked him out and then mimed fucking his oh, ass. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. You made him one. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just prison month. culture. Prison <laughs> 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 rules. Yeah, yeah. Or the strong survive. Yeah. Is there any guy you like so much you just wouldn't fight? Yes. That's a good question. Hold up. In middleweight? Yeah. Ooh. If Kamaru came up. Fuck no. You can't do Never. That. Yeah. Never. Love Kamaru. Like, never. That's my dog. That's my brother. It's more, it's bigger than fighting. This is for, for, bro, forever. The, the three kings, that era. Yeah. The three kings. That should have That era. Yeah. That, bro, if we went to Nigeria or anywhere in Africa, Morocco, South Africa, bro, that era would never, ever be... I don't want to say it's never ever been replaced, but like it's just something that's it was a forever, special moment, yeah. special yeah. in yeah. history, you know. Yeah. And I'm proud to, to, I feel proud to be part of that, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's bigger than that. Even someone said to me when um, Kamaru was about to fight Tyra Woodley to win the belt, I remember that I don't know where I was, but they asked me on the podium like, "Oh, does a part of you hope that Kamaru doesn't win so you could be the first African champion?" I was like, "What? Yuck!" Damn, I was like, "What kind right. of mentality do you have to have yeah. Yeah. that you think uh, like I would want?" my boy to lose so I can be the first. I'm like, no. That, that His win yeah. is my win. That question comes from abundance. Yeah, thank when you. When you have abundance, you but, don't no, even but, think but, about but scarcity. But even like scarcity yeah. mindset, that's where that comes from. But yeah. like, yeah, uh, I would never, no. That's, yeah, that's, when you come from scarcity, the idea of abundance is incredible, right? You're like, I want three African champions. Yeah. That's the most yeah. amazing. When you come from abundance, the idea of scarcity is really yeah. exciting. So that person who asks you it, is rich. <laughs> Some rich journal. Yeah. Speaking uh, of African champions, how do you feel about Francis not staying with the UFC? How yeah. move on to I thing? think so. I feel like the story's not over. Even like when um, this so fucking uh, thing with one championship came out, they're like, oh, we are redrawing from the bidding to. The, but that was a play because Francis came to them and was honest. Like, look, I got this deal. Can you guys match this? They couldn't match it. So, oh, to, wow. so to save face, they so were like- So they protected themselves. But I'm, that was stupid. And then when that happened, I saw the the, the narrative, the, 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 the streets was like, oh, he made a mistake, yeah, no one said this and that. But I'm like, bro, chill. It's he signed with the PFL, give it time. Give it time, let him do his thing. Cause the story's still being written. Also, he's the guy that, look, before the UFC, how we got to, to Paris. Have you heard that story? Yeah. Mm. It's crazy. Madness. He's not a guy that gives he up. He told us. Yeah. Yeah, we like, had him on the pod when we were in Miami. Oh, yeah. no way. He called in. He yeah. zoomed in, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I like, Have I seen this? Maybe. But yeah, he's the man. Yeah, no, nah, he is. So he's not a guy that gives up easily. He's not a guy that just, like, folds, you know? Give it time. Give it time. I think he's making the right call. PFL. Also, what I liked is even like bringing up the fighter he's fighting. They're gonna get paid at least a million. Bro, incredible. Mm. Yeah. And then what that does incredible. is like guys who want to fight. They're like, if I fight Francis, that's a money fight for me. Yeah. You know. And yeah, give it time. Things are happening, but give it time. The story will unfold. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be really cool to see him come out victorious. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I think I'm, I'm champion. I think he's gonna get it done. Yeah. And I think also he's gonna come back to the UFC. That's the thing that's quite interesting. No, he will. Yeah. He will. I think no, just this is business. This is business. Yeah. Or and is there a world where the three kings go to the PFL? I didn't want to ask if we can add to that if you need to, but yeah. <sighs> I think I'm going to be in the, the look, for me, uh, as a fan, it's not even about me, but you know, like, it's not, uh, I've been a fan of the UFC for so long. I think this is where my career is going to, that's it. I'm not doing no fucking boxing after this. Nothing like that. Regardless of what you say about Canelo. <laughs> I know your fucking mustache is twinging. <laughs> but regardless, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> we got to do one. We got to do I'll one. I'll be yeah, boxing. I'm ready. Yeah. I don't want to. It's limited. One, it's limited. It's limited. I'm trying to think fighting. who you would who you would fight. Just who put you 50 million in front of me. We'll see. i never seen that yet. Man. Who's big <laughs> enough? There's no one big enough for you yet. Thank Canelo. You. That's what I'm saying. Nah, but no, yeah. Boxing but, needs a renaissance. If boxing has a renaissance. And my weight like, class as well is just like, nah. Nah. No. 185. I mean, like. No, he doesn't have. There's no money in it. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the only problem. Be something. Yeah, if there was some money, yeah, if there so was an absolute superstar, limited, like I want, at least let me kick him. No. At least, yeah, no, there we no, go. No, as long no. as it's too easy. Yeah, you'll yeah. beat okay, the shit out of him. Okay, how about this? They can box. I can kick. I won't throw any punches. Just no, set up. Still just set up. no. <laughs> but what we could do is one round. What they do with uh, Demetrius Johnson that's and Rod Tank? Right. Oh no, that's bad. That's a bad idea. If they want to box in the first round. And then they want to do kickboxing in the second round. It's a bad idea. Yeah, but it's bad. awesome. Also, yeah, <laughs> look, like, I do well for myself. 
I do well for myself. I, I'm more worried about the guys coming up because I'm such a big fan of the UFC, regardless of what people might think or have their opinions about the company. Because look, this is business and it's, it's cutthroat. It's Vegas. It's the fucking devil's asshole. But I want people who fight in the UFC, even when they come into the UFC, I want it to be like you're being drafted into the NFL. Mm. I don't want a guy who's fighting in the because I have teammates who just like Diamond is going to the UFC. He's doing well for himself, but he also has businesses on the side. But sometimes it's other, like, like you have to like do a few PTs here and there. Mm. I don't want that for a guy who has the UFC banner on their chest. I want it to be a prestigious thing where it's like... PTs is personal training. Yeah, personal yeah. training. Yeah, my yeah. bad. It's prestigious to be in the UFC. Like, yo, you're a UFC fighter. I want them to be able to like... You want it to be once you're in the UFC, you're set. that's the only job you have. Thank mm. you. That's yeah. what I want. So I think... Uh, and I. I I really want this to be my, when I'm done with the UFC, I'm done with fighting. I move on to other things. What if the UFC had a different division in the same way that like baseball has different divisions? And where it's like, it's here's UFC. Like well, in America, they have like triple A, double A, single A. So like. You lost me. Basically, <laughs> basically <laughs> the major leagues, everybody's, <laughs> every, the League? everybody's making crazy money. In the NBA, they have the G League, but it's like everybody's making crazy money in the majors. And then they have a subdivision what, where. The WBA? <laughs> that's I mean, oh no, I'm asking. No, that's not accurate because they don't make money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm asking. No, they had the G League where the guys who were like trying to make it into Girls the NBA go. Oh, no, <laughs> my bad. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm asking. I'm, it's a he's, question. He's being curious, I, I can ask questions. Come I know, on. I know, I'm I know. curious. He's not from this country. Man. I don't know. He's a, he's a foreigner. I don't he's know sports. He's a foreigner. I'm just Listen, new here. We saw you take a shot in the documentary. You don't yeah. know basketball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even the Chinese people were like, not Kobe Bryant. No, no, not, not Kobe, Kobe Bryant. Not Kobe. Look <laughs> 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 Drake called um, Chance once. I sent Drake. Chance, my boy, is shooting a show. He calls it, oh, that's a struggle jumper. That was a struggle jumper. Hey, man. <laughs> See, this, this is what I love I'm about not quitting my day no, 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 job no, no, no. anytime. This, this so is what I love about way. the documentary. They left in the miss. <laughs> <laughs> you could have edited out the miss. Mm -hmm. Gotta it show was a you, hard break. You gotta show your lows. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, like, what if the UFC goes, okay, here's our subdivision, and you can still have them on the major UFC fights. You can have them on the undercard. You can have whatever. And then these are the top fighters. Then all these people that are part of the upper echelon are making so much money, and that's like the NFL. That that's really contender up. series. Yeah, like kind of. But they're it? all signed to the UFC. If, yeah, if it's G League and then NBA, when people in the G League aren't making enough money or aren't making like NBA money, you're not upset because you're like, oh, this is the G League. You, you have to make like, it up to the UFC. They have pay-per-view yeah. nights. Yeah. You can watch a few of the earlier fights on ESPN. Yeah. And then you have to go Wait, to the pay-per-view. No, that, that's I like guess. the way they feed you the pay-per-view. Yeah. Like, it's enticing. You feel like, oh, this I feel like that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's you haven't made it to a pay-per-view yet. Yeah. So I, you're right there. I get that. Yeah. But I think the average person is going, all these people are signed to the UFC. And what you were just saying is you want the UFC to be the NFL. Yeah. So I think the way to do that is sign all the same guys, but create a subdivision. Ooh. And then just be like, this is the UFC Development League or the UFC... G or whatever the fuck okay. it was. Yeah. And then it's just like, you know. So it's like, yeah, you're going to make 50 grand a fight or 30 grand a fight, but you're doing that for the opportunity to make millions a fight. Mm. Even, no, fuck millions, even just 50 grand a fight, even or 30 grand for your UFC debut, like, entry level. 30 grand. Think about also, it, you do that three times a year. Also, they, they pay for all your corners and hotels, so you don't have to fly. Well, that's different. Yeah, no, no, no. That's but like, different they have, game no, now. Bro, they just merged with WME. It's yeah. a $21.4 billion company. Yeah. Like, come on. You got money. Mm. <laughs> you got money. What are they so, getting now? Huh? What are people getting now? Because I don't know, and I'm sure a lot of people... Everyone's different. Stuff. My UFC debut, I made six figures, and I made a 50K bonus. Whoa. So I was blessed because I had my, I did my work before I got into the UFC. I, I, I cultivated, I found my socials, I, I did my fights. Yeah, you were coveted. Yeah, I was coveted, yeah. There's a difference between a guy who, like, there comes in. Like, Charles Oliveira's first fight was probably yeah. for, like, a stick of corn. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? But he's become the, he's become the, oh. <laughs> no, but with the mayonnaise and the, nah, the, the, the butter and the butter and, the butter and, and everything, the yeah, salt, the right exactly, yeah. yeah, but now, but fight. now, he, you know what I mean? But he was also, he became the <laughs> champion. Fight of the night, carnitas, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> you get protein? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's yeah. what I mean, I want it to be like, as, I honestly mean that, and it's, I'm just a fan, man, I'm yeah. just a fan, like, it's crazy for me even doing this shit, because uh, I remember watching the UFC. UFC, back in the day, I used to go to Blockbuster or you know, Video Easy. Do you guys have that? Mm. No. No, no, back in the day. Blockbuster. Yeah, but we used to like 
get the the old UFC called? fights. You no, know, the, the DVDs. I'd watch them. Silver, Dan Henderson, Rampage Jackson, mm. Granny Couture. Such a fan. So for me to even be in this position now, doing this shit, it's a blessing. And I, I really, I really feel like it's the it's the best sport in the world. I really feel like it's. It's the it's the best spectacle, bro. I know this shit, cause nigga, when I when a fighter walks into a room, it's different, bro. I know, the I know, and I, 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 never, I, I never play on this. Look, Mike Tyson, even amongst fighters, when Mike Tyson nah, walks through the UFCPR, everyone's like, oh, Mike, Holy and I shit. even. Dan Hooker, who doesn't fan over no one, he tries to get a photo. Oh. Like I know the feeling, cause when a fighter walk, and I walk, I, uh, I hate, I'm not name dropping, but I'll, okay. So I went to OVO Fest, right at the party, at the at the estate, the 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 embassy. All these, I don't follow basketball, so there's all these big time basketball players that was yeah. there. That was the place I met LeBron, and I saw Draymond in the corner in his seat. But then I had my own section with my boys. But then I was talking to all these other basketball players afterwards. But I noticed the difference, and they're so taller than me. But it's different when the fighters and the thing. Cause look, regardless at the end of the day, I can kick your ass. And, yeah. and but fuck it. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. If I wanted to. If you want, but you if wanted. I wanted, if I wanted to. But shout out to, what month are we in? Pride, Pride month. month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Pride Month. We're outside. Shout out to Pride. <laughs> all love, all love. Ash, Ash taking a big gulp. <laughs> <laughs> taking a big gulp for Jack but, Daniels. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is, our, this is our Pride Month. Oh, clip. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave it, Miles. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah there's a different happen, energy when you walk in. There's a different yeah, respect. Yeah. That's a bad man yeah, right there. Exactly. Yeah. So LeBron like, looking at you like he knows you can fuck him up. Who? LeBron? <laughs> nah, 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 it's different. Like LeBron was so uh, at at the house. It was only when there's certain people when they move around, everyone just kind of like also all the clout trousers outside. Oh. Mm. Bro, no, they shipped them in because oh, um, there was one of these kids. I think what's his name? White Kill Cyrus. He's like, yo. Drake bringing like 400 bitches to the house. I was like, oh, word. I don't know who, who curates all this stuff. Should I even be talking about this? Bro, Probably 400? Like, Listen, yeah. we know there's women at Drake's house. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody no, did. Like, I, I didn't know, know it was like Sparta. No, 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 That's no, no, crazy. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, bitches no. at the OVO party? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, the thing is like, they all park at this venue. Yeah. And then they get shit. What is on. the venue? Is it like I don't Blood know. Diamond's dick? <laughs> 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 they just put a light on top of blood diamond's dick. Nah, but like, they, they park at this like they get. I don't know who curates it. It's a, it's a, it's a good system. They meet at like a, a parking lot. They park there and then they get in the buses and the buses <laughs> drives to the estate or the embassy. Exactly. You can't let any yeah. rough yeah. riff raff get us. Used to do that. Same thing. Oh, okay. Everybody meets at this thing and then we'll take That's you. That's VIP. Because yeah. yeah. we, we pull up so, to the house. so we pulled up to the house right and then we're getting clearance and while we're in our in our, in our sprinter, I see this van pull up to the house and it was like you know those clown cars when like clowns just like. <laughs> bro, they got makeup all over their face. Bro, yeah, just bro. like a clown. Okay, so all of them, all of them. Wow. So when homeboy was moving around the party, you could see like they just like. It's him and LeBron at the house. It was like that, but LeBron was cool because he didn't have to say what's up. But he saw me and he's just like. Yo, pulled up and we talked for like a minute. That's Love. so fire, dude. But it was cool. And it was just like, I just, I don't follow basketball, but I follow greatness. There's some mm -hmm. people I follow, I'm just like, yo, you're great at what you do. Yeah. So talking to him was, yeah, it was a cool moment. I think the, the reason why it's so easy to give it up for a fighter is yeah. because there's no ego involved for a not fighter. How so? I know you could fuck me up. So I could just say you're great. Yeah. But for a basketball player to basketball player, it's like, oh, I'll bust your ass one-on-one. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I'll ankles. lock you yeah. up. There's still like a little bit, maybe yeah. for an actor, an actor, a comedian, Same comedian, musician, musician, musician. There's fighter a little competition. Fighter as well, like fighter hotels. I've been, yeah, I know the You mind. see how yeah. fighter fighter goes. It's yeah. like almost a fight every single time. Sometimes it breaks <laughs> out like that. But yeah, but the difference is, even me, I can't wait to go to SPs. I really, SPs, when is the, where's the when are they bringing out the, is it me and Alex should be on there. Nominations. Me and Alex, best fighter of the fighter of yeah. the year. Yeah, we should be on that. Oh yeah. Because Alex gonna do what he does in Vegas, win. Then we should go to the ESPYS that next week, dapper up. And I bet you, same thing. Walk the red carpet. I just know when we pull up, it's just like, oh, there's them boys. Yeah. There's them boys. Bro, you gotta host that shit, low key. Yeah. All right. I, I, no, why not? Oh no no no. Hosting. You, no, 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 no. Get a little what monologue, you get some jokes Yo, on. Okay, okay. Monologue, jokes? Yeah, monologue, yeah, monologue, yeah. Hosting, we'll write no. We'll you some jokes. We'll this will be shit. good. No, no, no. Don't I mean this for real. This will be hold good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys, you got to check my... I'm rapping this year. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 w
Ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Hold on, has he said Ash any? Has he said them out loud? No, 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 no. no. I, I, uh, so, you know what? You do no, this as well for jokes, I'm sure. Uh, you all jokes. the time. Because yeah. there's certain times I'll have an idea and I'll think, oh, I'll remember that, but then whew, it's like a bubble. Yep. Yeah. Gone. And you're like, what the fuck was that? What was yeah. that? And it's like gone. I'm like, oh, I was so good at the moment. And it's like yeah. gone. So now I write things down. Ideas, bars, things. So I, 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 let me let me find a cool one. But Kobe did it. Yeah, and do we remember Kobe's? Come on, bro. Like, hey, Kobe Come on. Did. Remember what Shaq did? Remember what I was doing? God did. Everybody. <laughs> no, to. I got and to. nobody looks back at those I'm moments like, I oh, that no. was fire. Hello. I think it's like a rite of passage. Son, I got to rap. I got to rap. Son, I can flow. This is a rite of passage. I was the best thing I can say. Let him be great. I can say sing. Let me be great. Let me be great. Hold on, hold on. Nigga, I can sing. You got to get Obama to do it with you, bro. You got to get you got to get 16 from Obama, bro. For real. Because I'm, I'm he's going Obama. through what you went through, which is like, I've achieved the Everything. pinnacle of my yeah. profession. <laughs> and when you're black and you do that, you go, I need to drop an album. I know. Okay, let's go to Bards of but let's just see. Let's just yeah. see. Come on. We're down right there. Yo, rap one, yo. No, no, I've never, I haven't put it in rhythm yet, but what? Do it. Don't do it. Hey, hey, These are just ideas. <laughs> we workshop it. We yeah. workshop it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We workshop it. Brainstorming. <laughs> it's a full wow. state. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Okay. 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 That, right. that that's, a, that's a dumb one. This is so stupid. Okay. Right. You my son. Son. If I didn't come, you would have never begun. Damn. Damn. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh Do it again. Shit. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Say it again. You my hold what? Hold you hold my son, son. You my if son, son. You if I didn't begun. come, you would have never begun. Yes, man. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Testify. Hey, bro, hey, fat. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 that's just spoken like word. A, spoken like a, word. No, you got there you go. You can body that. Hey, just, no, to his point, we don't remember Kobe's like raps. Even if they're not good, nobody cares. Yeah, stay. Shaq, no, no, he's still alive. I can't. Shaq. 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 It gets the people. It gets the people going. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah. What you got? What you got? What you got? Hit it. No, it don't make no sense. No, read it out loud. It's just ideas. Exactly. It's just ideas. Hey, Izzy, I'm far away. Don't read it out loud. Just say it out loud, bro. Sorry, no. It don't make sense, but it's provocative. It gets the people going. It gets them going. Izzy, show us a different one. I, <laughs> that one, Nick. That one, Nick. I love you. Too. Okay, I, I, I love you too. I love you too, babe. I look up to you. Yes. Hit us with a different one. Right, right. You, you realize, got faith in you. Realize, you realize we're, we're, we're creating his origin story right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, I took like, that personally. It started, exactly. The seed has been planted oh, in his start. head. He's going to retire wait till, wait till from MMA. MMA <laughs> and I put a whole, a whole verse, and I just wrote him. I wrote him. Exactly. Wait, this. Okay. Find a good one. Okay, okay. Okay, a cross-eyed bitch double cross me. <laughs> that shit started fire. That's I ain't gonna lie. That shit started hey, fire. A, a cross-eyed bitch double cross me. Mm. I make her eye do the X like she cross. All right, it flamed out. Uh, there. Uh, uh, but the first, the first. A cross-eyed bitch double cross, cross me. A cross-eyed bitch there's double cross But there's something me. there. I just got. It's like it's like you doing the the, the you ain't do your shows like your, your spots. Also, I just I'm imagining this woman, bro. It's like you you the champ. You gave her. He a knows chance. who it is. Wait. Hey, the cross-eyed bitch. Wait, hold on. Ah. Hold on, Jeff. Ah. <laughs> Bring up the tape. Ah. Oh, this is, this is, this is. That's the thing, God. Baby, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's finish that line uh, up, we, we all on, got on. one lazy eye, bitch. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, this one. This bro, one. bro you got uh, some of these. You got to bring out the press conference. <laughs> <laughs> some of these you got. Now nah, this, this is a pre press conference, bro. Nah, I'm bro, just saying, like, bro, you just, so, like, just, just bars, bro, just bars. you so far below me. You should be belowing me. Oh, that's good for a bro, oh. for a press conference. Oh, for a let's press conference. Let's pour one out for them. Come on, bro. <laughs> pour one out for them. Wallahi. Wow. That, Wallahi. I, I forget, Wallahi, I forget, I forget, huh, no, baby. That's why, because I forget. So when you written it to me, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Bars. 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 
Hey, call me some balls. Send me some balls and hit him like that. I'm sorry. Just find another one. Find another one. more. Give me one more fire one. This is like gross. I was hating, dog. It be your own people. It be your own people. I'm trying to save him. This is like Safari Rabbit on Breakfast Club right now. That one not it. It's not it. That one not it. All right, listen. Okay, I'm trying. That's why I'm telling you. Don't do this. You great already. This is gonna do it. Go, go on. I'm gonna do it. I'm I'm rapping this year. I'm rapping this year. Yeah, I'm, okay. yo, I'm buying. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, popping. Yeah, yeah. I'm, right. I'm gonna be there. Yeah, man, booty the shorts. That I, I need a song for me though. Oh, a love song. A love ballad. What do you got? Ooh, okay, you my, my my love interest. Yo, let's do it. Happy Just Pride have month. Drake ghostwrite for you. Nah, 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 he's too big. I got, or I have Drake's Ghost Rider go for it. Hater, bro. This guy's such a I hater. How come I can't bro. take the joke? It's right there. This guy's I can't take the joke, but it's right there. We going to Toronto soon. You better watch out, bro. Can you write this him better bars, you think? This is fantastic, bro. <laughs> this is fantastic, bro. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just Mark, wondering. I know you know. I know you know. But I got, trust me, I got bars. <laughs> I go bars. Well, maybe, but maybe you can go straight. This, what, this what? line is actually funny. This is so funny. <laughs> this is it. Listen, uh, this, this is funny. Listen, I don't have time to date. I only got time to fuck. It's true. That's, that's right. Wait, now. wait, 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 wait. I'm not done yet. Oh. I don't have time to date. Mm. I only got time to fuck. Because I come quick. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's bars. Yeah, that's reasonable. bars, bro. That's bars. That that's bars. reasonable. That was an excuse. What the no, hell? No, 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 no. Sometimes facts, bars facts. is an I, excuse, I bro. I do. I don't got time. That's why. Cause mm -hmm. It'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, you fucking for four minutes, yeah. bro, boy. What Yo, are you doing? Yo, <laughs> what's the point of fucking, fucking for long, bro? What's, that? <laughs> what's the point of fucking for long? Bro? Yeah. It's yeah. like cardio. I already trained today. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and when you pay him by the minute, shout out to Joe. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout Uncle out to Joe. Joe. Uncle, Uncle Joe. Joe, we love you, Uncle yeah. Joe. When you pay him by the minute. <laughs> oh, my God. The 4th of July is here, and that means a couple of things. Barbecues, pool parties, and glizzies. And today's sponsor, Manscaped, is making sure that all of the glizzy gladiators across the nation are groomed for battle on America's birthday. So join over 8 million Pew Patriots worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer. You get 20% off and free worldwide shipping with our promo code flagrant at manscaped.com. Go to manscaped.com, cop the performance package 4.0. First of all, you get the lawnmower 4.0 for them pubes. It's a fourth generation trimmer with cutting edge ceramic blade technology, which reduces grooming accidents. And you don't want a grooming accident. That's a big issue, guys. Cutting your nutsack when you're trying to shave it. Who wants that? So, get the Performance Package 4.0, you get the groomer, you also get a weed whacker, ear and nose hair trimmer. If you're older like me, my nose hair be coming out of my motherfucking nostrils every day. I need this trimmer, I use this trimmer. It helps me if I go on the road and forget it, I am fucked. Also, they got ball toner and ball deodorant. You know you need ball deodorant, it's the summer. If you ride a subway in New York, your balls stink. You're fermenting down there. Do something about it. And they throw in two free gifts. And last, it includes the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit to take care of all your facial hair needs. So take your freedom bells to the next level by going to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free shipping with our discount code flagrant. Get your independence back this Independence Day and unlock your confidence with Manscaped. Now let's get back to the show. You have another screen in tonight? No, no, no. Oh, there is, but I want to go watch... Um... What's the name? Uh, Extraction, Extraction 2. Oh, shout out to Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Yeah, Chris. Yo, they made it seem like his memory was going, bro. What? Did you hear about that? What do you mean? Like, he he was on some show where he was like, I got the gene for Alzheimer's. Huh. And then the media caught on to it, and they thought that, like, he was already out. Bathroom. Really? We go, oh, P. I'm letting let you cook, babe. Oh, <laughs> let him cook. Love you, bro. Let him cook. Oh, I love you, bro. Let him cook. Yo, he gonna go write some bars right now. Act like yeah. he's nice. <laughs> he think he's good at rap. Yo, I'm gonna come back with a sweet shit rap. Yeah. I was so bad. I'll trash it most black things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> black things. If we're being honest. <laughs> what you coming? Being black. Go pee, son. Go pee, son. Stop playing. I haven't said this to your face before. You have. Yo, you can't rap, Al. Holy shit. Oh shit. That was a fight word. That's fight, can't. Words. That's fight words. That's fight words. I can't even go pee because I gotta keep talking. <laughs> That's That's I blocked up. You can't rap. You can't dance. That's what that is. You can't rap though. Your feet trash. Trash. Dance a little. Basketball. Dance, Basketball. What does feet have to do with rabbit? Basketball. No, you play good dance. defense. You play okay, good defense, defense yeah. which is the whitest part of the basketball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whitest part of the basketball. He's really good. Play defense yeah. and yeah. rebound. He do. Talk. Yeah. Dude, spot up shooter is the whitest part of NBA. No, no, <laughs> not anymore. No, not anymore. Black people, Clay Thompson, black people got good at that. Black people got really good at spot up shooting. Jordan, 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 Jordan,
Jokic. 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 Yeah, I yeah. see him on the gram. Like, again, I don't follow basketball, but I see who's who's, who's training right now. I know mm. he's a, he's doing big things. Yo, he's all right. Bro. He's doing all right in the finals, bro. He's, 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 but he's not white, white. Ah, uh, Eastern European. <laughs> we don't count them, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they're the OGs. Nah, that's so all. they are yeah. the OGs, but yeah. we, we, we try to act like they're not. That's bro. off-white. That's, yeah. that's off-white. Yeah. Yeah. Act like they're off-white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah off-white. <laughs> white people are weird like that. Why? You don't, like, count the OGs? We, like... We didn't is it kind of like Italians? the way black Americans don't count Africans as Bro, like yes, they're, they're trying? Yeah. Yes. I don't like that. I don't like the whole. So who did it recently? Someone said something. I don't but like. Don't Africans be like? We not like y'all yes, too. Bullshit. Africans yeah, are little, but no, 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 no. That's some people. Africans that's not the majority. That's, 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 <laughs> that's not the majority. But Africans do act bougie. Yeah. yeah. It might be an older Sometimes. thing. It might be a. Yeah, I think. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not the majority. Like now, the younger generation, they all welcoming. Because uh, the world's a whole melting pot now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The internet done made that happen. It happens. That's how yeah. it is. I remember yeah. when I was going to college, bro, the way that people dressed in New York was so different than the way that people dressed in California. Like, I could bring some shit to California, and they like, never saw it in their life. Yeah. Like, Tim's? Bro, literally. <laughs> They'd be like, wait, are, do you have a job? <laughs> like, they couldn't what, fathom. What, are you a construction worker? Yeah, they couldn't <laughs> fathom. Bro. And now, no matter where we go, even when we go do shows, everybody dresses the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody. You went to go to a show and everyone got that haircut. Bro, it, it's going to happen. It's a scary show, bro. It's that's gonna a happen. scary show. Like, yeah, it might yeah, be yeah. a little scary. Well, that, no, that's wait. a rally. Now, your boy had it. Yeah, no. I, nah, yeah, he's touring Charlottesville. They're all going to have that haircut. I call it a jump fade. The jump fade, your boy, what was his name? I met him TG, last night. TG, TG, TG yeah. and OD, OT. No, um, Ugo, Ugo. That's my stylist, Ugo Mozzi. He, right. bro, he, I, I like to flex him. He's worked with everyone. They pulled up. He's worked, no, he's worked with everyone. Beyonce, But they pulled Justin, up, like, Breezy. letting everybody know that they yeah, style. Yeah, oh, no, they're they outside. They're yeah. the guys. They're the guys. So he, he pulled me up with a suit last night. And even the after, I'll wear suit it tonight. You see me tonight? No, I, you know, I'm that guy, like, they ain't seen it yet. Not mm -hmm. everyone's seen my outfit yet. So I'll rock it twice. Mm. I went to the boxing. Bro. Bro, if I pay $5,000 for a coat, I'm wearing it 5,000 times. Not enough people <laughs> see me. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I wear that once and just yeah, throw it yeah, away? Right. I'm going to nah, nah, rock nah. that shit again Economics. and again and yeah. again. I can, thank you. Yeah, baby. I'm my father's son. <laughs> you know, I have to, I have to <laughs> make sure. Yeah, that's the yeah. most Nigerian way to rock bro, clothes, too. Bro, yes, one yes, of the sir. best parts of the documentary, I don't give a fuck I'm giving this away, is when his parents are given the the breakdown of the fighters, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. This was great. His mom just goes on like. It's right. She's right, though. Bro, she goes, his strike, what did she say? His striking is not that precise. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, not yeah, that yeah, precise. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, he's supposed to be like, okay, I'll yeah, take some chances yeah, yeah, yeah. now. No, 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 trust me, my, my dad and, and my mom, they watch every UFC fight card now, and they'll watch every middleweight, even if they're not ranked, on that fight, just to... and just suss them out for me. So when I have an opponent, <clears throat> that was a big one, excuse me. When you have an opponent. What'd that taste like, bro? <laughs> Smash burgers. <laughs> right. Bro, those were good, bro. Yeah, those are true. so good. Yeah, oh, I thought that was a double entendre uh, from what happened last night. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Hey, 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 hey. That was smashed. No burgers, though. Hey. <laughs> Allegedly. All the legends. This All is the legends. a legend. Science, we should call the whole podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. a legend. This is a hologram. Yeah, yeah we just yeah, making fun yeah, of what AI. podcasting this is. AI. It is AI. Yeah, it's it's it is AI. real. Bro, Al can't you know rap, though. though. I can't rap for shit. <laughs> Yo, you don't got wow. one bar. You, circle. you don't got go one go bar. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, Al, you don't got us one bar. bar. Give us one bar. Just, <laughs> Yo, give give right, us one bar, Al. I don't got my bars ready right now, bro. That's uh, white nah, as fuck. Nah, 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 nah. That's not even right. Hey. Go, Al. Go, Al. Go, Al. Go, Al. Go, Al. Go, Al. We keep doing it. I got a freestyle. How you pass it off to the Indian? Come White on, uh, yeah. All right, we'll do up. some hopscotch at least or something like that. Let's do some double dutch or some shit. You got to do something. Come on. If we cheat, if we, if we were tuning in. <laughs> he, 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 he pulled the brakes real quick. <laughs> He's like, wait, he went, yeah. oh. went, hey, he went, skrrr. Bring it to a six. If we're and clapping and stomping and saying your name, you either got to rap or you got to double dutch. Damn. Mm. That's facts, bro. Oh, My name's Alex Media and the place uh, to be. Yes, oh, cool. okay. Studio where to see. Oh. Izzy and oh. the boys. No, I'm come on, don't say I'm serious. serious. I gotta go. 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 Jewish, bro. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget clowning. They don't rap. They sign y'all. 
on after you rap. That's your yeah. job. That's okay, got the go. Ah! Hold that's, on. Dumb got bars. See a dumb got bars. Dumb got bars. Right here, 360 deal. Please, thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn. Okay. Oh God. Damn. Go. 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 Yeah, go. 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 Yeah, go. 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 That was fire. Dub. That was freestyle, though. That was. <laughs> what, was that? what did I see? Oh, just... Damn. Damn. Trippy. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, Al. Do you have one bar at least? I don't got bars, bro. Damn. Yo, Mark hasn't spoken for the last ten minutes because he's been calculating. Bro, I'm thinking of ten bars. Hey, Mark, <laughs> hey, 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 over here. Uh, he's been, he been waiting uh, for us to ask him. He been waiting for us to ask him. Hey, hey, Mark, do you so, have any rhymes? Like, like, what rhymes with Costa? What rhymes with Costa, bro? I don't even know. So, something about Bob Spaghetti. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something like that. All right, beat. Mark, uh, you got it? You got it? Oh, come on. Here we go. All right, Mark. Rap. No, 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 no beat. No beat. No beat. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. Spoken. Acapella! Rap battle! Acapella! Rap battle! Uh, Alright, let's go. All right, go, go, go. Yo, if you want this, I'll fuck you up like Poetan. Ooh! If you wanna get in the ring? I'll make you my whole gun. Oh, okay. It kind of right. If you put it with yeah, the, a little with bit, a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you put it with the accent, my right. Keep going, though, yeah. no, because we need to forget about that yeah. one. Go, 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 go. Uh, that, that, If you want to get it, I'll fuck you like Costa. Mm. I'm gonna smoke on that pack like I'm Rasta. Oh. 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 Just start the second one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. That was, you need the pressure, bro. You need the pressure. Without the pressure, it was ass. What the fuck was Hola gone? I don't know. Son, give me 10 minutes of not talking. I'll come on. <laughs> <laughs> you was bringing too much attention yeah. to these jokes. <laughs> that. Yeah, you got yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah you can have yeah. it. You can have it. <laughs> Save it. Save it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, but like, he probably is in for the next one. Fighting. Yeah, I'm on. rapping this year. Come oh, on. Let me get it. Okay. Okay. Even if it sucks, I don't care. I'm what? not trying to no, make money off it. I just want to express. I really, I feel like I've got some. Why, why? It's going to go tonight. Crazy. It's was not, that, no. Was, 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 Put it was down. It? These are Zins. <laughs> what is Zims? You never had a Zin? Because look, because look. I thought it was gum. Uh-oh. No, this is bad. You shouldn't have that. Hey, leave me alone. It's, like, <laughs> it's legal. It's legal. Yeah. Well, I'm, it's just, I'm, I'm, look, I'm curious. Let me it's see. It's a nicotine okay. pouch. Yeah. I don't do nicotine. Me bro. neither. I, well, you know what? I, I only, that shit'll I, fuck you, know, you up. Like, I only smoke when I'm drunk. I only vape when I'm drunk. It's because of bitches. Yep. All these bitches vape. That's why. I mean, they do, right? Nope. So, they need to suck on something. Yeah, let, let, let me, me just get a little up. Let me smell. It's better than cigarettes. It's better than yeah. cigarettes, bro. I'm chill, good, chill, but what is it? Because I know yeah. nicotine is good chill, for you. Chill, 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 chill. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, baby, calm down. <laughs> calm down. down. Yeah. Nah, don't do it. Don't yeah. Lockdown. Lockdown. And lockdown. And lockdown. Feel like find out. That kid's cool with the afro. Not Ramo. Not Ramo. Honestly, like the first. Disgusting. Was it a. Hold on. You didn't see nothing. I saw that. He say the bars. <laughs> say the bars. He if you can't say the bars, it can't happen. Ten, ten Miles, ten run the rule. replay. No, 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 no. Ten but second rule. What's worse? No, no, no. He don't know what I did. He don't even know what I did. No, 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 no. He don't even know what I did. What's worse is that he put it back in the pack. You do know. You do know. You do know. You don't even know. Hold on. Yeah, exactly. You do know. I didn't think you knew, but you do know. I was like, some mix. I think my lips went away. So what does that mean? I can't get it under my lip. I think my lips went away. He never had lips like he never had rhythm. That's what it is. Damn. He was in his best outfit today. I was in his best outfit today. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know how he's shooting today. Okay, Mark. you? Okay, Mark. Okay, Mark. Okay, Mark. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Man, going yeah, that was crazy. Are we going deep? talk about Yo, Mark. Are we going deep? Come on, shout out to the Listen, dead, bro. Are you going? Are you come zinning? Are you zinning? Yo, we off the zin right now. Come on, baby. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, what's happening? Hold on, we so zinning. Show the Timmy's logo really on that. Oh. <laughs> Mark, what's your what's your thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, he's about to bless me right now, bro. Let's no, no, that's not. Yeah, I just realized. Because like, I didn't even know you were a comedian. Find me. You find, me find you. Finally, right? Find you. Let me find you. Okay. No, I like Mark Gaganon. 
Why do you got? Why you throw a diss in there, bro? Put that in a rap. Take it. What did I say? What? I'm just. No, you don't want. No, they call me Mark Gaganon. Yo. Okay. Okay. Because all these bitches on my dick and they gagging on. You know what I'm saying? I feel. I feel that. I fuck with it. Hey, come on, guys. Come on, man. Really? No, y'all didn't want me to win. Y'all didn't want me to win. Y'all didn't want me to win. The greatest African champ. Let's go, baby. Honestly, is the best support you can do. Yo, bro. Yo, have you seen Book of Mormon? Book of Mormon. It's crazy. Yes, bro. Crazy. That streak is a story. That's really we, I, 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 my boyfriend <laughs> South Africa and wants to fight it. You see, we got Africa. That's just a story. One yeah. night, I swear I'm watching that. Well, I was like, Yo, well, he did that. Wow, <laughs> that's that nigga right there. We, you bro, are Book of Mormon. But we are Africa. Great. Oh my God, that shit was Go. good. It's the two niggas from South Park, right? They so, made that. So, yeah. Trey Stone and Matt Parker. Bro, that. This is my favorite thing about that play. Is that. Everybody watching that play that has the most offensive humor on the planet. Yeah. And nobody gets offended. I know. I wasn't offended. At all. Because it's just hilarious. Mm. That's what made me go, okay. Everyone you gets these jokes. Exactly. Everyone gets these jokes. Amen to that. Bro, I got. But it's hilarious. They're great. I got jokes. Hold up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. Where are you at now? Where are you at now? I might be in support of this. Where are you at now? Why not rap? Yeah. Uh, no. That's racist, Trump bro. Won't That's racist. Okay, this I go, one, I hate on him. This one, I hate on him. Hold up. I got to go. Go, go, go. Hold on, hold on. You want to beat? No, 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 no. Don't rap. Joke. Hold up. Here we go. Here we go. I'm here. Wait, let me come out. Coming to the stage. Israel Adesanya. Yeah. Son, he's adorable. Let me joke, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch, 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 watch. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> you guys, you guys watch the new Jeffrey Dharma? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dharma. Yeah. I heard um he was doing a he was doing um an interview and said it was the hardest role he ever played. He had to play in his life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really hard to play a gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> Was like, whoa, 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 oh. Mark A, 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 Flex on him. I, I got a movie out. Damn, mm. I'd literally just be honest. I just we I were in the get... movie theater. No big deal, yeah. bro. That's what it is. Tribeca man. Film Festival. No big deal. Tribeca What's Film up? Festival. Sold out. Niro, People trying to get Niro. in. Niro. Bitches waiting outside. Mm. Yeah. Trying to get in attendance. <laughs> Paramount. Yeah. Oh yeah. A twenty four. Yeah man. You Neon. Know the vibes. Yes, yes. A twenty four don't miss, dog. They don't yeah. miss. They're here. And they were they were excited outside. That's all I have to say. Yeah. They even sent an Asian to woo you. Damn. That was her name. That was her name was woo you. Woo you! Woo, that's a woo you! They said woo you! So they said woo you! Woo you. That's a joke, right? Write that down. Write it down, write it down, write it down. Right that's down. a bar, that's a that's bar. A bar. Yeah. So you gotta rap in Chinese, bro. Everything rhymes. Yes. Listen, guys. Oh, hey, sure. Yes. Come on. Oh, yo, be some notes. Oh, oh, I got some more. Ben, I forget, yo, though. Are we going into notes, bro? Because, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, yo, hold on. Yeah. Professional, bust, calm down. Bust, 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 no, no, not jokes, not jokes. Yeah, go in your Yo, raps. go in your notes and, and bust out something that you wouldn't say. Go in your Twitter drafts. Twitter, Twitter uh, drafts, let me see. Drafts? Yo, go in the drafts. I just let those fly. I don't know if I have drafts on Twitter. Oh, I got drafts for drafts days. On Twitter? God forbid Twitter someone get on my Twitter. <laughs> Bro, God don't get forbid. On my group chats. <laughs> God forbid. The shit would be saying. Yo, I just want to know what you say to Ash, bro. I want to uh, know what Ash hey, says. On your back and wet up. Bro, Ash, have we told this story already? Already, you know yeah, the vibes. We might have, we might have told here, we did it. But Ash, yeah. is a, Ash is an almost married man. He no, has a child. Yet. But back in the day, on your back and wet up. Oh, bro. Yeah. Bro. Bro. <laughs> he taught me. Yo, he Ash, taught me. <laughs> Ash, <laughs> Shout Ash, out to my boyfriend. I Yo, don't understand, bro. Right? Ash used to tell me, he goes, there's a, there's a thing with uh, Australian women because of the equator. He was like... For whatever reason, being living south of the equator, he goes. He goes. Women won't get wet in, unless you demand them to. 
Yeah, and, and he was saying, on your back and wet up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I obviously he never tried that. Is that what yeah. that is, bro? Yeah. Yeah. I thought they squirt the opposite direction. They I thought that's what it was, bro. I thought it went the Swirly. other way. <laughs> Swirly. <laughs> Swirly. With ass, they just go, Noi! <laughs> Noi! <"Nor." laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> we had a good night in Perth, Ash. Yeah, I like the nice. picture. It was cool. Good. Bro, like, when, yeah, when, we need a good party night in Oz. Go come to Sydney, nigga. No, no, no. We need a good party night in... Sydney, oh. no. no, New Zealand, bro. Mm. Can uh, we go wild in New Zealand, or is it all nature? I'm not trying to hunt deer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to see some hot ice, bro. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's a callback for the real ones. To the real yeah, they ones, know, they know, they, they know, they know, they know, they know the back of the day. You know, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still like that out there, but, but. Um, so we need to do us. We need to do. We need. We need to do Auckland, bro. We need to do Auckland, bro. Like you can sell out. You you will sell out. We need to do Auckland. No, no, look at me. You will sell out in Australia. You sell out in Auckland. Where we need you to go. go. Bring the whole gang. We'll do a pod. You train. Oh, uh, will will <clears throat> will you do a minute of stand up if we do no. Auckland? No, no. We'll, we'll work Send with you, you on it. We'll work with you seconds. on it. We'll work with you on it. Thirty seconds. One one liner joke. That we'll was work flames. together. We'll work together. Oh, maybe they work with you. Do it. Maybe. We'll make sure it's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Son, that was an honestly great joke. It I took me a second because I'm yeah. dumb. I still want <laughs> to say it. joke. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, mark it! Mark it. I bet you can say that shit in Australia. You know, what, you know what it is? I feel, I feel like... Uh, you you know just with I, the boys. That's yeah. what you're doing right now. Uh, you just with the boys. Nah, you think we're doing karaoke. When, when, when a kid... <laughs> <laughs> I remember. That never happened. Yeah. That never happened. I wasn't there. <laughs> it never happened. I wasn't there. <laughs> Bro, was I, I remember That's telling Ash. Ash I remember telling Ash. I'm like, yo, Ash, I'm going home. You good? And he was just like, we're good, mate. I promise everything's going to be okay. <laughs> Hey, was this in the bathroom? No, it was never in the bathroom. Nothing happened in the bathroom. Yeah, we never, never went to a single there. bathroom. What, what are you talking about bathrooms? What bathroom? There's no bathrooms bathroom. in bars never in New York. There. Come on. Ash, look at Miles, knowing he's going to be up till 5 in the morning. <laughs> 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 no, Miles, you not going to sleep tonight. Get some Adderall, 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 some Zen, Miles. You better pack a Zen. You're going to be editing all night. <laughs> He's so unhappy. I heard <laughs> keeps you up. <laughs> Who'd you hear we that We heard. Huh? We heard. Not you. Not in Miami. <laughs> no, definitely not. I heard. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful for me, for me. stimulants. Me. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That you did it. Yeah. That's what we be saying about a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. You doing Kanye lyrics yeah. now? Respect, bro. I like that shit, bro. That's fire. Lyle. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Oh, the greatest. Nah, we outside. Yeah, we outside, bro. We're still good. We're outdoors. We're, bro, this is fucking awesome. No, 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 no. No 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 life bro life is crazy life is life life is life is lifing man I life is crazy so yeah like one of those if we go back four years five years when you came in put a screenshot when I put the blacked if you remember the ones you know that was 2019. Dude, like then. First time he came in 2018, I think. Yeah, that was Bro. the first time I came back with the belt. Yep. But Bro. like, just do the black one, one, like literally. And then and Al uh, just came back from Sweden, I think. That's right, nigga was arrested. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Bro. How many soaps you dropped? <laughs> he got so, his nails painted now, so you know. <laughs> yo, yo, you did come back from Sweden with your nails painted, bro. That was very peculiar. Son, you think I'm taking over there, bro? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, so he's doing the taking. God, I'm doing were you the delivering. Were you delivering? He's doing the taking. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, my man's pitching. <laughs> <laughs> you know baseball? Look at you, bro. Did no one try? Did no one try? pitch the first pitch, so that's how I know. Oh shit! You didn't see me? Oh, I saw. I saw. At the at the, at the fuck. Wait, that's like Marlins. Florida Marlins. Yeah, yeah Marlins. His chain. Did you have a? You go, you're good, you're good. Was it good or was it 50 cent? No, 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 I hit it. I hit it. I didn't send it, but I hit I, it. I was right, whoop, right I down the pipe. Down the pipe like Mario. Mm. Mm, okay. I believe 50 cent did that on purpose. No, bro. he didn't. I no, believe it. But you know what thing is? Well, even when I did it, you know what? I was like, because I ain't Megan. I ain't that chick that did the backflip, so mm. it wasn't viral. But I'm like. Afterwards, I was like, I was like, maybe I should have just missed. Yes, because that's what goes viral. Goes viral yeah. Exactly. Because they want to see you fail and they're like, ah, look at this motherfucker. Do but that for course. me, I don't think it was on purpose. If it was just well, I think McGregor should have taken the watch off. He kept his watch on. Yeah. He could have thrown him off because it's so heavy. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I took my watch off and I was like, right, I'm going to send this. But I think 50 didn't do it on purpose. Yeah. He just didn't bring his arm back far enough for me to think it was on purpose. You got to think, like, a hood dude's look at baseball like, what the fuck It's is pussy. That? Yeah. Well, no, I, so I, I, like, I use a bat for a different reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, he never threw a baseball ever. I, that's I, I, I practiced it. 
on the pitch. I practiced with another guy. Stay right there. You good. Go. Thanks, buddy. Um, but yeah, for me, I was like, maybe Loki after us, I was like, this is like the next I was like, I should have missed. If I had missed, I'd done something funny. Or chucked it into the stands, bro. Mm. Ooh, why? Because, man, it's like not hitting the catchers was yeah. going to make the noise. It was just like, boop, boop, and it was cool. We dapped up. The guy was cool. The guy was cool. I can't remember his name now, but he was cool. I think Jesus. They probably, probably most, yeah, you, yeah. you got a 50% <laughs> chance, yeah. chance of being right. Yeah. You, got, it's like, you got a 50% chance of being right there. But, uh, but, but like, Jesus, yeah. maybe Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> Too close. Yeah. It's like if you were at a soccer uh, stadium in Qatar, it's Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be fine. Hey Mo. <laughs> no, but um. Yo, yeah. if you did a crazy leg kick before you pitched, that would have gone. That would have done something. Yeah, yeah. You could have. I, I thought the about. I thought about doing something cool, like crazy or cool, but like, yeah, missing would have been the one. So that would go viral. That would be the one that like. Yo. Yeah. Kids, one day. I, bro, I'm gonna be the best dad. That was I do wild. think no, I know you know. No, also, I, I, know, I, know I'm, I'm, I'm so proud I of this guy. I'm, no, no, no. I wanted to do that one. No, no, day. No, no, no. <laughs> no, do you have kids? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what if I? T well, so who's gonna, are you gonna talk or am I gonna talk? Listen. I, I think that we should be those parents that leave it out, bro. Well, respect. We both leave it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Target, bro. Yeah, respect. yeah, yeah. Just, just, yeah. Like, I got, uh, we'll be like Amanda and Mia. <laughs> <laughs> I said nothing. <laughs> I said nothing. Yo, yo, shout out to Amanda. That. Great career. You yes, know? yeah. Respect to the, respect to the females. Um, but kids one day, yes? I'm going to be a great dad. Also, I'm being blessed to be surrounded by, or like, my friends, like Jesse, who danced with, with me in Melbourne. Which one daughter, was Jesse? Because there were three dudes friend. you had. He's the man in the middle with the broken native tattoo on his forearms. Hmm. He had broken native. That's beard my boy. Or, or, uh, beard or facial beard, hair? Yeah, beard, yeah. yeah. He's the one that... Um, his daughter's my, his firstborn is my, my goddaughter, Alexi. She's the best. Frano, he is a Grammy Award winning producer. He produced um, Rich, Rich Spirit, Kenneth Lamar in Waihi Beach in, in New Zealand. That beat was all in his house. He made that. Yeah. His son, uh, uh, Camille, uh, he's my boy. I love him. And, the, you know, Eugene's kids, they love me. Um, I've been blessed to be surrounded by kids and be able to, like, you know, watch them grow. Yeah. So I can't wait to have kids one day. But, for me, it's different now. Like, oh shit, I'm about to get real. Yes, I just felt myself. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I'll, I never get this. Way. For me, it's different. I like, I'm not trying to like be with nobody. I'm not trying to like do any of that. But like, it'll happen. I don't look for it. It'll happen. But you do want to have family. Oh, no, it's gonna happen. When it happens, yeah. it happens. Especially, you, fuck you, fucking little clap tries. Don't try and get me pregnant. <laughs> get me pregnant. Yo, Yo that is fire. That is next level. Happy bro. Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. Happy Don't Pride get Month. Me pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, you know what I mean? Like, for me, it's like, I mean, you know when you get to this level now, like, ah. Uh, I'm lucky because I, I got married. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, before. you're fine. You're fine. Yeah. Married, married. Al, Al is fine. He's ready to get married. No way. When'd you get married? 23 years old. Your birthday. Yeah, thank you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but um, now you're in a tricky situation. Bro. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. It's like, yes. Yes. That's why I'm very, I'm very mindful. I'm very mindful. I like to have fun. You know, I. But I got, I got the starting five. Put it this way. I got the starting five. But no, but the trickiest Whoa. thing here is right. Is like you want somebody to be. What is that? No, the starting five different, bro. That yeah, bumps saying, like bump bump. Who's well, got the first seed though? That's what I'm wondering. You know what I'm saying? That is crazy. Dude, every, you got every, five every, girls every, watching every, right now. Like, am I number one, two, three, four? Three, four? Yeah. Uh, they're checking the. They're uh, checking the money line. Something meaningful was coming out. Like, hold on, hold on. Felicia, hold on. Trina, Katrina, right Katrina. 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 Hey, shout out to go. About three Kims, Toya, and Tina. Uh, uh, oh, she, oh, she, oh, she Bro, he's taking up. a Snapchat. Do you I'm have three? <laughs> I'm dying right now. It's a Snapchat. I'm dying right now, bro. Hey, man, I got to go back. Take no, it back. No, but tell us about the three Kims. Like, how often are you in Korea? Like, so I think she might be number one right now. <laughs> I mean, that'd be a good, that's a good number one, bro. Okay. Respect. Okay. That, that's a number one. Bro. See, they're all watching this right now. Yeah, like, yeah, I wonder yeah, who she's showing. She got a heavy chest. <laughs> Right. Oh, that, that, no, you oh, can't uh, say that. You can't say that. Got a heavy no, 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 he's being honest. But no, she will, just, she will nurture your babies. Bro, oh no, she will. she will, bro. She will nurture me. <laughs> I love breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. That's got all the nutrients. That man. right there. That's got is the nutrients, crazy, man. Hold on, no, hold on. no, no, no. Why your Wi-Fi <laughs> shit? Oh no, it's not even Wi-Fi. That's not the Wi-Fi. That's you. But can we go back to her though? We're trying to look at your Wi-Fi. Not like that. I like that fight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Whoa. Market. <laughs> market. Market. Yeah. Mayo. Yeah. Oh, you You'll mean be up to late. Yeah, you're on the market. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am on the market. <laughs> Bro, but that's the tricky I, I thing. Write it down. 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 I'm on the market, but I am for sale. Oh, new bar. If you try to get me out of Are you to approve? Al act like he's on the voice. Like he's about to turn his chair around. <laughs> I like it. I yeah, think it's good. Yeah, nah, that bar right. He became a Nigerian dad really quick. Yeah. You notice that? <laughs> you don't rap. Yeah. You don't rap. I'm about to press. That bar was kind of fun. That was I adorable. That was adorable in the documentary when your dad was like, we know he make no money doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but when you need money, come to Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was adorable. Nah, but that's what I mean. Like, my parents, though, they didn't believe in my dream, but they always supported me. That's so sweet. Mm. Yeah, nah, bro, your parents have like a, like a really interesting confidence. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, that's a Yoruba shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I, is, is that a cultural thing? Like, I think it's Nigerians. It's uh, Nigerian. My parents have been very supportive yeah. and, and everything, and, and 100%. And I'm, Dancer mom. But yeah, like there, there is some, Big there's balls definitely dad. insecure. Yo, yeah, respect. Son, mom with the heavies. Mom got the heavies, bro. That Cheers shit, too. That, mm -hmm. bro. You know? nope. I I never, breast milk. <laughs> mom, bro. I'm trying to be a stepdad, relax. <laughs> Sandra, he didn't mean it, Sandra. Sandra, he didn't mean it. Sandra, he didn't mean it, Sandra. Sandra, he didn't mean it. Larry, Larry, he didn't mean it. I know, I know, I know, I know. Leave it in, Miles. All respectfully, respectfully. But no, but for real, bro, having parents that that are supportive is... Like, my mom didn't have support, so she got bras. Oh, respect. <laughs> I'm running down. I'm, that that's one, mine. That's that one, mine. That one, that one leave that. Yeah. Leave that. Leave that. Yeah. So, no, that one was crazy, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. No, no, Why you blocking, bro? Why you blocking? That was a good one. Why you blocking, bro? That was a good one. Thanks, thanks, bro. That was a good one. Thanks, bro. You need your boys to gas you up. I was trying to pull me down, bro. I'm trying to He had a ball. I was a Son. in a barrel, bro. Son, for real, bro. Yeah, dude. Bro, is that why you guys like the boys? Oil so much because they're fucking crabs. Damn. Oh, for two. Until you go to the boil. <laughs> and you make, oh, this shit kind of makes sense. Uh, <laughs> Listen, guys. Uh, oh, shit. High hold, key up. Boil hold, is up. hold 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 up. What time's your set? No, 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 no. Not my set. I got. I might have to do one thing that, oh, for bro, one I'm minute. Red carpet. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so, We're having fun. I don't care. <laughs> Yo, know, listen. We out here. Wait, we outside. Okay. Is Emma? Is, is my wife here? <laughs> Just ask her. Ask her if she's here. Where's the Kawasaki? Kawasaki's here. Why, is wasabi. I know, but I like saying. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what is Kawasaki? Is, is like motorcycle? No, yeah. but what what country is it from? Japan. Japan. Japanese. Is it Japanese? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Nippon. I'll take it. That's, that's fine. Kawasaki. Bro, you need to get on the Zins, bro. The Zins are crazy, that, bro. Uh, what does it do? It feels gives you the hiccups. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Hiccups. If you ever want to just like chill with the boys and throw up, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good way. If you're just like, yo, I can really just use a chill good... with the boys and then throw up. Yeah. If you're ever like, yo, I really need to throw up right now. <laughs> that's a good way to do it. Okay. 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 Hold on. Let's let's. I don't want to wrap it up. I'm having fun. No, we're not wrapping it up. No, you never. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. What's funny though? Go, 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 go. What's funny about that? What's funny? What's your? Hey, what you mean by that? Yeah. What did you mean by that? Yo, you still gotta wrap it up though. Ain't that crazy, bro? What is that? <laughs> nah, nah, jokes, jokes, Yo, shout out to nah, Plan B. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, shout, shout out to Plan B. Hey, man, I never pulled out from a fight, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my pullout game yeah. strong. You haven't learned the rubber guard yet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, shout out to Eddie <laughs> Bravo, man. Come on, bro. Tim but, Planner, I see you, I see you. That was a good one. Boy, he's, he's clever. Wallahi. Wallahi. <laughs> Wallahi. Wallahi. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? What's the, what's the touching the, the parents' in, feet thing? Uh, in Yoruba oh, culture, it's... Uh, yeah, no, but like not even their feet, like the proper ways you prostrate. So I'm on like a push. Because I've been wanting to touch women's feet before I talked to them for so long. But it's this. Why you so Can I just say I'm Yoruba? Can I just say I'm Yoruba? Why are you making it Jeff Lele now? Can I just be like boom, whatever? It's all good. Why are you making it like that? Nah, but like in Yoruba culture, like when you prostrate, the girls they kneel down or wakunle, the boys wadopale. So you prostrate. It's almost like a push up fully, but. When you're in public, and it's like, you know, Western world, they don't understand. So you just touch the ground in front of your parents to show respect. I did it fully I saw in the cage. Yeah. I did, that's the full prostrate. Mm -hmm. But then in public, I said, like, hello, mom, hello, dad. Because I didn't see them until uh, yesterday for the first time in this trip. So just prostrate is a, is a sign of respect. It's a sign, ultimate sign of respect. Wow. Mm. And, oh, and wow. will girls do that too? Like, they what's they, the, they kneel that? down. They kneel down. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they kneel down. <laughs> 
<laughs> the knees are You horny little motherfucker. Like, I got so horny, bro. He is. I see. I got so who was, horny. Was it Lisa Ann who was on the pod? Lisa Ann or someone else, yeah. and she was rizzing you. Yo, but yeah, yeah, yeah. she was, was rizzing, and Akash was trying to throw it back, but he was so horny, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for real? Akash is, Akash is one of the most horny guys I know, bro. Right? What, what do you think? He's uh, Indian. Send bro, bubs on the They virginia. horny, bro. <laughs> they horny, bro. <laughs> and he's horny, bro. You caught that one. Thank you. What did he say? She's here? Yeah, let me know. Let me know. Yeah. Shout out to the Bobs and Vegine, bro. <laughs> Baby. No, but Bob's what, do you, what, what is your advice for Akash, who's so horny all the time? Because sometimes it's a distraction. Like, sometimes we want to start the pod, but he's just so fucking horny, bro. I be so trying to fuck horny, his bro. mouth all the time, dude. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can't help it, bro. Man said, oh, I got shows, bro. You gonna hurt me, bro. <laughs> so, Open wide. <laughs> no, Say, ah. he's, a, he's a big boy, bro. He's a big boy, bro. This is a big boy. Nigga, you know how small and cute he is? No, but the <laughs> thing is crazy. The thing is crazy. That's, that's what I mean. He's small and cute, but I know. I know. I know the vibe because I've... I, I haven't seen his, but, but you can, you can, you, you know, know the energy. energy. Yeah. yeah, the energy's crazy. Yeah. Energy recognize energy. I know. Yeah, no, his shit look a potted <laughs> hey, plant. We're all brothers. Look at that right now. He's yeah, fixing, bro. He's fixing his mic. He's <laughs> so chill out, chill out, son. Chill out, son. Chill out, son. Put it away. But do you have advice for him because he's so horny? Just you ever heard about semen retention? Oh, no respect. He did that for about thirty-four years. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, went, it went to his gut, yes. though. It went to his gut. <laughs> Yo, that shit is wow. in his hips, son, for real. He got nut in his hips. How you get the nut out your hips? Yeah. What do you do, Pilates? You just gotta start jerking off your hips. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just rub your belly, come from your navel. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, um, I don't know. But we man. need to think about ways to get. Yeah. Are you really horny? He's a horny guy. <laughs> That's why he bro. can't sleep. He's got insomnia. Bro, literally, bro. he stays Constantly. up to four in the morning every single night, jerking Break off up. like a chimpanzee oh, with a red Damn. ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He wears his cuddle on his dick, bro. For real. <laughs> 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 Yo, shout out Punjab. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Yo, so this I this dance is just warming up the wrists. Was it again? Was it again? I didn't bend a chalk though. No. Oh. Gali Gali Chore, Pakistani Chore, Gali Gali Chore, Pakistani Chore, Gali Gali Chore, Pakistani Chore, Gali Gali Chore, Pakistan Chore. He wants to be pilot. Shout out to the Pakistanis, bro. We love y'all, but y'all thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Give us Kashmir. <laughs> I don't know Did what that is. Did y'all get cashmere back yet? Cashmere, no. Is that the well, fabric? We're taking it. We're what? taking it by fabric. Force. It's the fabric he used to wipe his cum off his butt. I'm not even tonight. Oh, so, yo, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Bro, he doesn't know yo, it. Look at that. You got shows tonight, bro. I've been wanting to do that since they oh, ripped no, my no, fucking baby. jeans two weeks ago. No. Damn. Oh, that's sexy. I love that. Oh, I love that. Was it water, though? Yeah. Okay, we'll go. Yeah, I wouldn't have done it. Okay, let's keep going. I'm about to jerk off. Look. This is what he got. See how they divide us? Yeah. Hey, Val, you see how they divide us, bro? Yeah. Bro. Never. This is this is like what Izzy got in China. Wait, bro. Call Val. <laughs> this, bro. Like, this is that noodle. Val. That noodle I drink. It was Jordan. Nah. It is Jordan now. Fuck, I'm sorry. Val. Khan. Val. No, no, no. I know. I know. Brother, you said yesterday when I... <laughs> oh, yo, he, yo, Val said he pulled up to you yesterday. He was like, what's up? And then you held him at a distance. And you were like, are you here to drive a van through my spot? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro. Fuck it. <laughs> Leave it in. Leave it in. Leave it in. For me, no, so for me, you know what it's like sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Al is prime. If, it, if an Indian accent comes out right now, Al's about to walk off set. Bro. So, if an Indian accent comes <laughs> out right now, Al's walking off set. <laughs> listen, Al's got Al, Al, we're not talking about it. Al, Al, everybody chill out. You got your chill sights out. set on the target. I'm not, I'm not going to bring it up. on the target. Al, Come on, we got to meet up later. Yes, yeah, we do. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, all right. Let's go back to the show. Wait, where where were we supposed to meet up again? Wait, how, many, how many spots are you doing? <laughs> At the corner of the... <laughs> of the parking lot garage, but perhaps, Al. Al right, perhaps. Crazy, that's, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Listen, I'm wet, bro. Hey, I can see that. <laughs> so, yeah. Your boy's yeah. wet. So Some sins, arrived. tequila, Coca-Cola, yeah. yeah, burps. On your back. Come on, and wet up. Hey, Ash, Ash, control yourself, Oh, you felt bro. it? My bad. I'm, I'm about to... I'm it's about a to, smash. No, it's a smash. Yet, yet. Cheers to you. Bro, what a fucking journey, What man. a life. What a yeah. life. Shut I don't think e there's probably people listening right now you, for the first time. Mwah. Mwah. They don't even realize 
like what's happening. Like what the come up is and why this is so crazy. Not just me, for us. It's you guys as no, well. No, no. Like I said, no. Like it's cool to see. Like you say, you know, last time I pulled up to the studio it was just me, Ash, and I think one other person. Yeah. And now I got a whole. You got the squad, gang, squad, yeah. army. Her. Yeah. Same thing. When I was there, Scotia Bank twice. We did all right, bro. That's we crazy. We did all right. Did Shout out Toronto, man. But we then, did all but right. then, but then, same thing. On the other side, see what you guys did, started off with, and then see how it expanded now yeah, man. to what it is in the army. And then who am I? It, it, bro, four years from now. What what are we gonna do, man? Nah, that, like I can't wait. That's so we're gonna be in little playgrounds with the kids and shit, telling man, our telling our glory bro. stories, bro. <laughs> that was funny though. That'd be cool. It took the pressure off me. Bill Bird did. What did he, what did he say? He said something about having this kid at 40 that kind of like he got rid of all of his uh not got rid, but like took his, Handled a lot of his demons. Yeah, his a lot demons, of his yeah. So you don't first. pass it on to your kids. Yeah. You're st there's always going to be stuff you're going to pass on. Bro, but, not to bring back to, to yeah. the doc, but it's like it's one of those things where like seeing you, you go through a little, little journey, Yeah, I do think that that is See an issue. See me as a kid? I had a big-ass head. <laughs> like the same size head, but a skinny body. <laughs> that, yeah. I look like a lollipop. <laughs> no, I did. Like, you <laughs> seen it. There was that one photo in there. I was like, I was at one of my uncle's weddings, and I was just like... <laughs> Did you look back at photos of you and be like, I understood why they bullied me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I get it. No, I get it. No, also, I was annoying. I Because, again, people please the thing. Yeah. And I didn't realize sometimes it can annoy certain people, so I didn't know how to pull back. So be a black thing. Because I had a big ass head when I was a kid, too. Oh, you're not yeah. black, bro. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it, dog. <laughs> can we tell him what you really are? This he's is actually, it's actually black. No, he's, he's actually. Well, He's not, bro. What? Tell him, tell him. I feel like they're lying. Can I say what it is? No, no, this is real. This is real. Alan's actually Mongolian, but he's been acting like he's black the whole time, bro. It's so funny, and nobody gets it. That's Genghis Khan. Dude, he is. That's Genghis, bro. For real. Yeah. He fucked the whole world. Yeah. Damn. No, but Alan's getting married, bro. Remember you? International banana. What? For real. International banana. Yeah, man. My man's outside. But Al's going to get married, though. like a boomerang. And then it comes back? Yeah. Is that a uh, Blood Diamonds move? <laughs> <laughs> he's in Australia right now. He's helping he Volk. Really? He's helping Volk with um because he's helping Volk because what is he helping here? Volk with? <laughs> what exactly? Is he help, what is he helping Volk with? <laughs> I see where you go. I see where you go. What no, exactly? No, no, no. He's helping him spot. <laughs> he's helping him spot. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like he's um. Because uh, Diamond is, like I said, the, you know, the drive-by, the scorpion, throws that weird... You know when Even Yair, that zombie knockout, remember that? Oh, you need a guy who's got weird striking to prepare yeah. for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you seen that, you seen that knockout? Yeah. But it, but the knockout... Wait, which one are you talking about? The one where Yair you did the... Yair uh, versus zombie. When he yeah, did the, the, the back, the yeah. Last, where they both did round, double elbows. Last 10 seconds? It's the same. <sighs> yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Timing. Yeah. Wait, that's Diamond. So the, see the way he did that? Yeah. Diamond, that's the drive bar, the scorpion kick, boy, that's yeah. on his leg. And he hit me the first time he did it. I was like, what the fuck was that? Mm. Which one are you going to hit me? <laughs> like, literally, same thing. But yeah, so he's doing that right now and getting ready. Probably he might be there in July. I'll be in Vegas in July. So when are we going to do something? No cameras, nothing. We all got to go somewhere and reflect. Tonight. Yes. It might be tonight. We did karaoke. Yeah, yeah, karaoke. Yeah, what about karaoke? Yeah, we didn't yeah. hit yo, the karaoke. karaoke. That's what I'm saying. Fun. Karaoke yeah, was so much time. fun, yeah. bro. Like, that's the thing. Like, yes. And after that was fun too. <laughs> yo, 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 Al. No, why I mean, like, why are you talking about Al? Why are you talking about Al? You went in a wire. So the after been fun. Why are you talking about after? The after was fun. It was fun. But this time, there was no after. Yeah, we went home after singing Journey. Yeah, that's it. If you don't know, now you know. Oh, there go. <laughs> funny, you know what's funny? At the boxing, oh, at the boxing, no, at the boxing, the the the, the, the fights. I um, cause they played it on, and I was like, blow up like the world trip, born up and then I, if you don't know, now you know. I just looked around, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> say, say, say. Oh, I've been trying to catch. Oh, no, I don't care. And well, I, I, I just want to know. I was like, who's brave? <laughs> yeah, who's brave? Who's brave? Collect some receipts. Who's brave? Yeah. <laughs> just putting this on. Oh, what we got? Shit. What we got? Ben Baller. Oh, respect. Oh, oh fire. Sorry. Yeah, that shit's crazy. Uh, I put it in once in a while just because... Where's uh, that been? Huh? Where's it been? The whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the press album <laughs> before? And then he popped it out. Came okay, out of good, nowhere and okay, just good. manifested it. Hold on, I got to pee again. Hold on. Again? <laughs> what, what are you back. doing? I got to pee. I got to pee. Who got to pee? <laughs> Who got to pee, son? Who got to pee? Right, I'm <laughs> talk. Oh, no, wrong podcast. Wrong podcast. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break real quick because I got to tell you about ShipStation. Look, if you are an e-commerce business owner, shipping is no longer a manual task. 
thanks to ShipStation. You can save time automating your shipping and returns in the ShipStation dashboard while keeping costs down with industry-leading discounts. Look, if you got an e-commerce business, if you're about to start selling merch like your boy Akash Singh, ShipStation is the way to do it. I know plenty of people who have done it. Everybody saves time, everybody saves money. That's what they do. They make it easy to automate shipping tasks for orders from every marketplace in one dashboard. That means they effortlessly integrate from everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, there's more, but who really cares? If you're selling something anywhere else, you're probably fucking up. Go to one of those four places. Now, you get industry-leading discounts, and you never worry about overpaying for shipping. You get up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. That can save your business from going under. And if that's not enough, you use our promo code FLAGRANT to try ShipStation. You get it free for two months. What do you have to lose? Two free months. If you're selling anything online, use ShipStation. Spend more time growing your business when you automate shipping tasks with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use the code FLAGRANT today to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That is ShipStation.com slash FLAGRANT. What is that <laughs> end? Is that the... No, no, this one, this one. Is that the... That's the Zen. I want to know. It, bro, it's, it's literally legal. They sell it at fucking stores. I know, it's but nicotine. Like, it's, it's nicotine that goes into your bloodstream. Just blood try it, bro. It's, it's nothing. Yeah, I, Give me some no, of that. It might make him nauseous. Oh, it'll make him nauseous. Oh, if he yeah, doesn't don't like do it. it. Okay. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. His eyes are like, don't do it. No. No. Bro. No, 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 like, no, 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 I'll try. I'll try one. Maybe tomorrow, or later on. I just want to know what. I just want to know what. What about um kratom? Is that that? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. What, what about sour oxycodone? About that? What even what about is that? Chocolate mushrooms that we okay, see. Okay, hold on. What about meth? You yeah. What even is meth? Right? Fentanyl. What even is meth, bro? <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. The fact that <laughs> the fact that Ash is the guy that's keeping you in line I is know, one of the you know what exactly. exactly. fucking bro, you know craziest funny, things that's ever happened in history. You know this is the wildest human being I've ever met in my life. Exactly. The fact that he's He's keeping me together. Alive. But you know what's funny? Actually, I wonder if, if he need. we need more Jack Daniels. I wonder if you need a guy like that to yes. keep you in line. Because if a, it's a guy too straight. No, no, what? no. But if he's too straight, then you're going to be like, fuck this guy. You yeah. Look. Yes. Well, fuck this guy. What the fuck do you know? You don't know what I've been through. You don't through. know shit. You don't understand my, you don't my know struggles. Don't have yeah. Bless me. Yo, Nigga, bless me. My bad. <laughs> that was so good. Shut up. Shut up. No, you got to do No, Relax. I felt I like that. a straight. I like a straight. There, hey, Let's we're go. good. Hey, I knew we prepared. Ass. Yeah, put a little. Yo, but so Ash, why don't you drink something? Hey, I am. You don't drink hell. shit, bro. Cunt. You don't have Cunt. any fun. Yeah, fucking piss. You don't have Cunt. any fun. Oh, no. hey. Let's go, Ash. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. The fucking legend, bro. Let's go. The legend. I want to drag Yo, this guy. Listen, can we get can we get Ash a chair? Yes. Someone bring Ash a chair so he can just be here. I want to drag a cash out one time. Yes, one time. Yeah, because I've never been out with you tonight. No, he doesn't drink. I know, but he can hang out. No, no, he sucks cocks. Also, he fucks. That's funny. He doesn't. Neither. No, he fucks. Ash, come here, come here, come here. We're bringing you a chair. Hold on. Get him a chair over here. Yes, sir. Drop it down. Drop it down. Get him a mic or something so we can hang. When you go back, sit back here. Get back tomorrow. We'll leave tomorrow. So this is our last night. Can we bring that mic over? That mic over? Does that reach? No, the thing is, if I have to stay one more night, then six people have to stay one more night. Then it's like the logistics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just we're talking about in Puerto Rico. We were like, hey, just bro, where did you guys stay yeah. in Puerto Rico? Ritz. Oh Ritz. my god, oh, man, beautiful. So after one of my after one of my USA fights, I'm going straight back there for a whole week. I want to try every breakfast oh, item on that wow. menu. <laughs> so fucking good. Really? Oh, is that good? Wait, where at? The Puerto Rico. Yeah, oh, really? they treat you good. Oh my god, whiskey. Come on, oh, bro. Mark oh, got the low Sundays in his system. Hair coming out. This guy, Come I, on, I, I, I literally just turned. I was just like, oh, son. oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's like, fucking it up. He's bro. like, yo, you too pretty. Yeah. 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 Pillow doing between us. Yeah, right? <laughs> 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 oh, I, need a, I, I need that right here. <laughs> <laughs> God, there's no fucking Oh, you got it, 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 you got it. Hold yeah, on, do you need? Do you need? No, I'm good for now. Okay, you do you need you. ice? Can we get some more no, ice in here? Nigga, it's just, I like room temperature. Nah, fuck rooms, bro. No. <laughs> no. no. Room, rooms and their temperature, bro. Damn, Damn. this guy. Rooms room and their temperature is overrated. Cheers. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, Cheers. Listen, we all, yo, Ash, sit down, my boy. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, pull one up, Yeah, pull one up, Yo, right out the bottle, bro. On your back, I'm wet up. On your back, I'm wet up. On your back, I'm wet up, yeah, bot. Ha! 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 Ha
your dog. <laughs> your, your dog. Your dog. Your dog. <laughs> no, a VB. Uh, yeah. Three second pull, right? Yeah. Bro, what is that it's fucking America, viral right? shit in yeah. Australia? What was it that we saw? <laughs> Drinking a VB. Yeah, your VB. dog's cat. That's a beer. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yuck. Wait, why you don't like you don't fuck with the VB? So VB no, is good. I, no, no, for me, for, for me personally, my dad used to distribute um, Guinness all over West Africa. Oh was, really? Yeah, that was like one of his businesses. So when I was about maybe seven or eight, I remember just being like, "What does that taste like?" And he's like, "Have a sip," and I was like, "Oh, yuck!" So I didn't drink till I was eighteen. Mm. Because I just thought every alcohol tasted like Guinness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I was 18, I found bourbon and Coke, oh, the man. Woodstock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I understood. When I first got drunk, I remember like, oh, that's why that girl's crying outside the party. Oh, that's guy that that's why that guy wants to fight everyone. Bro. That under, it's like like my eyes was open to why drunk people do what drunk people do. Mm. You know what I mean? What'd it bring out of you? I'm just a fucking golden retriever, bro. I'm like happy when I'm drunk. But I mean if it gets down, it gets down. But I'm a happy drunk. I'm not one of these guys who drinks and then like I look for static. I'm not. I'm not that guy. Is it weird now that nobody wants static? Not anymore. But back in the day when they did, like maybe three years ago, uh, someone would try. You know, people get jealous. Guys as well. They they try and say, "I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna whoop your ass for free." <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Why would I whoop your ass for That's free? That's so fire. What a fire yeah. line. Nah, like literally. Also, Google me. I, I'm tough. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah. It's because yeah. no one knows who the fuck you are. You're trying to prove yourself. I'm like, oh, I so gotta... you, have, you would have guys still kind yeah, of pushing back, up? Yeah, like about two, three years ago. Now no one would try me. Also, I have, <laughs> look up, so Paulie. The big ones. No, 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 just like, no, no, no. Yeah. What about the cripple Fuck one you have? <laughs> what about? Hey, hey, hey. Where's my phone? Get me my phone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You got it. Shout out your boy. Fuka, Fuka. He's not, Fuka, no. Fuka. Bro, he was hobbling, yeah. but still being he's on, security. He's on, yeah, he's on. It was the most endearing, beautiful yeah. thing I he ever is, seen, bro. Like Hang him thinking that. something was going on and like hobbling over as quick as he could. <laughs> bro, that, want, that man. Now, nah, but like, so Paulie, former super heavyweight king of the ring champ. Whoa. Mm. I just walked outside. We know about, we know about oh, Paulie. I, ju I just walked outside. There's, there's Fooker Fuk asleep. That's so cute. That's, so cute. That's, so cute. That's it. But he got it locked down. Yeah, he locked down. He locked it down. Explain hey. king of the ring to people who aren't familiar with uh, so the tournament. So that that, that, that's a, it just happened a recent one. And Cam Ralston, oh my God. He just also, Cam, shout out oh, to Cam. Fuck, we met, when we were seeing karaoke, we had your boy. What was his name? Um, sure. White kid who was with us. He oh, did king of the ring. He, was it him? No, King no, of the no, Ring no, 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 the last one we do a karaoke, he was with us. We're He's karaoke. in New York now, and he was training, but he I, he remember when you first came to the gym, and he was like, oh, fuck, this kid's a problem. White kid. White dude. He was kickboxing dude. He did King of the Ring back in the day. What? Not Mike. What's his name? What's his name? Mike. Mike. Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe Hopkins? Hopkins? Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he lives in New Zealand, though. He lives but in he New was Zealand. with us. Yeah, it was, you know, he came for the fight. Okay, he came, he came for, for the fight. fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's good people. Yeah, like he's that. the man. He's the yeah. man. He's the man. So, Cam Rawson just won the, the recent King in the Ring. But also, one of our boys, Ash, Jordan Sully, was in the finals with him. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And when you have to fight your boy that you kind of train with, it's different. It's a different energy. So, apparently, no one from my gym was in the corner. We had to get different people. Because you don't want to go against Of course, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a skills. It's like the best. But I mean. Shout out to the gym, though. The gym is producing the two yeah. guys the that are at the yeah. best. Yeah. But it was a crazy fight. Cam won, but apparently the final seconds, excuse me, the final seconds was um, Ash rocked Cam. Oi. And he was on wobbly legs, but then about, I think it was about eight seconds before the, before yeah. the bell. And yeah, but I'm glad I wasn't there because if I was there, I would be in a nervous wreck. Mm. So the concept is like eight man tournament, right? Yeah. So it's like, I'm not sure if you mentioned, but it's like, like you fight three or four times. Three if you win it, three times. Right, How many you days? fight three times. No, what no, that night. One, that no. night. Fuck. That so night. Break your hand in the second fight. Yeah, you still yeah. fight. Watch this. I've won it three times. Yeah. And King in the ring. Yeah. How many times you break some shit in the middle of none. Yeah. I broke faces. Sturdy. <laughs> but not my own. For me, I've won. Actually, I've won how many eight man? I've won four eight man tournaments, and I've won one four man tournament. And King in the Ring, I won three times at two different weight classes. Wow. Um, the thing with tournaments, though, when you do it, you like after the first fight, you get you, you have an adrenal an adrenal dump or adrenaline dump. So you have to kind of like regulate yourself and what? don't go too because like it's when you fight, it's like you're up here and you come down. You have to regulate. You have yourself, to adjust, adjust, yeah. and yeah. then put your jacket on, stay warm. Wait for the next oh, fight. Oh shit! I didn't think after the fight you have to adjust, Literally. and then you have to fight again. Again, second one, semifinals. And then, but what I like to do is I go sit in the crowd with my friends and I have my jacket on and I just be in the vibe. And then the final fight, 
Then you get over there and then you just show out. But it's a, to win an eight man tournament is no easy feat, especially in kickboxing as well. It's, yeah, it's, you have to, it's a special few that do that. And to win it once even is cool, twice, awesome, three times. Never done. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> God how, did. How injured are you going into that third fight? Sometimes. You are... I mean, nose is sore, jaw is sore. Not mine. Legs. I fight smart. Legs. I fight smart. Oh, you're getting yeah, two legs. legs. No, 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 from, no, from kicking. Kicking. Oh, fuck. Uh, for e for every, damage. For every action, action there's an equal and opposite, opposite reaction. reaction. Mm -hmm. Baby. Yo, shout out Newton, baby. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. So, so yeah. when you're kicking, obviously, throughout the fight, right? Your, your shins are starting... You're good. Your shins are starting to take damage. Yeah, because I'm saying by that third fight. Nah, I'm fine, because like, also adrenaline, pain tolerance, but I just know, I've had experience. Also, I had Doug Viney, who's one of the, one of my coaches, who's the other owner of C CKB. He, he's won a few of those, and he kind of just coached me on my first one in Pukakoe years ago. He coached me and just made sure like I was fine, like, sorry, I'm just gonna there try and put this mic. Yo, I got you, bro. Thanks, baby. It's, it's, it's almost like a rite of passage, like, yeah, thank you. to the UFC from our crew. You've got Israel won it three times. Yeah. Bud Diamond twice. Carlos Alberto twice. twice. Yeah. And now Cam that he's speaking of. We just got him signed to uh, Dana White Contender Series. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, so he'll, 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 he'll fight in September. Obviously, he's fighting for his spot, and it's, it's one of those things on that show you've really got to show out. Yeah. So, you know, because even if you win, doesn't mean you're going to get signed. Mm. But, um, yeah, like he's won twice now and actually just won on the weekend. That's yeah. who's the guy he's talking about. So yeah. a lot of our guys, we push, and that's just a kickboxing match. Obviously, yeah. they're going into MMA. MMA yeah. But th that's how well-rounded the, obviously the, the gym is and the guys are. That Bro, they can I, do both. I love that Craig is out there with you guys. Yeah. Oh, no, he's back that in Austin is, now. That guy's funny as hell, bro. I've been hung out back with him. Back in Austin now. We had him here, but I got him on with Instagram. Him. Yeah. And yeah. that motherfucker is, is he is he's marketing hilarious. it brilliantly. He is. He's on he some is. eight mile shit. Like, yeah. you can't say anything about it. What was his new shirt? Was it Keep Jesus Gay? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. 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 And, then, and then there was like, uh, uh, what was it? Like, I seen um, someone else is called Craig Jones. Yeah. Uh, there was like, there was something online that he posted. Oh, yeah. And it was like, so there's someone else called Craig Jones, and he was like, I don't know, something happened. Like, it was like they outed this guy called Craig Jones. I don't know what it was about. Can't remember now, but it was like, and he was like, oh, it was because I wore the gay shirt. Or something, or something <laughs> like that, you know? Like, it was like. So the other Craig Jones was gay? Oh, I don't know. what. It, nah, it was some, something. I don't know what it, what it was. He's, but dude, remember, he's but. just managed. Like, he's owned everything that's happened. Even yeah. calling it B-team jiu-jitsu. Yeah, yeah, second yeah. plays. Well, if like, you're at first, you're second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bro, he's owned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. I, I think what he's, well, he's doing like is magical, absolutely great. I swear, like, we're not, because I've rolled with high-level guys. Andre Gaval. Yeah, I saw that. I've been at Atos jiu-jitsu in San Diego. The Rotola brothers, fucking amazing. Lucas I've seen those guys Rosa. in one championship. Bro, so they're, they're, they're beasts. magic. Huh? No, yeah, no, yeah. Honor, but, like, it's so good. But when I roll with Craig... It feels like magic, cause like I'll have a dos choke. But he knows up. he just there's levels. Too. No, no, yeah. this is the first time he did it. This is why I bring this up, is cause the I, I, the dos choke. I had it locked up. I'm like I got this, and then within one two moves, he's on my back. I'm like, how sway? <laughs> like, <laughs> Jiu Jitsu gay, bro. He gonna get on your back. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta motivate him. Go down on the mm -hmm. back a little bit, maybe, but still, it's just it's wild. The way he does it, and it's just his, his, his intellect. He's it's a like, really smart guy. Yeah, Volk talks about it as well. Like, you know, it's been yeah. a, big, a big pillar for him recently. The, the Islam you know? fight, he, he really But helped. does Volk have he, an advantage that, like, his head is just right on his shoulder? Like, <laughs> like, is, is there I any think there's an element of that. Like, that, 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 that bro, Ortega. Bro. Well, yeah. no, that's legendary. It's an bro, element. The fact that he even survived it, dude. No, legendary. But that was the first time that Craig came in on that camp. So Craig came in on the Tough show when Alex did Tough versus Ortega. And it just so happened that, like, obviously all the time and the work they did there mm. ended up, like, Alex got in that position. And obviously. he was able to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, and like, when they worked on it before the fight, like, right before the fight, they worked on it before they walked out. And for Alex to survive this guy who's a submission specialist, yeah. mm. his guillotine, get out, deep guillotine. Bro, that shit was crazy. And then fall into a yeah. triangle, T-City. Bro. Fall to a triangle and then get out of his other move and then for the remainder of the third round, fucked him up for like 30 seconds. Yeah. I'm How do like, you get out of the guillotine? I feel like once you're in it, you're done. Nah, there's levels, there's techniques. There's, it's, it's like, I'm not, I have to roll on the ground to show you, but like... We can roll on the ground. <laughs> trying to roll? <laughs> 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 I'm not helping <laughs> these gay rumors, bro. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not helping them. Happy Pride Month. me first, baby. <laughs> 
<laughs> is is that the next friend. level for your guys' crew? Is becoming experts in jujitsu as well? You guys are known I mean, for the kickboxing. Nah, nah, do you, I mean, on the on the on the not me yet. Fuck, I want to. Not me yet, but like a lot of like Dan. That's a thing. Hangman, he'll hang you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's his thing. He, he's uh, he knows how. To, and also, Cam as well is really. When good. do we get to see Dan again, man? Dan, he's July. 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 Oh, is he fighting? Yeah, in, uh... he's fighting. He's there. Yeah, he's fighting. Okay, good. Fight Jalen Turner. Turner. Jalen that's Turner. right, Jalen. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So it's one of those fights where like he he'll you know. Bro, Tan is he... so funny. You could tell. Like I knew when he got one tattoo, his whole body would be tattooed within <laughs> bro. fucking. But he went crazy, crazy. Like, bro. Yeah, yeah. Bro, what was crazy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I knew immediately. He had a taste. That's it. That's it. You should wish to see his legs. You gotta get him right now. You gotta get him right now. Right? Bro, no, his I legs look, look, no, his legs look cool as fuck. Like, yeah, I've seen him. Yeah, I'm yeah. used to it now a little bit, but still, when I go back, I'm like, fuck, that's cool. It's just like a whole piece, and I can't wait till it wraps it around someone's head. Bang! Mm. It's just, oh, bro, it's gonna look so cool. Bro, we did a show in Vegas, and I think he was at he came on stage, and he came. But I've never seen somebody who's oh, never been right. in front of like people for that reason be so calm. Yeah, yeah. he's like, oh, okay, well, no, he's cool. a psychopath. Like, hey, 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 he's yeah, a psychopath. Yeah, actually, is he's, he's, a, he's a psychopath. Bro, he, he got ankle picked and let it happen. Yeah, yeah. Right? like that shit <laughs> yeah. is bro, crazy. Was, that yeah. was hair in New York. Like I, I watched it. It was popping. It was it's popping. insane. He was like, well, if my leg breaks, my leg breaks. Like the guy kept on like that's a special. He kept on going. I'm just like. Bro, just yeah. So wow. being in a theater, that's nothing, bro. Yeah, no <laughs> yeah. 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 Nah, what we do is is, is, is yeah, it's a special few. It's a special few. Mm. But not everyone can get to this point. Even as a fighter, not everyone can get to that point where it's like they're just like the me and Gastelum. I, people think I was joking about that shit when I'm like, bro, if I die here, I die here. That's, that's it. That's no, real. Who thought you were joking? No, no, no. You guys, you're my round. boys. But like most people, are like, oh, this is bullshit, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Nah, but I meant that. That's right. Like, Cause it's that moment I was like, bro, if this is where I die. This is where I die. But if I'm ready to die, I'm ready to kill. And that's more, and that I was trying to kill him. Mm. I was trying to kill him. Have you spoken to him since? He's gone back to welterweight. I fuck with Gaslam. He's the man. Yeah, I yeah. talked to him. He was fighting on my last card as well. Yeah. He was there. So there's a question I have, and this kind of ties into the Pereira fight, where yeah. there's like a kinship after. If the fight is more of a war, does it make you guys closer yeah. after? Because yeah. you push each other to that limit, that mm. level. So I'm grateful for Gaslam because he made he. It was one of the one of the greatest moments of my life was that 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 moment before the fifth round and that fifth round because he pushed me past my limit that I thought I had. I thought I was like I didn't know I was I wasn't done. Like he hurt me in the fourth round. I'm wobbled and then me and Eugene. I can't remember what he said. I wish I'm gonna ask the UFC to get the mic of what was said in the corner because I want to know. But he gave me he didn't give me any like corner advice. Eugene just kind of gave me the speech. It's motivated me. Just like something to like, this is what you're born for. We're built for this. And I remember this, what I was saying, I remember Brad Riddell's voice in my head going, embrace the darkness. Cause he was saying that to me when I was in the airdyne. Mm. He's like, and I was like, you know, embrace the darkness, go numb, go numb. So then when I said, you're not gonna beat me, I'm ready to die. I'm prepared to die. I meant that. And when you get to that place with someone and they push you past that, you appreciate them way more. Like there's a scar on my face. Uh, if I look in the mirror, I'll point it to her, but I can't see a mirror right now. But like, and I know he's got a scar on his face from me that when you look at it, you're like, ah. But same with Pereira. I appreciate Pereira because he made me a better fighter. He made me a better, like, so? a better athlete because he pushed me. He beat me three times. And I was just like, bro, I, I need to be better. I need to go to that next level so I can like, you can know yourself. You can realize who you are as a, as a warrior, as a fighter. So... Yeah, I'm grateful for those moments, and yeah, you, you, after that, then you, even me now with him, I'm gonna make him a better fighter. I just fucking did what I did to him. Yeah, It's gonna make him better. It's gonna make him better. Is that the darkest corner you've been in? Ooh. And for fighting, life, no. <laughs> fighting, uh, I wanna say him and Gaslam, it's like, nah, yeah, yeah, no, you're right, yep, yep. Who? Yep. Pereira. Because this last camp, I just, I mean, he's seen down. me. He, he knows me. I'm a freak. He knows what it was like before even the first Whitaker fight. <laughs> Rodman. Dennis Rodman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Rodman. <laughs> I like vacations. What yeah, do you do? I, like, I work hard. I play hard. And I've always said, I'm no, I'm no one's hero. I'm no one's guru. But if you take inspiration from my story, it's cool. But, like... Yeah, uh, now I'm mature, I know my body, I know my mindset, and like I said, if Rob wins this fight, I know what I have to do to get myself up for this fight. Fuck it, breaking news, I'm gonna submit him. Rob, Whoa. If Rob wins this fight, I'm gonna submit him. Mm. Yeah. If he wins this fight, I don't care, I'm not gonna knock him out, 
I'm gonna submit him. Even though you could, you wanted to submit I've him. I've already knocked him out of how many times? Like, <laughs> so <boring>. knockouts. <laughs> What? That's a weird thing that like you have to do as a fighter. Find ways to get yourself interested. Because I fight him a third time. But, but it's not, it's not yeah. just fight. It's like the, the camp. The, yeah, what is the inspiration for it? Exactly. Why are you going to get on the bike? Why are you going to run? Why are you going to do the cardio? Yeah. Yeah. So if he wins, I'm going to submit you. If you what? win. If not, Drickus, I'm just going to fucking... <laughs> Mark it! Mark it! <laughs> Fuck out of that! <laughs> That's a fucking note. <laughs> Look how happy he is. And we're back. I will, no, no, keep it in, but just bleep it. No. No! no. no. Bleep yeah. it. Why can't you bleep, yeah, bleep it? it? You can bleep it. Yeah, yeah bleep so it. Bleep. Said N-word. Hey. Who knows what he said? Nothing's been said. <laughs> hey, nothing's been said. Look, I'm just going to go. Nothing's been said. We don't even know what you want to bleep. We don't even know what you want to bleep. Nothing's been said. I will own him against his will. <laughs> bleep it! Hold on, oh, try again, try again, try, try, try a different try one. Try it one more time. Try one more time. I got it, I got it. I will beat you. There yeah. we go. We're going to take a break real quick because I got to tell you about Honey, today's sponsor. It is a beautiful way to save money when you're on your iPhone or your computer. Look, when you go on these websites, at the bottom when it says uh, apply coupon code and you never have shit to say, all you're doing is missing out on savings, but not anymore. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for a promo code so you don't have to. It applies the best one and then it automatically puts it in your cart. So imagine you're on one of your favorite sites. For me, I love buying sneakers, finishline.com or whatever the fuck. When you go to checkout, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click a Apply coupons. Wait for a few seconds and Honey will search for every coupon code that might apply. And then if it finds one that works, you will see your prices drop. And like I said before, it doesn't just work on desktops. It also works on your iPhone. You can activate it on your Safari and save on the go. So if you don't already have Honey, you could straight up be missing out on savings. And by getting it, not only are you doing yourself a solid, you're also supporting the show. So get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash flagrant. Again, that is joinhoney.com slash flagrant. Now let's get back to the show. There's a reason I brought Ke- Craig in because of the work he did with Volk, but also I, I vibe with him. In Perth, we hung out and I was like, you know, like, yeah, he's good. Guy. He's well, you know, people's, bro. He's the man. He's well, you know when we became bro. friends? You yeah. remember where we became friends? We got security <laughs> coming in. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Something's going on. Uh oh. He's awake. The guy got an amen on his hat. <laughs> he's awake. Amen. <laughs> no, but like, so me and Craig, we became friends that way as well. But then he's a, he's a long guy. He's got these limbs. He knows how to use it. And I was like, you know what? I want to learn what you know about the human body and const- like constricting people. Mm. So that's why I brought him in. And yeah, if Rob wins, I'm gonna constrict him. There's one thing that I, okay. real quick, real quick, there's one thing I noticed about grappling is that the grappling cardio is different yeah. from the striking uh, cardio. Grapple? I have only just gotten mauled on the ground. No, 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 no. Shout out to Tim. Bro, Ooh, you got no, a strong no, no. little grip, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Strong little what? Hold on, let me bro, let you grab you something you else. Little... <laughs> <laughs> oh! What is that, that baby? Oh! You see that? You see that? Stop! Come in here, go. Get out! Get out! I learned that from I mean, Tim Welch. <laughs> <laughs> bro, this, this guy was choking out Tim. He was choking out Tim <laughs> Tim Welch and then tapped out while he was choking okay, him out. Tim I've never seen anything like him. him. Tim, let me choke oh, him. Right naked? No, no, no. It was, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. What, I put the leg. Uh, no, no, it was Gitti. <laughs> I, uh, I think it's Gitti. You put doing. the leg over on the on back? The back yeah. Is that Gitti? Yeah, Gitti. Yeah, yeah. Gitti. And then Hips he was. mad flexible. Fuck. Yeah, he was like, son, I got flexible hips. So he goes, he goes, uh, and he goes, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I couldn't do Because he wanted me to bring him to the oh, point where so he was asking but, but me to choke. gassed out. No, I, my emotion gassed out. <laughs> my, my empathy showed up. I, I just didn't want to go there with it. Yeah. Bet. What were you going to say? Oh, yeah. While we're doing breaking news, there was a fight we all wanted <laughs> a couple years ago. Yeah. John Jones. Yeah. Is that still possible now that he's gone up? It's not even that. It's like it's kind of like the Alex thing where everyone's like, "Oh, we need a fifth fight," we, and everyone's like, everyone else is more bricked up for that than me and him. I'm not interested in fifth fight with Alex. 
That's exactly no. Well, most unless people, he comes up and gets another belt, then that's, yeah. that's yeah, exactly. Yeah, but most people are like, look, everyone on oh, three one. You're gonna make it. Oh, it, it's one one in MMA. You got to do a third one. And I was like, no, no one cares. No. My thing is, me and John's the same thing. Even like on um, Impulsive, when they said what they said, I was like, I thought it was a joke. And then he actually actually pulled it up, and I was like, oh, that's funny. But it's what it, what what happened with just Jones gave him you know, props, I guess, As, from, from a martial arts perspective. I guess he said, you know. He was asked a question, like, who are you a fan of? And he was like, well, actually, like, I'm a fan of Israel. Oh, fire. Yeah. Bro, that's yeah. the thing. It's like, fire. If, if there's one thing which is promoting a fight, and there's another thing which is martial arts, right? And there's another yeah. thing is fighting. Oh, and, that, and that taps into, like, what, you know, we were saying earlier about, like, that when, when they two guys fight each other, but then they become, you know, yeah. have yeah. that yeah. connection. Um, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> 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 so, so, so Izzy's an alien. So Izzy's an alien. <laughs> so Izzy's an alien. 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 Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Yo, yo, watch your chance. No, no, that's not. No, no, no. Give me that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just slowly. Do it. Do it. Rip it, baby. Rip it, baby. Come on. Let's go. Slowly. I'm already wet, bro. You, 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 know, you know, Akash got me <laughs> wet watch, watch, watch. constantly. Hey, he's his father's son. <laughs> <laughs> Big bull Schultz. That's it. <laughs> Look at the hands. Okay, let's just, just, dying, just, bro. Up, just open a fucking regular mix. Like, Izzy, there you go. Izzy, I can't go, 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 go pee. Go pee. Go pee. Go write some bars, you failure. You gonna go rap again? Yeah, you gotta Damn. pee again with your white ass dick, Alex. What's up, bro? Oh, wow. <laughs> why a white dick gotta be a diss, huh? Huh? Yeah, why? Oh, you got that Moby dick. Come on, we got the that, hey. yo. Shout out to Moby, bro. You know, <laughs> shout out to Moby. Moby. But get it, Moby dick, big no, whale. No, no, I got, I, I'm just saying, no. shout out to Moby for going for the big ones, bro. I thought that was the Moby's whale. Moby's the whale. Oh, I thought it was dude. Oh, yeah, man, talking, are you talking about the techno producer? His name is Moby Moby, Melvin. Moby Dick. No, what, what's the his whale? Name? Captain Ahab. What's the guy's A name? Captain Ahab. 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 How do you Shout know that? Shout out to Ahab, bro. How do you know that? <laughs> no, but Ahab was after the sisters for the longest, bro. That, that, bro, bro, that's what that whole story is about, bro. Ahab was like, I need the big booty that. Latinas, bro. That's what yeah, it man. is. It beat like that. It does. I remember in Puerto Rico. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's a that's a great story. <laughs> hold on, like, oh, Ash, Ash got a chill up his spine. Is it, <laughs> he said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lockdown. Anything that starts with, anything that starts with. I remember oh, yeah, in Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. That was just what you talking about with all the uh, breakfast items. About a week ago. <laughs> okay, go on. You remember in Puerto Rico? Ash was never there. He's not a part of the story at all. Nope. Go on. <laughs> Fun time. Why are you clearing your throat? No, 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 no. What's in your throat? Wait, <laughs> the girl, the girl needs to clear her throat. <laughs> hey, man, calm down. I was on the fight to toast her, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's this? I say a gas joke, don't worry okay, about it. Okay, fair, fair enough, Do you know what's funny? Literally, we were on a worldwide fucking platform, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, can you, can you even, even, even Jeff <laughs> stopped filming. Even Jeff, the videographer, who films We're every moment out. of your life. We're even even he's like, out. hey, no, cut no, the no, cameras, no. bro. As he said, <laughs> as he said. No, 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 we can stop. Started, exactly. Jeff started no. drinking beer. He's like, <laughs> no, as he said, as he said, <laughs> Jeff knows when to film and when not to film. Nah, we don't know no, when no, not to film. We haven't figured that out yet. We didn't cut any time, but I just think I'm just having a good time. I'm having a real good time. You're getting ready to send me this. You ain't no bro. Like I said, it's great. I'm, gra I'm grateful. Oh, man, oh, it's I'm just stoked for you guys, bro. Yeah. Like, but like as you said, you know, like coming back in 2018 when we were here, you know, like and we came through and it was bro. like that little that little place in Brooklyn. Yeah, was it in Brooklyn? No, we were in Manhattan. We were down there. The pool was we outside. The first there was one. a pool. The oh, pool. We, went, yeah. we went to the, the wrong address. Yeah. Yeah. We went to Brooklyn yeah, first. It was yeah. in Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, y'all went to the wrong place. We went to a Jewish house. Oh, bro. A Jewish joint. Right? So we went to the wrong place. We pulled it was up. like a Jewish joint. Yeah, like so a, we pulled up like outside. Pool, it was, it was like, like, okay. Hasidic okay. Jewish neighborhood. I, I, yeah, I, see, yeah. I see the noodle heads. The curls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. The noodle heads is where he used to fight. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. right. That was China, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're talking about the Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yo, hey, yo, oh, oh, hey, yo. Oh, right. right. Come down. 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 Come down.
locked out. Yeah, yeah. locked out. <laughs> but yeah, so it pulled up and I looked. I was like, it looked like I went back in time. Oh, that's yeah, what yeah, it is. That's bro. what I was like. What the fuck? I that's was what like, it oh, is, shit. bro. And then we text you guys, and then da 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 da. We we're like wrong borough. Yeah, and then we. But again, what do you, you guys have this for? Oh, go to 75th Street and 63rd on. Fucking twentieth. It's like what the. It's all just like I don't get it. I know. But I'm not from here. You, I know. You guys are from here. Yeah. How long did you live in China and you still couldn't figure out fucking <laughs> math? <laughs> he said he aced the women, not the test. Good come point. On, come on. Good remember. point. Yeah, come no, on. Good point. Let's go. Yeah, you're asking him to drive van line of that in China. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nigeria. Oh, Wait, is yeah, it crazier? Yeah. It's like, bro. It's like everyone's on a race to nowhere. Yeah. Mm. Legit India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, <laughs> can I ask I you a question? I can't wait to go. Ghana's really coming up. Is Nigeria a little jealous that Ghana's coming Fuck up I right lived now? In, okay, I lived in Ghana for about a year and a half. In oh, really? Accra, Abekala Paz. If you know, you know. Like, I went to Sunnyside I Primary know. School. I was out there in Ghana. I dropped a watch at the Banku, all that. We ain't jealous. Also, Jollof rice came from Nigeria. Don't stop yo, yo, shit. Yo, 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 talk, talk that shit. Talk that shit. Talk that <laughs> shit. Trust me. But who got the right. best? Just be honest. Nigerians. Now, hey, 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 hey. Stop, stop. Ghana, dog. Cool. Ghana. You, you're Puerto Rican. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey. Son, he right. said that man. That's the accent came yes. out. The accent <laughs> came <laughs> out. <laughs> Puerto Rican. Rican. It's Puerto Rican. I'm this guy saying, would tell me. Where is your I'm just saying Ghana. Uh, yo, Ghana. Ghana, Ghana no, there's three it, countries Ghana. that make the Jollof. Why Mexican talking to me about Jollof rice? About Jollof rice. Where did this guy talk talking about Jollof rice? Oh, oh. I, I went to Apple. You call Shandy? I'm just saying. <laughs> hold on. Get Wait, here, hold on. Get here. I feel like they ain't Hold on. It's, it's like they Nigeria. Perfected. They can feel how they want to feel. It's different. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's Ghana, Nigeria, and then there's one more. Who is the Joe Love? That's fire. What is it? Uh, Ghana was the one I remember. No, no. S, S, S starts with an S. Sudan? S no. Uh, Senegal? Senegal, yes. No. Senegal. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Never everybody said no, Senegal got the best. Uh, yeah. What everybody? You, he's he's what everybody? in Canada. And shit, I'm just saying that's what they said. Senegal, I, I, I was like, yo, Ghana oh, got, got oh, the God. best. Ghana, Ghana. Yeah. No one. Nigeria got the best? Cameroon. Yo, what's that little chicken dish they got in Nigeria? The uh the chicken skewer thing or whatever? It's oh, like no, no, no. Well, <laughs> Suya. No, 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 it's not chicken. It's normally goat meat or beef. Fire. Jeff knows. It's, meat, no, no, it's, it's, it's like a. Hey, you are what you eat. Alhamdulillah. Oh, shit. Let's go. G's up, dog. But oh. suya go. is the best food. It's my favorite food on the planet because also I've had it in America. The best food. You are what you eat, the goat, bro. Yeah. You get it? No, you but, just got it right now, you dumb Puerto Rican. You got no bar. You got no bar. No bar. That's why you got no electricity. That's why you got no electricity. Because it took you fucking two minutes to get that fucking joke. Holy shit. God damn, Al. Come on, Al. Say it took three times. Come on, Al. Second, took me a second. You said it back. Bro. I'm here. I've been getting jokes slowly too, but you said it back twice. Hold on. Still loading. Shouts to Central C, bro. Yo, this guy is. Can I see it, bro? You on my room, bro? It's not gonna fit on. Show him the nice stuff, bro. Put it on your pink plate. Put it on your pink plate. Yeah, but this is nice. Put that on your thumb. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, did we talk about watches? <laughs> <Show him. laughs> Where's Blood Diamond? Where's Blood Diamond when you need him? Bro, I am the captain shit. now. <laughs> Look at me. Yo, that's beautiful. No, I just, I, it caught my eye. It just caught my eye. I was like, oh shit. Oh, this is. Shout out to Alu. African dude sold me that. Where? Where? Brooklyn on the corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you gotta question it. Was that now, AP House in, in Flatiron. Oh, come on through. Canal Street? Yeah, Holler at Alu. Alu. Beautiful. <laughs> Yo, I need one. I like that. No, so when I go by, they're like, oh, don't ice it out. If you ice it out. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna keep my connection. Yeah. I'm they say, like, if, you, if you ice it out, you lose the value. Exactly. Well, I was like, I told you this earlier. Remember I hit you? You ice it out, but. Because I wanna be. No, he needed one. I'm rapping. That's why. Let's I want to rap. Yo, he's like, rapping. rapping. But I, I hit you, you immediately. What was going to be yeah, right. we get you that. Please? Yeah, we got that. So I'm going to do that. Too. I connected we you with them. <laughs> I remember I, like I, I connect you with we the AP people. Yeah. You know a lot about this? You know a lot about this? Is that, is but that's he, factory bezel. Is he, uh, yeah, yeah. And, that's uh, is factory. He, and is he and he's bought one for his dad too, exactly the same. Oh, that's what I like about it. Respect. That's good. Respect. My mom's birthday was on. 
June 10th, which was uh, Saturday. <laughs> Sunday. I'm, I'm a Sunday. Why are you laughing, son? Why are you laughing? Well, you were saying factory bezel, and then you said he got it for his dad, and all of a sudden you were like, oh, respect. Yeah, factory? Yeah, yeah. No, you, no, wait, you no, don't no, get no, no, this. No, 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 it's okay. He wears an Apple Watch. He wears an Apple Watch. good. He wears an Apple Watch. Yeah, do you Factory bezel means it's worth it. I got it on my necklace. I got it iced out, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same. I just, no, no, no. I just play videos on it. You're talking no, no, about watches. Come on. I, I just, so, 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 so factory bezel means it retains its value. Rolex yeah. put the diamonds in it. Yeah, Not exactly. some dude no, on 47th exactly. Street. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So I bought one for my dad, but some dude on 47th Street put the diamonds on it. No, no it's not about that. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. I chose in Beverly Hills or wherever, but it's about the sentiment. So me and my dad now, we like twins. But my mom's birthday was on Saturday. What'd you get her? I'm going to get her a Rolex. Fire, dude. She doesn't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Well, if you don't know, right. breaking news, bro. Breaking right. news. Uh, 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 what what one I, does she want? What one does? Because I know she's gonna be picky after watching her you know, observe yeah, fights. Yeah, nah, honestly, man, nah, like, Jan striking everything. was everything. less than yeah. acceptable or whatever. You need to get her nah, some nah, fire nah, shit. The best. No, nah, I'll get her. Me, we'll all be triplets. I'll be honest. Your parents seem like they're they're very difficult to impress. Mm. When mm. when did you feel the first time you impressed them? Like, ah. Oh. You know what's funny? Bro, that dancing video, they reacted. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah were like, they were like, funny. Yeah. they were like, no, 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 no. he was okay, so no, no. good at dancing. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> then, but before that, when I started, well, Talent Quest, when I pulled up to the Talent Quest, when um, the video you guys saw, one of my, um, I think, deputy principals or deans, he like, he was like, have you ever seen him dance before? And they're like, no, we haven't. And he's like, oh, you're going to be impressed. Like, literally. And then... They saw me did what I did. They were happy. It's whatever. But if you're not a doctor, accountant, lawyer, yep. mm -hmm. engineer, you're Jesus. a what? A failure. <laughs> Say, yeah. But dancing impressed the fuck out of them, though. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. now Maybe it does. Hey, no, 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 now, now it does. They, they appreciate it now. That's interesting like, that, like, 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 because Akash, I imagine you've gone through the same thing. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Indian culture has this, it, very similar yeah. to Nigerian yep. culture, where there's this, this pressure for success. Yeah. But there is this, like, appreciation of the arts. Yeah. Like, if you're nice at dancing, yeah. Yeah. there's, or like, singing. A, or singing. Yeah. But, the, Mainly for us, only the Indian stuff. If you dance American, they're gonna be like, I don't even understand. But still, if you're a great singer, if yeah. you're a great dancer, yeah. there's well, an appreciation. Bollywood is huge, but we don't understand how big Bollywood even is. Even in Nigeria? In, in Africa, oh, no. it's huge. Bro, I don't know if you know the Ramvia. No. So when our, Bollywood movies on Sundays was the thing. After church, we'd go home and watch it on TV. Or I also had the VHSs I used to watch. But one of my favorite movies as a kid was a movie called the Ramvia. Shub! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> hey, thank God, bro. Wait, wait, fuck. What the fuck was that? We have, we have an Indian fact checking. Okay, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. He's a real, a real Indian. Yeah, that's what God, that's what God sounds like. <laughs> yeah, like, what the yeah fuck you're, was you're that? right, though. He's <laughs> from India. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but like, yeah, Dharam Vail was my favorite movie. It was a sword fighting movie, whatever. But like, yeah, that was part of the culture. And that was something that, like, as a kid, I remember just watching VHS over and over. I should probably watch it again as an adult. Hundred percent. Just so I can be. Because your life is a Bollywood movie, bro. Yeah. No. Yeah. Is there a Bollywood okay. star that you fuck with that you'd like to meet? Let's put the I call out. I watched Slumdog. <laughs> that show was that. Right. My God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Frida Pinto. I'm trying to think. Frida. I What's know the up? name. I feel like I know the name. And Dave Patel was the guy. Dave Patel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that was her. Okay. Yeah, he's a beast. Oh, no, they're all beautiful. Beast. Like, look at you. He's pretty, bro. No, he's one of the most handsome motherfuckers I've ever met. Oh, thank you. No, no, no shit. You're hey, a fucking you, handsome bro. dude, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Your wife's a lucky woman. Yo, she always says you're handsome, and I'm always like, chill. That's mine. Yeah. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> I'm not that's even like mad. That's, that's, that's mine. It's like a trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> keep going back and forth. Uh, share bro, energy. Yeah, one. why not? <laughs> share energy, share dick, share pussy, whatever. <laughs> 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 All right, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> give me that cigarette right now. Give me that cigarette. It's a merchandise. Give me that Find out. He got chill yes, out. Yes, what are we doing? Is that the... Oh, yeah. ten, second, ten, ten second rule. No, no, it's a sick. It's oh, a no, sick. Oh, it's just oh, a sick. Oh, oh, two sings, two sings, two sings. No, you can't have... Oh, my bad. I got it. My bad. Sorry. Hold on. I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait, is it sick or like joint? It's sick. It's sick. It's sick. Please. No, that's a waste. That's a waste for you. That's a waste for you. That's a waste for you. Waste my Yeah, do your thing. Smoke up. Smoke up. Yo, the UFC lets y'all smoke weed, right? Like, it doesn't matter. Uh... Depends. I wanted to ask Depends. about that. Yeah. You mentioned mushrooms a few times, so mushrooms is fine. Uh, it's not a performance enhancer. 
it is. It's not, <laughs> it's not a form of enhancer. It like, enhances if you allow yourself. If you're if you're fighting from up here, yeah, yeah. you got to put the work in. So but even most not people just, aren't not fighting just, from not, up not here. just fighters, but like even like football players. I've seen guys talk about microdosing. Yeah. There's a football player who was talking about it one time. I saw it on Instagram. He's talking about like yeah, when he's again sports, he's like in the front. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Mark. I got you, baby. <laughs> you have competition. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't worry. Hey, you should hey, the OG. Hey, hey, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm bottom bitch, dog. Yeah. <laughs> bottom yeah. bitch. The original Yo, game. Enjoy these new hoes. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy these new hoes. <laughs> nah, but like... <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Oh, I fuck. Happy Pride Month. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Pride. Yeah, happy Pride. Yeah. We oh, celebrate. Yeah. What a life, yo. Yeah. What a life. But um. We here, bro. What I'm saying. Uh, we here. The, we live the, it. The performance enhancing. Yeah. Mushrooms. There was a football player that that was. You're talking about like, hey, were you in that the line thing? Wait, who? Uh, Adrian uh, <laughs> Foster. Arian Foster. Or Arian Foster. My bad. See? I just hey, did look, his look, podcast. Look, look, look at this. You got a podcast on Bar Barstool. Oh, it went over your head. No idea, bro. bro. <laughs> I did Barstool. I did homeboy. What's his name? Um. Mustache. Oh, Caleb, bro, he's great. Bro, bro he's the best. He's he's so he, called me a, oh, he called me a rat. It was good. Wait, what? why? I called Dove. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's different. That's slightly different. That's slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, what? What's going on? Gully, gully, Jordan! Why is that Jordan? Gully, gully, Jordan! Why is that Jordan? Easy. Crumpity, crumpity. Hey! Crumpity, crumpity. No, but wait, but wait, 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 wait. Can, I, can I ask one question? Go. Name? Miles. 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 I was gonna say Mark. My bad. Miles. How long did you go for? <laughs> what? How long they all look alike. They all look alike. It's fine. Mark. Three hours. I don't, I don't care. No, 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 no. Yeah. We're not done. No, no. I cut no, my hair for care. a reason. No, no, no. Just separate yourself. Yeah, so I feel you. I feel Fuck you. the red carpet. I want to hang out. We trying to do blow O's. You trying? Do it again. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get an O. Let me get an O. Can you actually do it? Yeah. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. How many dicks can fit in that hole? <laughs> <laughs> How big? Ooh. Not oh, come on, Ooh. bigger, bigger, that's solid, bigger. Yeah. No, actually, that's impressive, yeah. but yeah, yeah. it's not. It's not diamond, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's ruby. Yeah, <laughs> it's cubic. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's Mozart right there. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! Fuck. What a life! I wish I don't know. I know. I there are people a... listening that know. Are we live? Yes. Four no. years ago, <laughs> they, they, they know five years ago, like where we, what, what has happened in all of our lives since yeah. then. Like think about all of our lives and how it's changed in the last wow. five years. Crazy. Wow. And this is an awesome time to just Crazy. chill and reflect. What a time to be alive. What a fucking time. What a life, bro. And I, that's the thing for me. When I'm like, sometimes there's been times when like I'll be inspiring, and I'll watch like. Before I was actually like warming up, everyone's warming up, and then like the first time I did it was during lockdown. So we quarantined at the gym when they allowed us, fucking New Zealand. And then this is before the Costa fight. And then I remember I was wrapping up, and I looked around. And I saw my boys just wrapping up before sparring because we we're living at the gym because lockdown. So we just locked down. We had fights in Fire Island, and I remember looking around. I was like, "Fuck, this is cool, man. This is cool. Like this is some fucking gladiator shit." Everybody else is in their home. Yeah, you guys are in a gym still. Just fuck. And then we was chilling, hanging out, train, chill, and then just like I remember we were rapping. I was just like, "Fuck, this is fucking cool, man! Mm -hmm. Like we're just badasses." You guys, New Zealand was a very peculiar situation. There was a horror movie that was filmed in New Zealand, and I spoke to the director about it. And he filmed two horror movies. It was a, it was part of a trilogy. Um, no, 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 Dove. Who's the guy's name? Ah, uh, fuck, I forget this guy's name. I spoke to him on the phone, but uh, what was the lady? You, you remember the guy's name? Three part. Oh yeah, Ty West. <laughs> Ty West okay. came out there. He was <laughs> I on. Like that. <laughs> so Ty West was on the last flight to New Zealand, and he got to New Zealand. He was there to film a horror movie. X and Pearl. Well, he was there to film X, right? And I've heard of these. And it, no, and it blew the fuck up. The guy's I, brilliant. Okay. And. While he was there, he hit up A24, which is a production company. One of the people there was for your documentary. They oh, were there watching it. Yeah. And he goes, you know so much. Bro, I'm out here. I'm seeing who's there. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I want to make sure you come on, bro. Thank you. And um, and he goes, and he was, and he hit up the production company. He was like, listen, I know we're gonna be locked down for a while. Do you want me to film two movies out here? Jesus. And they ended up filming two. Really? Because New Zealand was wide open. Yeah. So they filmed one there that was fire. Yeah. What is it called? <clears throat> Pearl. First one was Pearl, Pearl or, or X? I'll tell you. 
Anyway, but it was just, New Zealand was this one place that was completely open. You guys lived a life that was different than most of us. For a while. And it was X and Pearl, and then the third one's going to come out. It, yeah, he's doing the third one Maxine. Now. Yeah, it was yeah. fun for. He's a while. brilliant, this guy. Yeah, Ty West is brilliant. Yeah. I met these guys even out here as well, the Raka Raka brothers. Oh, I love those guys. So, bro, he no, but he no. Who loves them more? He loves them more. Yeah, They've been I'm, making YouTube videos forever. Like they were backyard so bro, wrestlers. Yeah. They were using bro. like real VFX for Star Wars or Harry yep. Potter. Naruto, but wildly violent yeah. in a house. They would trash, and yeah. then all of a sudden, you just see that they got this deal for like yeah. a. They had a, a horror film in that, um, with the hand, hey, with the hand. Yeah, it's so called, I saw a trailer. Uh, uh, talk to me or connect or what's the movie called? Uh, it's the, I just remember this. Speak to me hand. or talk to me. Talk to me. It was at Sundance. Uh, but, but the, no, but the Racket Racket Brothers. Was it Sundance got picked up. Yeah, it's but, but they're well, legit. They're, they're legit. legit. They're legit. Yeah. They're legit. They're and uh, they're my legit. brother's a fan as well. Eight because again, David. David, talk to me. Talk to me. Yeah, talk to yeah, me. Because I, 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 didn't, I didn't know who they were till he, uh, he or Tim introduced me to them at the hotel, and they are cool. And we, they pitched something to me that I like. I won't say what it is. No, no. Uh, this is the first time Ash has told you to talk yeah. on the whole podcast. Yeah. Now yes. you can go. I think it's awesome. So that's why I'm saying, like, you, you're probably. Well, okay, well, it's not gonna, I don't know if it's going to happen yet or not because of timing. Again, this is Bro, okay. you being a villain or a hero in a fucking horror movie. Insane. Nah. Nah, you yeah, yeah you see, you see. Nah, okay. nah, that's that's good. Nah. Nah. Wait a minute, you're gonna you're yeah. gonna be the hey, yesterday's price yeah, like is that. not today's, today's price. price. No, no. no, but nah, it's not even about that. For me, it's about the moments and capturing. But everything first is fighting. I've already turned down. Trust me, like I think three major motion pictures because I had fights booked. And I was like, I can't. I'm mm. not going to be that guy that just, like, goes through acting and then, like, loses what I'm doing with oh, fighting. You're not, not going like, to be Angel? <laughs> Andrew who? Andrew Schultz. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He, bro, I put my fighting career aside <laughs> so, so I could be in you people. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> so, bro! I could have one line no! in you. <laughs> no, no. That was funny. You in the gym? Thank you. This thing okay. is out here. Like, that was why they can't do it. It's all the same, yeah, bro. It's, it's all the same. Same, same. same. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the same. Yeah. It's two movies. Two movies. It's two movies. It's not the same. What's another one? White Man Can't Jump and You People. Oh, I haven't finished it. You got to. I've watched like the first 10 minutes. I'll, no, I will finish it. I will finish it. I will finish it's it. It's an amazing Just, movie. It, yeah, I will finish it. But I watched uh, You People. That was funny. That was really funny. But yeah, for me, it's more about like, I just don't want to jeopardize my fighting career mm. because I want to be a superstar. After this, I can do whatever I want. Motion capture, voiceovers. I'll have my own production company. Video games. Let's go. Video games. Yeah. Motion capture. Video games are crazy. But that's why I don't, like the whole 20 fight shit, like, yeah. cut it down to like five. Hey, I'm saying. I, like, you're already I, there, well, bro. Well, two is less than 20. Say, you can 20, do two. say 20. Say no, 20. But I say 20 because that's like a ballpark figure because I know how much, like, me and Volk are the most active UFC fighters, not even champions. Yeah. But talk UFC that shit, though. Fighters. Because a lot of people don't realize it. Like, yeah, you guys are that's why I say when I'm done, fighting. when we're, not just when, when I'm done, what he's done, don't miss us. Mm. Most people don't. They don't do it like us. Yeah. We're no. Nah, I'm being honest. It was fucking. We're, we're, now, we're, put, we're out here. We're put, every, put we, that we, in your reps. Mm. That's what but, needs to go. No, 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 no. But that everybody. Whole shit before, before, uh, there's a little. There's a little line in the documentary where I think when you Actually, came in, in front of us, Ash, yep. you fought six that. times in the first year. No, five, five, five. Yeah, they said well, six. Right, right. They said six in the dot. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. I think it was. Oh, was it six they said five? six in the dot. My first year in the USC, I fought five times in a year and one day. That's insane. Yeah. But they, 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 they say, "Oh, you fought four times in a year." But I'm like, "Yeah, it's a year and one day. I fought five times. Shut up." But that's unheard of for most people. Some guys do it, but they're not the same level mm. when you're a champion. You know what I mean? Talk that shit. And keep going. Keep Talk going. So when we're done. Shit. That's all I'm talking about. It's hard, because a lot of guys even, like, they don't pick the, the hardest guys. They try and, like, hide. I didn't have to fight Pereira. I didn't have to fight Romero. Costa, I wanted to fight. Like, but certain guys, I just, like, you know what? No, you want to fuck. I want, yeah, because I want to, like, I don't care if I win or lose. It's more about just the experience mm. and taking these guys' heads. That's what it's about. And, like I said, in those moments when I'm sparring, I mean, ah, this, is for, this is not forever. I'm going to do this shit for a little bit longer. When I'm done, I'm done. So when I'm done, I'm done. So, yeah, I enjoy it while I can, and you should too. You should enjoy it while I'm here. <laughs> when I'm done, it's yo, but gone. people are so fickle, bro. They don't fans even, are fickle. They don't even recognize that. Yeah, shit, bro. But they, well, it's, they, I don't expect them to. That's why I don't try and please them anymore. I'm just like, it's whatever. There's one guy, bro, on the way here, bro. 
this guy dropped out of his car. And I see him at the hotel, and they know where I'm at now. He dropped out of the car, and he's just like, brother, can you sign? I was like, bro, I just took a picture with you the other day. He's like, yeah, but can you sign this? I'm like, no. And I, Ike was like, fuck off. Like, tell me fuck off. I'm like, bro, I don't, I'm not going to reward stalking. Mm. Yeah. I just tweeted that. I, I literally tweeted it right afterwards. I said, I'm not going to reward stalking. But it was just like, why are you? Dr-? He was he drove from Ariel, was stalking us from there. But I was like, I took a picture with you yesterday, but then you, you stalked me at Ariel. And I know, I, like, they want me to sign these things. I'm like, I know what you're doing. I'm not stupid. You're going to sign this shit. And, and, and early on, I'd sign 20 shit for one person. But eventually I realized, like, hang oh. on. Yeah, you I just got some yeah. yeah. eBay. You got to have some respect. You saw Drake yeah. do that to that fan? Drake did that to, to a And to I a put dude. him on game. He put him on game. Yeah, he was like, bro, take yeah. care of yourself. Exactly. Like, yeah. Don't be doing this shit, being out here. But he, he put him on game. I did that actually recently in, um, on the way back from Puerto Rico. So there was like, these black kids and this dude, and then as I was walking through the airport, I just hear, oh, yo, stop it. I was like, and he's like, yo, I got to get a photo. I got to get a photo. I was like, the fuck is that? And then I just like, nah, fuck off. And then, like, his coach was trying to take a video, and then Craig Joseph was like, what the fuck? Put his phone down. And then we were waiting in line, and then went to the shop, chilling, and they were kind of like, you can feel the energy when someone's watching you. And mm-hmm. I remember, like, hang on, this is a teacher. I learned this from Jason Momoa. Shout out to long, long story short, at the airport, when I... On the way to Miami, I see him at the airport in New Zealand, da 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 Well, they put these little two kids on game because they're trying to sneak a photo of him, and he kind of like, stand up, hand up straight, da 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 So I learned from him, and I was like, hey, kids, and I told my security show, I was like, hey, that's not how you ask for a photo. If you want to ask for a photo, you say, hey, Israel, I'm a big fan, or can I please get a photo? You yeah. know, like, be respectful, have Try manners. to sneak some shit. Yeah. I got to get a photo. Oh, no, I got to get, yo, oh, yo, I got to get a photo. It's entitlement. Thank you. So I was like, and then all of them were standing right there. And I was like, and I put them on game. I was like, so you have to, and I was like, who wants to say it? And they were like, I was like, who wants to say it? And like, oh, Israel, can I please get a photo? I was like, thank you. Who's got the best phone? Give me a phone. Boom. Took a selfie. And I was like, I shook all their hands. I was like, please hold, your, hold yourself to a higher standards. Mm-hmm. You're a young black man doing your thing, being the good basketball players apparently. And I just said, like, just hold yourself to a higher standard. Don't just go out here and be like entitled like that. But yeah, I just felt like, Again, I'm not your hero, I'm not your guru, I'm not fucking perfect. Look at me, I'm tipsy right now. But <laughs> but I just felt like just you can't be like that and think you're gonna get what you want. So the guy today that was stalking us, I'm not gonna reward that. I'm not gonna reward someone just being a dick, you know, being entitled. So the guy that was stalking us I was like, nah, I'm not gonna reward that at all. I was like, nah, take a hike, take a hike. Not only because it's inconvenient for you, but it's inconvenient for him. Like you're not treating yourself with, with respect if you're out here trying to get photos with everyone. That's and like some weird clout trout shit. Also, you're trying to catch a lick. That's the thing where it's... I think you can tell when someone who is genuine, like when someone is like, oh my God, bro, I've been, been the biggest fan. Like, can I please have a photo? Yeah. There's some, there's some you feel appreciation you, you feel have it. for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you can tell someone is just trying to sell it or flip it or take your signature and yeah. throw that shit out. I know what it is. Like, it took me a while to figure it out, but my... Because I... Fighter Hotel, when I used to stay there, I see them like outside, same people. And even like when this in the mob, they'll when I say no, they'll pass it on to someone else and they'll get me to sign it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then take the photo to authenticate that. Yeah, bro, the craziest thing it, yeah. is with the kids. Oh when, my god, that's, that's the, the craziest world. thing. Yeah. Now I, I should say no, because I'm, I'm like, oh, can I take a photo? Oh, can my kids? I'm like, bro. You your, using your kids? Your four year old a- daughter does not watch the UFC. Yeah. Why the fuck? And because I've in the beginning, they'd like I, I'd be holding a fucking crying kid, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this kid does not want to be here. So now what I do now, I'm like, how are you? What's your name? If they can talk, if not, cool. And if they want to take a photo, that's cool. But then if they don't, then I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking force your kids to take a photo so he can be or she can be a Trojan horse for you. The worst is like. Mm. It's Trojan. My it's boyfriend's fun. a big fan. Oh my god! I'm like, I go, want you a fan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you watching it with him, right? <laughs> my boyfriend's a big. I'm like, yeah, why don't you a fan? Oh, I'm a big. Uh, just say you're a big fan. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, let's take a photo. That's whatever. Yo, if I, I say no, I say no. My body, my rules. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, you're like, you've done it all. You're at the not yet top. But wait, wait, what is all? Yeah, then? what is all then? I mean, like. I know. Do- dominating pinnacle, his pinnacle. weight yes, class. Yes, but like, there's more. There's more. What? Yeah, so what? That's what I want to know. Mm. Just scalps, bro. I got names to take. In the game. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, just names. 
just names and things I want to do. Example, can you throw out a Rob, few names gonna, or you want to No, just Rob, I want to submit him if he wins. Okay. Mm. I'm going to submit is, him. Is there like a thing that happened with, with Jordan where like you have to manifest the beef in order yeah, to get yourself great. up? Yeah, like Jordan, how do you push your find Michael. 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 Oh, my, oh, my, so Michael had to manifest. I was thinking Jordan Peterson. I was like, what'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> <laughs> not enough people are cleaning their rooms. This is good. Yeah, right. I, I, that was a good impression. You thought that was him in your head. You're like, I've been watching too much, bro. But that's <laughs> Nah, but, um, you got some cop, man. <laughs> you got some cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah relax. Hey. I'm jealous. Hey, hey, thanks, man. We can all share. It's all good. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. But there's a little thing that you saw in the Last Dance documentary where, like, Jordan seemed to have to, like, manifest these beefs. Beefs, yeah. I mean, because it got him up. And one of the greatest things about Jordan was that he was, like, a, to quote Michael Irvin, 100 percenter, right? Anytime yeah. I go out there, it's 100 percent. Yeah. So Kobe he had too. to, Kobe as well, and the greats, that's what they do. So you have to manifest the furnace, right? I find the little things. I find the little things. Example, Costa, oh, skinny cloud. That was easy, though. Oh, yeah, Costa wait, was easy. He gave you. you everything you needed. Well, you know what I liked as well? The fact that you said it, Dan said it, and someone else said it as well. They're like, and then you were like, oh, bro, he's going to do this. He's going to fuck him up. Blah, 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 blah. Even my last fight, Volk was like, bro, I was there the last week of his camp. He's going to take him out in the third round. Vote. And so when my friends believe in me, then it's it. Like I believe in myself so much, but like when my friends believe in me, it adds that extra low on but it. But you still need people to not believe in you. It feels well, that's that's this many. There's many of them, so that's easy. So during fight week, I like venom. I'll like <laughs> sip a little bit of venom just because, like you know, you, you get immune to it, and that fuels you a little bit. Do you think Eugene does that to you? To to kind of yes. rile you up? Yeah, you know, you know, yeah. Does he do that? Yeah. But you know what he did yesterday that was really, I appreciate it, was like when he, the last thing is like, and I also have to say thank you. Oof. And then Oof. He said, heavy, heavy, yeah, heavy, he's heavy. Like, he's like, to you. I wasn't expecting that. That was a big compliment. He's mm -hmm. he's getting choked up while he's yeah. saying it too. Yeah, I know. And you know when he starts to get choked up, man, a few yeah, words. Nah, nah. Man, a few no, words. No, no, no. So when he, no, normally when he gets choked up is during like before we say a prayer before we start warming up in the back. You got everyone in the circle, bow your head, close your eyes. Heavenly Father, blah, 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 blah. But sometimes, some fights, he'll, he'll do this, he'll be like. Mm. Heavenly Father, Heavenly. Please. So when he's on the mic, he's yeah. and I, and I know he's getting choked up. He's an emotional guy. And also in the, on the film, he, he got quite raw. But um, yeah, so when he gave me that compliment at the end, the, even the key, he didn't want to come up, but I was just like, "You forced him up, yeah." Because he's part of the movie. He's part of my my, my life story. Yeah, your relationship game. in there was really important. Yeah. So when he did that, it was a big compliment coming from him, and I really appreciated that. Also, him acknowledging the place in your life that he plays. Yeah. Like he goes, "I'm not his father. Dad, I'm not friend. his friend. Yeah. I'm somewhere in between." You know that, <laughs> but but that's huge, right? Yeah. It's like. All of us that have a Trust father me. that we love, like, we don't need another father. Yeah. But we still want people that we can look up to, yeah. be inspired by, and people to hold us to a different standard. Yeah. And, like, him recognizing that role, but also being there kind of as a friend as well. Yeah. Because your father... It's balance. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, he has to know, but he knows me. He's, we've worked for so long. He knows me. He knows what makes me tick. He I wonder. Knows. I wonder if he was. There's moments in the doc where I'm like, oh, is he? Is he playing games? He's trying like, to. Is he trying to like get is that the one when he was just like, he wouldn't admit this. No, not that one. No, that the one where he kind of like laid into you fight week, where he was at the oh, week. Oh no, that, no. So it was. Uh, it was like uh, he called me a weak link. <laughs> but I wonder if it's like you're you're taking. I say, on he, your he's video. using me as an example. But I understood that, and they would do that with Tim Duncan, too. Do you know Greg Pop Popovich was the coach of the uh, San Antonio I know, I know Tim Duncan. I know the name So as well. Tim Duncan is the arguably one of the greatest NBA players of all time. And, okay. And, and then Coach Greg Popovich yeah. is his coach for the Spurs. Yeah. yeah. And he's one of the greatest NBA coaches of all he time. He did the same thing to him? Well, what he would do is he would rip apart Tim in front of the whole team. Yeah. And the whole team was like... Oh shit! If you ripping apart the goat, yeah, I better stay in line because yeah. and the goat. I think and I, and I know not everything. I know he does that. He does that with me. But thing is, he had to pull him up a little bit because he's like, oh, you can't do it too much because he's human, and mm. eventually he has emotions, and you're gonna fucking crush him. So Ash had to like, hey, chill. What's the level to motivate? That's what you got to figure out as a coach. Yeah, but uh, but thing is, I, I'm more mature now. I know myself. I know how to. I know what I need to do to win. And that's the most important thing. Fuck everything else. 
Even if you lose, it's cool. But you still win in certain aspects. But winning, because when you win in this game, you accelerate. You climb up the ladder, all that stuff, blah, 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 more money, more notoriety, all that shit. So, yeah, I know what to do to win. But he still has to just, like, just make sure. Like, even before the last fight, like, by the cage, you'll see him. Because I never dap up my family. But I tapped into them because I felt so much love from this side. So I was like, ooh. And I, Ash was there, dap Ash, my family. And so my dad, mwah. And then he goes, when I dap all of them up, he goes, hey, just chill. I'm like, oh, I'm good. I was like, hey, you see me smile? I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm just high. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm ready. But he still has to just be, like, play devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. Better to say it. Just because, in case, mm -hmm. in case I'm overexcited, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking this dude up. Even Andre, Andre, my wrestling coach, shout out to him, he, he, he even pulled me up. He's like, I want you to, because he's the one who took the collar off. So he came to my my room at the Airbnb before, before the fight. He's like, I like the energy of this. I'm gonna release you, but I don't want you to go crazy. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And I was like, trust me, I'm not. Don't worry, I got this. He's like, good. And then we dap up. Because before every fight, when we were in a fight hotel, we'd be like, he'll come through in my room and then we'll just like go through some sequences on the on the wall. He's my wrestling, on the fence or whatever, because he's my wrestling coach. And like, so when he came to my room in Miami, it was just like, I like the energy. I don't want you to get crazy. I was like, I, I got this. They just, but you have to, if you don't say it and then I do it, then it's like, fuck, I wish I should have said it. Yeah. You know, it's like, ah. Oh. So that's why they do it. But I'm glad they do because, I mean, yeah, look where we end up. Question, this is going to be a little weird. I like um, weird. Let's get weird. Are you a God-fearing man? Yes. Okay, so fighting is one of those things where it's like you can die. Like, I no, don't people think people... Have, no, people... Yeah, oh, so, you watch, you wait till you watch the documentary. Yeah, so it's like um, there's been conspiracies with... Uh, Jake Paul, where people was like, oh, he does some weird rituals before fights. Really? So like, yeah. I saw some fucking weird uh, How YouTube deep video. in the YouTube world? Nah, I mean, man, sometimes, deep, you know, you, sometimes you jump in a, a, a fear of weird shit. No. But I'm like, do you, do you ever try to tap into something else to uh, for you know like what? motivation? You, that's a good question. You know why? So this last fight, <clears throat> Pereira, I felt like he is very in touch with his culture, hmm. spiritually. So you see me at the weigh-ins. I came with the Iruke, which is a chief staff. It's made out of a horse tail. I had a small one, but my I so as a the Ade is a prefix for a king. So I'm from a royal family. My mom and my dad. My granddad on my mom's side had three wives, and my dad's side had two wives. I probably have five. We'll figure it out. Gang. <laughs> but starting five. Gang. But but. I came with the Uruke because I wanted to tap into my culture. That's why I said when I was when I was you know microdosing, I was chilling. I was able to like tap into my 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 my, my primal side, my spirituality, and I was like, I learned from him after New York because he was able to like I see the countdown, I see little things he was doing. I was like, oh, he's really in touch with his culture. So I tapped into my roots, into my heritage. I, did my Googles, because I was like, let me know, because sometimes I feel like, not even sometimes, it's like, not just black, but African history isn't told to its fullest. Because before, fuck slavery, before that, we was kings, that's a meme, but we were rulers, like, deep, 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 some of the, the richest men on the planet in history. Mas in Musa. Exactly. So, oh, you this guy, uh, ah! Allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. No, shout out to Molly, if you, if you count coconuts as wealth or whatever. Come on, bro. Nah, Bamako got the, got the cash, bro. Shout out to Molly, bro. What's yeah, that for? But, like, you know, so I had to tap into my history a little bit, and then, like, yeah, I, 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 I took inspiration from that. Mm -hmm. I did. I'll, I'll share something later on. Yeah, but, um, yeah, for me, I, I had to do just because it's not no juju or no nothing weird. I'm very spiritual, and even recent. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Dove when you said Juju. <laughs> 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 Way to run. Stop. 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 Stop.
We talk <laughs> about the richest man in Africa. You know? <laughs> Shout out Elon. Let's yeah, go, real you guys saw him blood <laughs> That's a good one. Bro, That's the underrated one. That's a good one. <laughs> He's not a Richard Benson loser. But <laughs> <laughs> Juju, fuck, that's funny. <laughs> but go on, go on. Fuck, oh, I lost my train of thought. But regardless. You were talking about tapping into. Yeah, spirituality. Mm -hmm. This last fire really did. That's why I microdosed and I was trying to tap into this, the primal self. Are you going to continue that going forward? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because yeah. I, it, success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel so like. I am broke to try and fix it. So, and again, even this camp, they were like, oh, he's going to try to wrestle us because he has so much success. In Bro, we thought we, we, I did think you were going to take that motherfucker down. I can't, and I held him down. Whenever was, you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I did. But I was like, nah, it's, it's not even my ego. I just knew I was a better striker. Yeah. It just got me because he's a good striker as well. He is good. He is I know, good. I know, and he does yeah. his basics really well, but I was like, I'm great. Mm -hmm. So I just show I was great. Do you feel like the flow state is spiritual, ultimately? That's good. I think it, yes. I th I feel like science is like spirituality or magic we don't understand yet. Because apparently the flow state, when you're in the zone, there's like five or six different chemicals in your brain that just, they're flowing and they're releasing at the same time. Dopamine, blah, 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 blah whatever else. But then, yeah, I feel it is because when I'm in it, I know it because dance and also when I do what I do when I'm in it. Like the best one I've done so far, I think the clean, not the cleanest one I've done so far was the cost of fight. I was so in the Just zone. flow. I never even came out of it. Like I said, Tio in the fight recently, Tiofimo Lopez, he was in the zone, pull out, in the zone, pull out, but he was in the zone. I felt like the cost of fight, I was just in the zone the whole time. Mm -hmm. I did not even like, it was not even an option. I was just in the zone the whole time. And how do you practice that? Is that natural? Or just, uh, is that something just, that comes over time? Uh, uh, it just reps. comes out, bro. It's just reps. But still, reps. even it's though, like, free, like, even freestyling is a skill. Yeah. Example, you're doing a move, you dance to a track, you might or might not know the track, and you hit like a, a certain beat or certain drop, and then the whole crowd goes crazy, and then you ride that wave, because when they, wow, it's a wave. They give you energy. Thank you. It's a wave, and you ride that wave, and then your body just knows how to link it to something else that just makes sense and looks cool or feels cool to the music. So when I fight, I feel that's an advantage because I'm able to like, I'm able to just ride that wave. When the crowd not hits someone with a leg kick, or I, even if I miss a question mark kick, ooh, mm, so I like, guess something else. Flow state is one of those things that a lot of people don't really understand because they, most people don't access it They're not and, and it's like you told me one time we were hanging out mm. and i used to do karate back in the day i did it for years yeah. and there was one time where i was like in a tournament where it's like i was it was just weird like mm. i was fighting in a way that i never fought before yeah. and like, i just fucked everybody up i didn't even remember parts of it yes and you like you yes. told me that no that's it yeah and i'm like i think there like are, he remembers there are t <laughs> <laughs> no but there are times where it's like people access their flow state whatever Bro. it is like i think you guys access it on stage Bro, sometimes i, I saw my like, brother access the flow state greg I, shout I, out to greg shout out to greg yeah, man i saw greg schultz access flow state i told this story when we were Older reviewing younger. uh his younger. younger russell brand when we were in london but i saw him access flow state when he was playing drums at i believe it was the bitter end and it was like i thought i was witnessing divine intervention bro it's yeah. crazy. i know it sounds crazy no no, no, no it's not it is but everybody thing. in that room also felt that mm -hmm. he started playing and then everybody else was playing. It was like a jam band situation. They everybody else, and were like, bro, they stopped. Yeah. And he was playing by himself. And the whole place was like, what the so fuck's this? fuck yeah. is going on? After that, it's the, it's the vibe. After that tournament, people was like, yo, what got into you? I was like, I, I don't know. know. You tell yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. exactly what it's about. Even like, the, they've, they've even talked about, oh, fuck, we're about to go on you know, DeGrasse Tyson. Let's go. Bitch. Let's go. For me, I feel like it's when you get to that state. It's almost like, even now, this is an idea I've been messing with maybe the last two years. It's like, actually, no, last year. I watched, I'll get back to this. I, I watched this movie with no idea what the, I don't watch, I hate trailers. They ruin movies. Yes. They ruin movies. So I watched everything all at once at the same time. And I had no idea what it was. I didn't watch the trailer. I didn't even know the title. But as I was watching it, the movie was unfolding itself to me naturally, like unfolding itself. <laughs> And like, as it did, I was like, what the fuck? Like, the, have you guys seen this? Yeah. Which movie? Everything Everywhere All at Once. You've seen it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've seen it? Yeah. Okay, so the bit in the laundromat when he like, it started like hopping in on Jackie Chan, I was like, what the fuck's happening? I was like, mm. 
wait, this his her dad's just being fucking karate kid or yeah. Yeah. So if I watch the trailer, then I know the premise, I know what it is about. Oh, he's tapped into that metaverse, multiverse. Metaverse, thing. multiverse or whatever. That's why I love that movie. It's such a great movie. But I feel like sometimes it's because there's that whole theory of quantum physics and that multiverse. When you're in the flow state, it's like you tap. Because in the movie, they you're like, if it's karate skills, they do that thing, and yeah. they tap into that other. Sometimes it's like that. Okay, so the cost of fight. Actually, you know what? Real quick, to everything, everywhere, all at once, or whatever that is. What I took from that movie is that his fight. Yeah. He was he not her no he daughter, he okay his fight which she realizes yeah. is being kind in a world that is not kind love wins and love wins love wins and it is hard as hell to be nice to people and support people and love people yeah. in a world of people who are bitter and angry Constantly. and will fight against that yeah and she realizes that about her dad and she goes whoa it's way easier to go to the donut or yeah. the bagel or whatever the whole it's way easier to be bitter it's way easier to criticize way easier to be angry it's harder to be my dad yeah. who's fucking nice to everybody despite the them being an asshole that. to him Right? Like everybody's a jerk to him yeah. and he fucking takes it yeah. and he's still kind to them. And then Hot. she goes, holy shit, that is a way better way of being a human. And then she sees her dad, instead of being a weak person, as being the karate guy. Yeah. I think the wife sees her husband as dead. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The, the dad of the girl. The girl's yeah. going towards the donut. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So so the husband, who's the wife, yeah. whatever. And the yeah. wife's been shitting on him the whole movie. Yeah, constantly. But the a... daughter realizes it. And I think the mom, but also is like, I thought that was the most beautiful thing. Looking at life as a beautiful opportunity to be kind to these strangers who might even be an asshole to you, yeah. is the harder, mm. more martial art fighting version yeah. than easily going, the world sucks, there's no <laughs> point, <laughs> victim, it's easy to victim, criticize, victim I'm a victim, fuck yeah. you, fuck life, yeah. life is Cynicism worth nothing. Is weak. Cynicism yeah. is Constantly. weakness, bro. Yeah, and I, to me, I remember watching that in the last 30 minutes going, what a profound! It's beautiful. What a profound way of Literally looking at life. My favorite movie of last year. It, 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 I watched it first time sober, second time dosed up. Mm -hmm. It opened like ideas for me, and that's why, like, I started to like. Oh, I wonder because, and I'll finish on this because you got shows, and also I think I don't want to get too drunk. You might have a premiere. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's done. But um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Chris. Jesus. Sorry, Chris. No, oh, right. I'd, I'd rather be here. Oh, we'll see about the after party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> the cost of fight, Fight Island. You'll see a, even on documentary. You see there's a there's a moment when I'm sitting down on a chair. You know, back like a cool teacher on a chair, and I was doing this. I had my gray hoodie on. Boom, and I was doing this. I had a nap. I was getting my hands wrapped. And as I was, as I was getting my hands wrapped, I was just like, could you fought a. Well, I slept well. Also, fucking hell, Fire Island. Why the fuck would you do? <laughs> hey, Ash, Fire Island. Why the fuck would they do Fire Island on a racetrack? <laughs> on a fucking racetrack <laughs> at 2 a.m. <laughs> Call the fucking <laughs> hotel. Tell them, can you, like, what the fuck is happening? We have a, like, yeah. it's fight. It's Thursday. I'm weighing in tomorrow. I have to weigh in. Fucking yeah, nigga, it's Friday, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I have, a, I have a fight in the morning. Like why? And then they're like, but apparently they're paying like five hundred k to not yeah. track. Those are the girls outside the hotel, bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, but like for me, I was like, what the fuck? So it wasn't even that I slept well. I still made it happen. But then when I was on the thing, I was just like. Get my hands right off. You know when you just like you're driving, you're dead like. Uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was like, ah, oh, gotta stay awake, not gotta stay. But then I thought, no, listen to your body, listen to your body. So then I had a nap. Mm. I had a nap on the chair, and then, wallahi, I don't know where I went. It was some kind of like you know Lion King or Black Panther when he sees his dad. Mm. That kind of scene. Remember who you are. He goes, it was something happened, but I remember I woke up. I felt like a sleeper agent. I don't know if you know what that is, mm -mm. but I felt like I woke up and I was just like, I was in a different zone and I dapped all the boys up. I was like, let's go, let's go. I felt like I tapped into something else. So that's why that fight happened. You see, even before the, like, I, bef like, before I walked out, I told you, like, I was like, believe in me. I do, I believe in you. I was like, bet. Cause I said, I believe in myself, but when people I give a fuck about, believe in me. It's a wrap. Done. 
So I felt like a sleep agent. I stayed, I stayed in the zone and I did what I did. But it's something that I'm, I'm messing with those ideas. I'm messing with, because again, it's learning. Mm. I'm still doing this. I'm still learning. I'm still young. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep writing this story. I'm going to keep writing this story. Even after fighting, the story's still being written till I'm done. Well, we're going to still watch it, bro. Of course, man. No, My bro, brother. No. Love you, dogs. I love you. I love you. The best. Bro, the greatest the best. story ever told. Stylebender, everybody. Mm. Written by you. Written yes, by you. Yes, sir. What? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, record. Wait, how long was that? Two hours. Three hours, 35 minutes. Yay! Okay. <laughs>